Yo, yo, yo. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing this morning? Uh, do me a huge favor. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you ain't already. If you're listening on Twitter, um, hit the link in the bio. Come on over to the channel. Number one trash talking channel on YouTube. Um, if you're listening on Facebook, come on over to the YouTube channel. Number one channel for trash talking on Facebook, YouTube, wherever. Miami, Florida State, and the Florida Gators. So obviously, man, um, two two scrimmages happened today. Miami's scrimmage and the Florida State Seminole scrimmage. Um, shout out to you know the respectable people on um, Twitter, um, Kane's Unfiltered. You know who you guys are. You know, shout out to you guys for um, you know all the extra information and everything. You know, been passed through. As you guys know, this scrimmage was closed to the media, but you know, you know, great information came through. So we we got the details. Anyways, um, let me go ahead and put the link in the chat because I do want this to be open discussion. As you guys know, um, on here, you guys are more than welcome to come on in and give your thoughts and opinions and stuff like that. Um, but before we do all that, we're gonna break down some of the things that happened at Miami and we're gonna read read it, read some of the things that happened at Florida State. So, yeah, both scrimmages happened. Um, Sarge, what's going on with you? I see you in the chat, everything like that. Let me go ahead and clear the screen up for you guys that's watching real quick. Um, yeah. So, <clears throat> scrimmage, where do we start? Where do we start? As you guys know, I leave that up to you guys. Y'all want to start with Florida State? We can start with Florida State, or we can start with the Miami Hurricanes. That's 100% up to y'all. Um, but good day, good day. From what I'm hearing, it's a great day for the Miami defense. First and second team don't seem to be any drop-offs. Um, you know, that's real good right there, obviously. Um not a bad day for Cam, but, you know, not the greatest of all. But like I said, the defense today, phenomenal. From what I'm hearing, phenomenal. Um, I know a lot of you guys been worried about the wide receivers too. Like, um, as you guys know, Young departed. He went up to Georgia. Um, obviously, you know, we had high expectation for Isaiah Harden. And so far, from what I'm hearing, he's living up to it, so. Um, Shamar Kurt is another one, from what I'm hearing, phenomenal job out there, um, fast, <laughs> fast, very fast, make fast people look not so fast, that's the kind of deal, that's what we're hearing. Um, today for Miami is a phenomenal day also in recruiting, over 10, over double, double digits, 247 sports, um, you know, top top recruits and stuff like that. You know, Miami, Miami is privileged enough to have a um, a head coach and a coaching staff that can recruit the hell out of top talent. As you know, Georgia, Alabama, Ohio State, those teams that, you know, always compete for the national championship, they always seem to make the playoffs and stuff like that. What do they all have in common? For the past, what, five to ten years or so, they've been doing great recruiting. They've been doing great recruiting top class after top class, and they're competing. Well, Mario's been here two years, two seasons so far, great classes, and I do believe that this this class is going to be even better. And, you know, so far so good. We got top recruits wanting to come check out the University of Miami. Now, I know a particular team that went 13-0 and and then lost like 63-3. to I don't – Florida State. They can't do what we do. And they all on here come, oh, y'all only won seven games and everything. But the the brand is different. The the What we sell down here is different. We sell high-quality products, man. We sell high-quality product. Y'all sell that check soda. Y'all sell that check soda, that, that Walmart brand, that great value. What Miami's doing down here recruiting is phenomenal. Phenomenal. We... <laughs> We're we going to turn it up. We're going to turn it up. For the next couple of years, our name will be mentioned when it comes to, um, you know, competing. When it comes to competing, our name will be mentioned. Now, I know the playoff system going to, like, 
12 teams and stuff like that. Florida State, Florida Gators, they probably managed to get in once or twice here or there, you know, at the number 12, 11 spot. But Miami's going to be in that top range. We're going to be in that top range. We, we, The way we setting things up, the way Mario is going at heads, like I'm talking about Ohio State, I'm talking about Alabama and all of them when it comes to recruiting because those are the guys we really competing with right now, Georgia, those teams. Don't, that's who we really competing with when it comes to recruit because normally they're the one that get the top recruits. We're not competing with Florida State and Florida no more moving forward because they, they're not on our level. Let's just be honest. Half the recruits in this country know that Billy Napier ain't got a leg to stand on. So, you know, it's it's obvious Miami over Florida. Move on from that. Florida State, obviously it's Miami over Florida State. Mike Norvell just going to recruit high school kids and then play transfer portal guys anyway. So, obviously, we're going to out-recruit them in high school every single year. It is what it is. But, like I said, scrimmage, man, scrimmage, some of the things that happen in the scrimmage. Um. I guess we could start with Florida State. I see them in here. Like I said, guys, the link is in the chat. I'll put it in there again for you guys. The link is in the chat for anybody that do wants to come in and join on the join in on the conversation. Um, right now, Miami, like I said, we ain't competing with Florida and Florida State for no recruits. We're competing with the likes of Georgia, the likes of Hawaii State, Alabama, the Michigans of the world. Those those are the ones that we're recruiting against. Yeah, yes, yeah, Sarge, recruiting matters. Recruiting matters. Matters a lot. What are we doing right now? Elite recruiting. Talk to me. You know, speaking of elite recruiting, um, out of an elite tight end, that's down in Miami right now. You know, we're looking to put the flip on. Them. What you think Kirby going to tell him, Sarge? Hey, he's not going to promise anything. That's one thing Kirby Smart will not do is, is promise these recruits any playing time. He's not going to promise you any money. You know what I mean? He just – he's straight up and down with these guys. And some so guys just, like it, some just, guys don't. So he's just going to say what he always say. If he, if, if he ain't picked Georgia, he ain't a dog? No, he's not going to say that. He's going to say, look. I mean, that's what he what? said in that – that's what he said in that little thing, ain't it? <laughs> Yeah, that's what he said, but he doesn't say that to every recruit, you know. He's just going to tell them. If you're if you're good enough, you know, you're young enough, you're old enough, and you're ready to play, come in and play, man. You know, he can't guarantee you playing time. He can't guarantee you NIL, but he can say, hey, you're going to have a chance to go to the league within three to four years. Now, that's one thing that Mike Norville could not promise no Seminole recruit. <laughs> But let's just be honest. He's going to bring them in and then get some transfer to come in and take their spot. Athens, Georgia is an NFL factory. Every pro day, all the NFL scouts are there. I mean, we, we put guys into the league. So, yeah, you might not get that $1.6 million that another quarterback or another running back or receiver got in his NIL deal, but you will have an opportunity to get drafted within three to four years, you know? Now, let me say this real quick. Um, at the bottom of the screen, you can see my uh, my Twitter. It's um, at T2I Hurricane. Make sure y'all follow me on Twitter. Um, for the next couple of weeks, obviously, you know, spring going on, practice going on. I will have a, um, a practice warrior award given out to a Florida State and a Florida Gator fan. Not fan, player every day. Obviously, you know, these warriors, these practice warriors, you know, they show up in practice. They do phenomenal <laughs> things, and then when it comes to you know game time and being on the field, you don't hear nothing. Um, my first practice award went out to um, Trey Wilson, Eugene Wilson, they like to call him. Obviously, out there, you know, catching every pass they throw his way, looking all speedy and stuff. They already um anointing this guy as the best receiver in the state of Florida, and then when what the, already? When the scrimmages happen, you know he can't catch a lick, but. That's tough. That's tough. Um, the best wide receiver in the state of Florida? Yeah. You know, Florida fans are easily entertained. Right now, they're all happy and giggly because they got a, a coach out there yelling at players. 
They're like, oh my God, he's so passionate. Oh my God. <laughs> I've never heard a coach yell at a player before. This oh. <laughs> They they act they acting like they they a girl that just got super soaked, right right right. Soaked. But um yeah, football wise though, right now um Clemson's I think if I'm not mistaken Clemson's um spring game probably wrapped up. I know NC State's um spring game is supposed to be on right now also uh, on the ACC network. So. You know, spring games are being played early. Miami spring game obviously will be on um, this upcoming Saturday. You know, so you can watch that on the ACC network. So if you got ACC network, and if you don't, get you a fire stick. If you if you if you got you a fire stick and you want to watch the ACC network for free, hit me up on Twitter. Hit me up on Twitter. I got you. Uh, and for those of y'all that looking, my Twitter is right there at the bottom of the screen. So, you know, um, also, guys, hit the like button on the cash app at the bottom of the screen. Also, if you want to support the show financially or you want to, um, you know, support the show at all, just hit the super chat on YouTube, all that good stuff. So spring game, what, what is Georgia's spring game? It's next Saturday. Uh, we should have about eighty five to 90,000 fans. I will be in attendance on the 50 yard line, like I usually am. Uh, second level, though, I, I'm not going to be down on the first level. I'm going to be on the club level this time. All right. So I put a gun to your head and say, I want you to pick a side who's going to, um, who you want to be dominant. Would you say the defense or the offense? I want the offense to be dominant because I expect them to be dominant. The defense lost, what, three players in the secondary. We lost another D lineman, we lost a linebacker. So I don't expect the defense to be dominant. And, and Kirby said it too. I mean, you can look at his comments on YouTube. You know, we, we don't expect our defense to be dominant this year. We will have a top 15 defense, but we, we don't expect it to be dominant because we just don't have the players that we had, you know, back in 21, 22. Okay, so you're looking for a dominant offense. Um, yeah, I'm looking for a dominant obviously. offense. We gave Carson a Lambo, so I need I need Lambo type of performances. You know what I'm saying? Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit! So y'all out there giving out Lambos? Well, it's legal now. Yeah. yeah. Maybe Shout out good. to TND in the chat, man. TND in the chat said the whole state of Florida is soft at football. Can't beat real teams like Alabama and Georgia. So. Congratulations, Florida State. Now you got people in the chat saying the whole state of Florida is soft. Well, we can't really take him serious. He's a Jacksonville State fan. Well, Florida State, <laughs> Florida State fans can take him serious because, you know, they only one against them right now. That's true. That's true. Yeah, I can't I can't take a Jacksonville State fan serious. We ain't never lost to them. But as far as Kobe Young, um, he's still nursing an ankle injury, but he'll be uh, full speed for fall camp. And like I said, man, I, I put it in. I, I, I put it in. I spoke it into existence, man. I, I put it in the air, and it happened, man. I knew Kobe was coming up here to Athens, and it happened. I can tell you one thing, um, and I represent all Miami fans when I say this: we do not miss him. Y'all don't miss Kobe Young at all. Uh, nah, that way, like I said, the way things are in Miami right now, the way we recruit, the way we bring guys in through the transport, the way we evaluate. We do not miss him. Listen, if you want to leave the team and go somewhere else, sayonara. Got you. I got you, bro. I, I mean, perfect example. Look at Tyler Van Dyke. He's up there in uh, Wisconsin. They already complaining about him that he's not a leader. <laughs> Us Miami already knew that. The coaches already yeah. demanded him to put in more to show that he's a leader. I seen he posted a, a, a ten, like a seven-second clip on um, – Instagram, you know, trying to hype up the team, the players, the, the receivers and stuff. Man, it was like, he was like, how y'all feeling today? And I swear to God, the vibes and everything felt like an empty birthday party. Right, right. It felt like, you know, you, you throw a birthday party, you invite everybody, and nobody showed up. You think he was doing it just for the cameras, man? I think I think he's seen the headlines. Like you know, they need him to open up more. They need him to be more of a leader. So he's trying to take steps, which I give him credit for. Right, right. But at the same time, if you ain't got it in you, you ain't got it in you. Everybody is not a born leader. 
everybody don't have that, you know, that pizzazz. That's right. Some people are just, you know, just quiet people. They just like to do what they do and go home. Or you could lead by example, you know, you could go out in the scrimmage and, and throw five or six touchdowns. Yeah, no need to hate on the kid, but from what I'm hearing, he's second string if if the season was to start right now. Wait, what? Yeah. The other guy out there already know the system, already know the offense. So TVD hit the portal and went up there to become second string? I mean, it probably wasn't his intention, but hey, the other guy already know the um he's already know the playbook. He's already know the scheme. Yeah, he knows the offense, yeah. So he's got a leg up on him. Hey, be like that sometimes, man. Sometimes the grass ain't always green on the other side. That's true, man. That's true. But that ain't the case for us. We got a great quarterback now. So what's the um what's the synopsis on, on Cam, man? Is he is he good or is he bad, man? I mean, how's he been doing in these scrimmages? Great. Um, like I said, today wasn't his best day, but that's because the defense stepped up phenomenally. But Cam okay. he didn't make any um boneheaded mistakes. I mean, in the one on one he threw a pick though. But you know, that was just great play by the um defense. Right, right. But other than that, um, the the more concern is Jakari Brown. That's that's the most concern. Um, basically went from being if Cam wasn't here, possibly competing to be a starter to right now probably fourth string. Oh my goodness! Well, he probably go hit the portal, man. The portal opens up April fifteenth. Yeah, I mean, at this point, I wouldn't be surprised if he does. Yeah. But let me uh, let me share audio real quick with you guys of what I'm talking about because even Mario had said it himself, and then, you know this ain't not just me. Let me go and do this real quick because uh, Mario did a press conference and he talked about this stuff. You talk about you know where the quarterbacks are and all that good stuff. Yeah, I, I expect a, a lot of guys to hit the portal come the fifteenth because I mean, if you if you go through all season conditioning, you go through spring, and you you know you still third or fourth string. An, another coach from another program is going to call you and say, "Hey, man, you come here, you can start." So I'm going to expect a lot of guys to hit the portal uh, here in about a week. Check this. Both Emery and Reese have um, are kind of right after that, and then you see a lot of really good things from Chikari and uh, and Judd Anderson and Rodriguez. Yeah. You see a guy that also both Emery and Reese have really done a good job of staying on those heels of Cam. Cam is obviously taking the ones reps, and he deserves it. He's earned that. And then both Emery and Reese have um, are kind of right after that, and then you see a lot of really good things from Chikari. And, uh, and Judd Anderson and the limited reps he gets, you see a guy that's going to also be a really good player uh, down the line. So it's a crowded room, but a good room and a talented one, and we haven't had that yet. And so uh, the most important thing is that they approach every day with a good attitude, and then they're ready to compete and uh, see how it all shakes out at the end of spring ball. How hard is keeping that room together with the talent that's there, and how important is that to you? I say it's less difficult than having it empty. You know, rather have it this way. And then honestly, um, I think it's the best way for college football going forward anyways. I think you pack up each room with the highest level talent you can. So therefore, you know, feelings, uh, moodiness, um, playing time, wants and needs are all settled on the field. And it's very much a business-like approach when it comes to playing time. Uh, you certainly stay the course of tremendous mentorship and guidance, coaching, teaching, instructing. but. You've got to put yourself in a position to help the team win. And to do so, you've got to make sure that every single room has enough talent and competition to come out with championship caliber play at each position. Coach, day in and day out, kind of going on camera, what makes you, you know, think, hey, this kid's special, hey, this is why I want to so bad? He's tough and smart, and he's really hungry. I think those things for a quarterback uh, are critical, but not to mention uh, the fact that he just really knows football. He understands football and sees the field extremely well. 
So things that, uh, you know, you talk about guys that see things in sequence, sequ sequential quarterbacks versus spatial, the ones that can see it as they drop back, as they're on the run, uh, as they're improvising, right? Guys like that, um, they have a special knack for you know, improvising and extending plays. But the fact that he's done so well in the drop back game as well and understanding pressures and how it's being blocked and, and where to go to with the football and then the ball placement, the accuracy, and then the, the drive just to go in there after practice and spend more time every single day at getting better. I just a very driven human being that's very talented and that's, a, that's always really hard to stop. A lot of praise for Cam Ward, man. Yeah, so Emory and uh, Reese is right on his footsteps, basically. So that leaves Jakari out there in that fourth spot. And yeah, so he probably that Judd, Judd Anderson, the freshman, came in. He's uh, basically getting limited reps, so you already know how that goes. Yeah, I would definitely hit the portal, man. Yeah, at this point, I mean, it is what it is. I, I, I'm going to be honest. I don't see Jakari Brown as a true quarterback, and he's already know that. That's why he took a year off last year. But uh, I'm not saying that he can't, you know, go somewhere else and develop into a great quarterback and then everybody be looking back at it and say, damn, he really turned out to be that guy. But as of right now, it ain't looking like it. Bro, he could be uh, Antoine Randall L type uh, for you old school NFL fans. You know, somebody like Antoine Randall L play play uh, quarterback in in college and then go to receiver in, in the NFL. You know what I mean? So if he can be a two way guy and run the route tree and run the routes, man, he could be a, a serious weapon out there. Yeah, I mean, he could be a next Cody Young, <laughs> <laughs> or he could be a tight end if he knows how to block. Nah, nah. I, mean, I don't know about all that. I mean, but hey, hey, I ain't making them decisions. I ain't gonna count them out yet. But I'm gonna just sit back and watch him play. But right now he's looking like the fourth guy out there. Yeah, but it's a lot of teams out there that actually need a quarterback. So, I mean, if, if he can, you know, refine his skills, he can go somewhere and now get I'm that plan time. I'm going to say this because I see it happen year in and year out. Guys show out and they're absolute, um, you know, beasts, absolute monsters in practice in the spring and everything like that. They show out and then game time come. We don't want it. I hope that's not the um, the case this year with Elijah Lofton. This dude has been phenomenal. Dude has been phenomenal. Dude is – he's looking like a um, – more, more than just a tight end, they, he looked like he can play running back too. Because they've been, they've been giving them some plays at running back, and that's good, man. That's another offensive weapon. That's good. Yeah, dude could be a dual threat athlete on the offensive side. So hopefully, you know, it ain't one of them things where we just get it in the spring, get it in the fall, and then game time come. Like, what happened to that? Some players, man. They they either they lose focus mentally or just physically, man. Their bodies just clam up when the, you know you're under the bright lights. I mean, I seen it time and time again. These guys do awesome in practice, but then they can't catch a pass, you know, when the game, you know, starts. So I I don't know, bro. Some guys they just they don't have it all together, you know, on Saturdays. So let's talk about this guy. Let me share this screen real quick since I got you here. This is the perfect, perfect time to talk about this guy here. You know, mommy's hosting absolutely beast of elites of recruits right now. Taz, what's going on, my brother? What's good with you, boss? Taz in the building. Uh, please um, hit the like button, everybody. It's free, 100% free. Appreciate that, boss. So, um, oh, yeah, let me get the taste one off the screen real quick. Real quick, but um, taste one boy peanuts, man. Make sure y'all going over there. Order, order you some. Use promo code T2I, um, Big Three T2I. That is, and um, save you ten dollars on your order. Uh, the best tasting boy peanuts in the world, one hundred percent. I co-signed that. All right, so let's talk about my guy here, <coughs> Georgia commit. Georgia commit. Uh, on the composite, which, you know, we, we, we like to go by the composite over here. 
Oh, the Georgia commit. He's a tight end. Um, Elias, I think Elias, Elias, Elias. Elias. yeah, Elias, Elias Williams. Yep, Williams. that's the guy there. So, composite five star out of Georgia, um, Kingsland, Georgia, um, Camden County. You got a guy here, a tight end, a 6'7, 235 pounder. Already committed to Georgia. Um, committed um last year actually, a full year ago. Um, two days away from being a full year ago. <coughs> He's down there with all the other elite guys. You know, Miami is hosting double digit elite guys. You know, something that Florida and Florida State can't say. You know, you know Georgia. Y'all used to this, right? It's not that we're used to it. It just it happens. It's been happening since Kirby, you know, was hired as a coach. Okay, so y'all used to it. We brought in a lot of five. We brought in a lot of five stars. Now he could pull a Justice Terry and flip. Justice Terry, five star, number one defense listen, lineman in the nation, and he flips listen, to USC. Listen, listen Sarge, you're too humble, man. Let's flex on these Florida State and Florida guys. <laughs> Let's flex on them, man. We got elite talent coming in, double digits. And on our visits. Now, Florida State and Florida, they probably playing musical chairs as we speak right now with two stars and three stars and no stars. But we got the elites of the elites down here in Miami. You know, we could brag a little bit. Yeah, Please. yeah, of course. I mean, I don't I don't have to say much. 42 and 2 and 44 games. That's that's all I gotta say. I don't have to brag and boast. You know what I'm saying? Nah, let me brag and boast a little bit more. We ain't been dominant. We ain't been winning all them games and all that, and we still doing that. We doing that right now. So that just goes to show you our brand. The, they believe our coaches. Obviously, is doing believe. something right. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. I I think when they go to Tallahassee, half them kids don't understand a word that come out of Norville mouth. Because like I told y'all in last week's show, he he sound like Boom Howl from the um, King of the Hill. Or maybe it's just nothing to do there. Like it's so much to do in Miami. You know what I mean? They that's a that's Miami a huge draw. They say, man, we step out there. It's like a resort. Palm trees everywhere, beach everywhere, pretty girls everywhere. We step out on Gainesville. All we see is hillbillies and lawns. <laughs> you step out of Tallahassee. All you see is trailer parks and um, broke down tractors and massage parlors. <laughs> <laughs> And guys out there, when you ask them what you do for fun, they say they tip cows. That's tough. You know, you know the difference between Miami and um and Florida and Florida State. Because I seen a I seen a video during the week of Florida showing their parking lot. The players all got you know Hellcats and Dodge Chargers and all that. And then when you go to Miami, you you show the parking lot. It's all Lamborghinis and Ferraris. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's levels to this shit. It's levels, it's levels. yeah, it's levels. You know. But Lodge, uh, I'm going to just call him, I'm going to just call him Ill. That's his name right now, because I'm going to mess that up. Yeah. Times. Yeah. So Mr. Ill Will, that's his name, Ill Will. Will. How about that? Um, what kind of, how much of a hit would this be for Georgia if he were to flip to, let's say, the University of Miami? Because obviously last year you guys had a top – Tight end also flipped to you know, Florida State. Yes, we did. In uh, I think in that London, London, some Thomas was it? Yeah, Landon Thomas. Yeah, Landon Thomas. So he flipped the. How would it? How would it be to flip from Georgia, top tight end in the country twice in the back to back uh, recruiting cycle? I mean, it, it happens all the time. We recruit at such an elite level. We expect some five stars to flip. It's going to happen. You know what I'm saying? But what people don't understand is okay a commit flips in march or april right he hasn't put pen to paper yet he hasn't put pen to paper yet just because somebody flips to another school doesn't mean they're going to sign with that school you got from now until december for that player to sign when that player puts pen to paper then you can celebrate all right let's 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 do some insulting Let's do some insulting right now. So you got an alumni kid that's pretty much not, not even giving your school any attention. I think y'all, I think they're paying for his attention right now. But we got a guy in um in Vernell Brown the third. 
obviously is a he's a um he's a legacy kid for Floyd. But he's not giving them the time of the day. Now the crystal balls are going in for Ohio State. Um any Ohio State, any any time a crystal ball going for a receiver for Ohio State, you can already sum it up, you know. Yeah, it's pretty much a done deal. Yeah, it's pretty much a done deal. That's what Hardline does. You got to give him credit. Um, he, he gets the top recruits in receiving. Um, Ohio State probably won't do nothing with him, but, you know, that's how it is. That's how it's been for the last three seasons that I've been keeping up, at least. So, obviously, Florida State is in the mix. Florida's in the mix. Miami's in the mix. But Ohio State is seem to be the um, – the you know the top choice of where they think he's gonna land. Um, obviously, four star guy on the composite, you know, 5'11, 170 out of um, Orlando, um, Jones High School. This is an elite prospect that's on the University of Miami campus as we speak. Miami is you know in that recruitment now. Like I said, Ohio State seemed to be the leader, and we all know why. But this would be amazing. This would be an amazing get for Miami if we were to get him, especially that he's an alumni, especially that he's a legacy of Florida. He's a legacy, yeah. He's a Florida legacy kid, yeah. This would be amazing. This would absolutely be amazing. Man, Florida fans would lose their nuts. They, they they probably cuss the kid out, call him all kind of this and that. Yeah, same thing they did to ETN, same thing. Speaking of ETN, um, what's the update on him? Is he back in practice? Uh, I don't think he'll play in the spring game, and I don't think he'll play against Clemson. Oh, wow. All right. Well, you know, there's another guy, obviously, you know, there's, I mean, there's a lot of top prospects, but here's another one we got on campus also. Now, he's a running back. Um, I want to say it's Usman, Usman, if that's how you, you know, say that. For those of you guys that saw it there, that's English majors, you probably can, you know, say that. But, yeah, running back, 5'11", 200 pounds, um, borderline five-star, almost there, you know, composite. He's um, a four-star out of um, Leesburg, Georgia. We go to Lee County. Where is Georgia? On his arm um, recruitment, are you guys going after him heavily, or, or what's the deal? Because obviously, right now they're saying that you know Florida State and Georgia is warm on him, so I might be going in into a battle for him. Yeah, it's going to be a, a battle. I mean, we recruit running backs. We recruit a lot of running backs. Uh, there's another four star by the name of Bo Jackson that we're looking at as well. But yeah, he it's gonna be a battle between us and Florida State. Uh Novell, he's a decent recruiter, but like I said, he I think he leans toward the, the portal maybe 75 to 80 percent of the time. But um uh, time will tell. I mean, if you look at the track record of these these running backs from Georgia going into the NFL, it's it's a good track record the last six, seven years. So uh, it all depends on what the kid wants. You know, does he want playing time right away? Uh, is he willing to wait? You got somebody like Carson Beck that waited for three years to start. You know what I'm saying? So will he wait a year or two and, and refine his skills and then come out and, and play when it's time to play? You know, it just depends on the kid. All right. So obviously, like I said, man, a lot of top prospects. Let's just jump from one to another. So we got another guy here in Dallas Golden. He's a safety. Six. All foot. these guys are on y'all campus right now? Double digits. Wow. I told, you, I told you, man, Florida State in Florida could never. But, uh, yeah, safety, six foot, 176, um, out of Tampa, Florida. Um, Barkley Prep, that's where he goes. Um, composite, four-star guy. So, obviously, you know, the number 10 safety, the number 12 player in the state. These guys, um, now, obviously, they're saying crystal balls are from – Notre Dame on that one. But if Miami, if like for instance, the guy we just reviewed, um um Oltsman, the the running back, if they're yeah. down on Miami's campus right now, don't count Miami out because we all know how Crystal Ball recruit. It's yeah, a marathon, not a sprint. It's gonna be down this national signing day. He's gonna go go through every single aspect 
to try to get the guy. And that's what crystal ball and Kirby are kind of the same because just because a guy commits doesn't mean that we stop recruiting him. We're going to recruit him until he signs on the dotted line. You know what I'm saying? So he might commit to to two or three different schools. Doesn't mean we're not going to stay in contact with him. You know, we still going to check up on him and say, hey, we still want you at our university despite you committing to another university. You know, we still think you could you could uh, come and help us out as far as being on the roster. So. Um, that's something that Mario does and Kirby does. Now they're they're giving this guy the um, Notre Dame crystal ball, but obviously Miami's still in the mix. Georgia's in the mix. Florida and Clemson, those guys are still in the mix also. So it's going to come down to it. But I I told you guys, man, Miami's not just recruiting against Florida and Florida State. We're 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 recruiting against guys like Georgia, Notre Dame, Ohio State, and those those guys. You know, that's where the top recruits are, you know, aiming to, to go. That's where the NIL is at, let's be real. That's where the um the potential to become a national champions are and everything like that. It's basically who the kids believe in. They don't believe in Florida State or Florida. They believe in Miami. You know, some of them are going to be in the chat saying that I'm just making that up. But hey, when you look at who the recruits are putting in their top fours, top fives, and stuff like that, it's always Miami. It's always Miami. Every um every now and then a squirrel get a nut and you'll see Florida and Florida State in there. But um yeah, let's let's continue, man. Um I know it's a lot of elites on top of elites, but we, we we'll continue with the elites because you know that's what Miami does with recruiting, you know, more with elites. Um we got another guy here. He's um an edge rusher, 6'4, 220 pounds. Zion. Obviously, um Alabama and Georgia is in that race. I, I keep trying to tell y'all, but he's not, <laughs> he's not it's there gonna be a fight. You know it's gonna be a fight. It's down there in Miami. Now they're predicting um Alabama now. He is from Alabama, um Enterprise, Alabama. Go to Enterprise. Um, high school, obviously. Um, Florida State's, I don't know how their name even got put in the bunch because uh, they, they, they ain't getting them. Um, Georgia's still in there, Miami's still in there, Tennessee, and Alabama. So, you know, obviously, um, I, I give Florida State just a little tad bit of credit. They do have, they do, um, recruit the state of Alabama pretty well, they, they recruit the state of Georgia pretty well, too. That's right. So, you know, they may, they may might be tossed in there for a little consideration. You know, some of the coaches out there, they, they got good relationships with them. But this is an edge rusher, like I said, um, composite, four-star, borderline five-star guy. <clears throat> He's almost up there. Um, 247 Sports got him as the number four edge in the country. Oh, wow. Okay. Number, four edge in Alabama, number four player in Alabama and the 47th player in the nation. Okay. He's so top Miami. five in the state, top five in Alabama. Yep, and he's um right down there in Coral Gables right now, chilling at the U. So you there know, it is, man. You know, we we getting them. We got them coming in now. We got them top guys coming in. Them top prospects coming in. You know, we ain't we ain't in we ain't in the same bubble as a Florida State in the Florida. You know. I really guys. haven't heard anything about Florida recruiting lately, man. I mean, I don't know. I mean, what was their class rank? Uh, what, 12, 13 last year? But this year I really haven't seen anything, you know, as far as them signing big names or having any commitments. Um, we need BB in here because he's a recruiting expert as far as, you know, Florida. So if well, any of y'all see BB, let us know. Well, speaking of Florida, I, I guess this is a wrong segue into talking about this guy because Florida is being crystal ball to flip him. But um this is a guy that just committed um maybe not not too long ago on March the 21st, the 24th, I'm sorry. He committed to USC. Now everybody got him on um, crystal ball for you know Florida. But he's a safety 6'1, 180 um Hilton Stubbs. Um, out of Jacksonville, Florida, uh, Mandarin, that's the high school you go to, um, high four-star guy, composite four-star guy. So 
you know, USC is in, in the battle. He's already committed to him. Um, Florida, Florida State, Miami, and Alabama, um, top of the list. So, obviously, this might be a, a battle down to the end, but they're crystalling to go to Florida, so we'll see how that goes. Speaking of safeties, uh, FSU fans, I just want to let you know, K.J. Bolden is balling in Athens right now, making plays, uh, really, really looks the part, and will definitely get some playing time this year. So shout out to all you FSU fans. Now, for those of you guys that don't know who K.J. Bolden is, give them a quick recap. Okay. <laughs> K.J. Bolden, uh, you know, one of the best athletes, one of the best players in the state of Georgia, was committed. Uh, to FSU for a while, um, you know, people got online on social media and trolled and, you know, he told people that he wasn't, you know, leaving his commitment and, you know, he was going to be a no and that was his favorite team growing up. His parents wanted him to be a no, but um, unfortunately he, uh, you know, he got a visit from Will Muschamp, our old DB's coach and Kirby Smart. And, you know, when it was time to sign the dotted line, uh, he was wearing the red and black. So um, just another another player who, you know, had a long-time commitment to FSU and uh, wound up flipping on signing day. Oh, wow. So um, he, he didn't – he wasn't a no when the no got beat um, 63 to 3. No, 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 he wasn't. He definitely wasn't. Was he definitely at the game wasn't. on the Georgia sideline? Yes, yes, oh, wow. yes. And, and they talk about Marvin Jones Jr. He was actually on the on the Georgia sideline too, even though he um, hit the portal and went to Florida State. Uh, I see him in the chat talk about Marvin Jones Jr. Oh, he was probably so, their best linebacker. So Marvin Jones Jr. saw these guys get get beat six to three to three and say, "I want to be a part of that guy." Yes, because he knew he was gonna start, man. He he knew he was gonna start, man. He's he a, knew he would go down there and get every snap that he wanted. He saw Georgia put that last point on him to make it uh, 63 and said, I want to play for those guys. Man, that's some loser stuff right there, boy. But anyways, let's talk about a winner. Let's talk about the number two linebacker in the nation. Number let's two? The number two linebacker in the nation. Come yeah, because the, the number one linebacker is going to Athens. Nah, the number one guy. We'll, I'll, I'll, we'll have to look that up, but the number two guy right here, in um, Zayden Walker. Yeah. Composite five star. Number yeah. Four player in Georgia. That's right. Number eighteen player in the nation. Now, if you just go off of two forty seven sports, he's the number one linebacker. He's the number two player in Georgia, and he's the ninth in the nation. Yeah, he's the number one linebacker in, in Georgia, but the number one linebacker in the nation is coming to Athens. Now, Zayden Walker here, six one and a half, two hundred and twenty-five pounds out of um Ellaville, Georgia. This would be huge. If mommy can get a commitment from this guy, this would be huge. Obviously, you know, um Derek Nicholson, former FSU um, Seminole, he's our linebackers coach. Oh, and not only that, he did get a promotion to co-DC. Co Co-defensive co coordinator, okay. Yeah, so he's down there doing the thing that's, you know, we're getting elite linebackers coming in each and every year. That's 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 just what Mario do. So to bring, if we could get a guy like this to come on in, this would be major. This would be major. This would be like one of setting one setting them keystones, the milestones when you look back and say, Man, where did Miami start when they went on this great phenomenal run? This this would be this would be one of those honorable mentions. What's his top three? Okay, let's see. So um, Georgia, Miami, South Carolina, Florida State, and Penn State, those are the those are the teams that, according to 247 Sports, saying that those are the teams that are warm. Obviously, we know Miami is warm. He's on campus right now. And this is a 25 or a 26 guy? Nah, this is a 25 guy. This, this is a 25 guy. guy. Okay. Yeah. So we're doing we're doing great things, man. We're doing great things. Like I said, he's a Georgia guy, so you don't hang around there. You know, they're going. 
they're gonna entertain them a little bit, but yeah, of course. Obviously, we see Derek Nicholson recruiting them, Glenn Schumann for George is recruiting them. Um, for South Carolina, Clayton White is recruiting them. Now, for Florida State, there's nobody there. I think Florida State is probably ashamed to put Randy Shannon name up there because they probably know they name nobody with them. Oh my goodness, Randy that's Shannon. Not, Randy not, Shannon? That's that's who they linebacker guy is. What? You know, every once in a while, Randy Shannon will help recruit somebody in Florida State fans will love him again. But when it comes to a guy like Zayden Walker, it ain't happening. Oh, okay. I got you. It ain't happening. But you know, I got you. We like I said, we got the elites of the elites. Um that's that big tight end right there. That's that big tight end right there. That's Williams right there. Ill will. Ill will. Ill will. Down there. Georgia commit chilling down there with the U. That that green, that orange and green look good on them, you know. <laughs> orange and green look good on them. Just like the red and black looks good on Kobe Young. It's the same thing. <laughs> hey, we will trade y'all him for Cody Young. Oh yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, hey, Kobe. Y'all already got him. So oh, yeah. if Kobe if Kobe catches ten touchdowns this year, what what are you gonna say to T2Y? Hey man, that's tough. I mean, obviously that's a huge accomplishment. in according to um, all the Alabama fans. Hey, uh, William McMillian, uh, McMillian, Mc, McMillian in the chat says, "Stop putting down black coaches." It's not a black or white thing, man. We just talking about Randy Shannon, man. Wait, what did we put that? Oh, Randy Shannon? Come on, man. Randy Shannon is a Miami alumni, a former Miami Hurricane coach. Yeah. We can't help that he's at the Seminoles and he ain't, he ain't doing he ain't living up to y'all standards. <laughs> you know, that ain't our problem. That ain't our problem. I mean, shout out to Randy Shannon. Good luck to him. So he left y'all to be a, a linebacker coach at my at uh, Florida State. No, nah, well, well, he didn't leave us. We fired him. Oh, he he got fired. Okay, I got you. Yeah, they fired him and hired Golden. Got you. I got you. And now he's a linebackers coach at Florida State. Okay, I got you. Yeah, um, I think he went to. He was at US, US, USF at one point, and he was at um, it was at Florida. It was at Florida at one point. So he been to all three. So he, you might as well name him Big Three Shannon. <laughs> Big Three Shannon, there it is. There it is. <laughs> he just went to Florida State and became Little Three Shannon. That's yeah, it. he was Big Three Shannon because he done been at all three schools, and and now he coaching the uh, linebackers of Florida State. Man, I did not know that, man. But let, let let's keep it moving with the blue chip, you know, the elite recruits and all of them that's down in Miami right now. So, on our so everybody, right now. everybody that you name is on campus right now. On campus right now, Zaire Addison, offensive tackle, 6'4", 290, out of uh, Riverview, Florida. He goes to um Sunder High School. Uh, composite four star on the uh, composite. Award. Uh, also, of course, um, sport. This is another blue chip guy. I'm telling you, man, Miami got the elites of the elites down here. While the no stars and two stars are up in Florida and um, Florida State playing musical chairs right now. So, Zaire, obviously, um, teams that are pretty much warm, they say it's Clemson, Florida State, Oregon, and um, Penn State. So obviously, Miami's trying to make a play on them. Obviously, you know, having all these guys down there, they're trying to make sure that you know they, they show this guy what it really is. Okay, I know you ain't been down here. I know you ain't been, you know, you ain't been exposed to this kind of, you know, greatness on the offensive line. You got Maribal and Crystal Ball. You got a head coach that's an offensive line. You want to say y'all messed up. Y'all should have never let this man come down. Y'all should have paid him, paid his mama's rent, paid his daddy on um, car notes. Y'all should have did something. But y'all shouldn't have let him come down here. <laughs> y'all should have let that man come down here. That's another elite one that could probably possibly end up in Miami's class. I'm telling you now, Miami's going to end up with a top, top five class this year again. 
I'm letting you know now. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing in the state of Florida stopping us. Hey, T2R, shout out to uh, Marcus Omar in the chat. He said that y'all was going to lose to Florida 37 to 3. Who finna lose to who? He said UF 37, UM3. So I'm going to go ahead and screenshot that. Make sure you're around during the season there, uh, Marcus Omar. And my, my reply to Marcus is plain and simple. Long. You haven't, so you he he needs to leave that dope alone. <laughs> yeah, Marcus, leave that dope alone, man. And why you <laughs> why are you at it, Marcus? Get some help. Yeah, man, it ain't never too late, man. Go get. It ain't some, never too late. Get you some help, my guy. Uh, he must be a Florida. He must be a Florida fan. Hold on, I gotta give out another another treatment because um William William here he 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 don't lost his mind. <laughs> Flag on the play. <sighs> Cap. Yeah, William McMillan said we, we can't talk about Randy Shannon because black lives matter. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you know what else don't matter? You know what do matter though? Elite recruiting at Miami, that matters. Yeah, recruiting matters, but uh, according to Florida fans, you know, y'all recruit when the season's over. That's when y'all start y'all recruiting, after football season. Now, let, let, let's talk about an elite that we already got committed down in Miami. You know, you know we're going to try to flip some other people's guys, but let's talk about the guys that we have that's already committed. A four-star blue chip running back out of – um. Stephanie, Florida, um, Armwood High School, running back 5'10", 182. Mr. Pringle, Pringle Jr., he's already committed to Miami. He's on campus right now, you know. Garrett Pringle. You know, Florida State can't say they got an elite running back that's committed already like we do. They can't say they got an elite running back at all. Nothing like that. So, yeah, Florida, Florida definitely ain't in the conversation either. Yeah. Well, they used to have an elite running back. They don't have no more. Now, nah, teams that we beat out for this guy, you got Alabama, East Carolina, Georgia, and Missouri. Those are the guys that he was considering, um, along with Miami. So, great to see that we got the commitment early out of a blue chip running back. But let's let's you know let's continue to keep rolling you know because you know the elites of the elites gonna be here the elites of the elites gonna be here you know we got another guy by the name of Dixon so Darius Dixon Darius Dixon cornerback six foot one eighty he's also a composite four star borderline five star he pushing it down here out of California. Um, Santa, Santa Ana, Santa Ana, whatever. Santa Ana, yeah, I know what that is. I know where Santa Ana is. Yeah. So, obviously, huge, huge pickup if we can get them. Teams that are in the mix, some elite names on this list: Alabama, Georgia, Michigan, uh, Auburn, Arizona. Huge names, man, and we got these guys on campus. You know, Mario's. Putting the uh, the recruiting rugu, guru um the sense the sensei the mojo all that good stuff he's just flowing it through the air down here you know I mean I understand having all these guys teach you while on your campus but man who is gonna put pen to paper the world may never know it's kind of like how many licks does it take to get to the center of a tootsie pop the world yeah. may never know now we definitely ain't gonna know in April. But we'll definitely know in December. Yeah, definitely in December. Yeah. You know, recruitment, I'm excited about it and everything, but we all know I keep preaching to y'all, no matter how excited I get, you know, seeing the elite stuff that we're doing, it's still a marathon. You know, anybody that's committed, we all obviously we're happy, we celebrate, we give them they, you know, they kudos and everything. But still got a sign on that dotted line. Yeah, you got from now until December to. You don't celebrate in April or May 
because you know obviously you could end up getting KJ Bolden. Right, right, right. You could be um basically fighting for your life. <laughs> you could be down there like like Kelly, fighting for your life. <laughs> Sometimes it's like that, T. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty much Norville every year when it comes to recruiting. He just be fighting for his life. But you know, this is what FSU fans told us. We don't give a f about them high school kids. As long as they can play, we'll just get them out the portal. Yep, that's what I heard. That's what I heard. We'd rather take Porter guys because they more polished and they got more experience in this than third. Yeah, we don't care about no high school kids no more. We just get them out the portal. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, obviously we got a lot of recruits. Like I said. Um, I didn't mention any of the 26 guys because y'all, if y'all pay attention to the channel, then you obviously know we, we try to stay whatever current recruiting class we're in, we try to stay in them because a lot could change, you know, for the next year. Between now and 26, yeah. Yeah. You know, you know, games got to get played. You know, when teams win, you know, recruits like to flop to them. It's like, who's hot right now? So... We'll we'll wait and see for twenty six. Hey, sidebar, T two Y. Um, USC Trojan fans are telling me that USC is back. They've been a, a sleeping giant, but they're awake now because they they got two five stars to commit to them. So now they have the number three class for twenty five. So um, I just want to let y'all know that USC is back. All right. Well, since the Gators ain't got much going on because they're a dying program, let's see who's on their list for, um, you know, visits in April and, and March and all that good stuff. Let's see this this running list that they got going on. So um, they'll have um, a couple guys. Either. Hilton Stubbs, obviously the USC recruit, the safety. They got Winston um, Watkins Jr. He's a receiver, four-star guy. Right. And those Justice guys, Terry. They got Justice Terry, the, the number one defense alignment in the nation. Uh, those guys, they visited uh, Florida already. They visited them on the, um, the 7th. Obviously, he visited – Hilton visited on the 7th and committed to USC on the 24th. So, obviously, Florida ain't sell nothing. He ain't buying nothing that they were spitting out. So, let's look more into today. What they got coming in today. What they I mean, the sad the part about Florida is there's, there's no stability there. I mean, they everybody they knows that their coach is on the hot seat. If they don't do good, then he out of there. So, why, so would, why would they commit? To Florida, they actually do got one of y'all guys on campus right now. Who? Who they got? No, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, I clicked on the wrong guy. Let me go back. I'm sorry. Never mind. He, he he's a he's a Gator commit. I thought it was a Georgia commit, but now nah, he a Gator commit. He's a four star um four star guy to Tallahassee. He went. He goes to James versus um Jalen Wiggins. He's a defensive lineman, six four and a half, um, 245. Yeah, 10th temp, temp play in the state of Florida. So that's that's actually a good pickup for him. I thought I thought he was a Georgia commit for a second. Uh, let me switch over. But, but that's my thing, too, too. I, I, I commit to Florida, right, and everybody's happy. And then seven months from now, their coaches get – their coach gets fired, and then their whole coaching staff is gone. So everybody that I sat and ate with, and spend time with and committed to the program. Everybody, if there's no, there's going to be no familiar faces. You know what I'm saying? Everybody going to be gone. Yeah. Now, obviously, he got the commitment. Uh, Florida got the commitment out of him, but Florida State's still in there. Um, Stanford, Arkansas, and um, Auburn, those guys are still. Recruiting. So we'll see. Um, obviously, you see what happened with Billy last year. They jump out with the number three class in the country, and then they couldn't hold it together, and they didn't even finish in the top ten. That's tough. That's the same thing that's going to happen to USC. Yeah. You know, we see it year in and year out. The year before, it was um, Tennessee. Remember that one? Right. 
be jumped out right. of number two class and then they end up out of the top 10 at the end of the year. That's yep. Good. So today, Florida's recruits that came in, um, they got a four star, the guy that just committed, the one that you're seeing on the screen now. Um, Ty Jackson, he's a linebacker, he's a four star. And everything else on that list is three star and above and um, below. With no, um, some of these guys don't have no offers. So, um, Caleb Bell, no offer from Florida. Jaden um, Wilkerson, no offer from Georgia. Not Georgia, uh, Florida. So, you know, they they bringing in guys that they ain't even offered yet. A bunch of three star guys and stuff like that. You can tell the the difference between our recruiting class and their recruiting class. We got the elites of the elites on campus. They got the guys that they don't even want. Here's your guy, uh, Marcus Omar again, uh, T2Y. He said Duke 27, UM 14. Yeah, at this point, he's just sad. He's just a sad person. Right now, we'll do recruiting after the season. When it gets to recruiting time, we can talk about recruiting. Yeah, obviously, he thinks we're still playing the games right now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Mark, Mark is going to bump his head. Marcus, are you a Florida State fan or are you a um, Florida Gator fan? What are you? He's got to be a Gator, bro. Announce yourself. I mean, Florida State fans, they have a little bit of common sense. I'm trying to read through some of his comments, see if I could decipher whether he's a Seminole or whether he's a baby lizard. He's definitely a gecko. He's a Gainesville gecko. Oh yeah, he's a Seminole. He's a Seminole. I see. Yeah. Oh, he makes y'all look bad. Where's a young Seminole? At? I could I could see the brain cells from here. He's a Seminole. The Gator fan, oh, okay. just a tad bit of sense. I can't. Yeah. I, I can sense the vibes. I can feel the vibes. He's a, he's a, we need to hit up Turn Tally, man. He's making y'all look bad. That might be one of Turn Tally's disciples. Y'all told might you, be, man. Told you, FSU. There it is, right there. Yeah, so Florida ain't really got nothing going on when it comes to recruiting. That's tough. Let's talk about Florida State scrimmage, though. Um, today, obviously, they had a scrimmage. Um, some of the stuff that's coming out via via uh, 247 Sports, you got Chris Nee. He um, put out some, you know, side notes of the things that happened. Um, Solomon Thomas, someone is um, someone you need on campus as often as possible. Um, huge impact piece, and then they battle with Florida and LSU. So we think that Florida and LSU is a threat to take um, Solomon Thomas from them. Um, oh they, no! They counted not their biggest problem, Miami, but it's all good. It's all good. All dandy. Um, How many interceptions will DJU throw this year? How many interceptions would DJ throw this year? That's a good question. Um, I'm not sure, but y'all can put it in the comment section. Speaking of DJ, they say he had a great day today. DJ, you had a great day today? Yeah, they say he had a great day today. Well, that's opposite of what they've been saying in the chat, because this uh this guy in the chat has been, been talking about how good their secondary is and how the defensive line is going to be better how the secondary is going to be better, but oh, DJ, you before, had a good day today. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind, of, into, it's kind of opposite. Before we get into the, uh, the, the, the what you call it, the scrimmage, we can talk about the, the recruiting parts, the notes, the footnotes that Chris has got. So, um, Makai DeVos um, need to um, leave with an official visit on um, Monday. LSU is to lose, supposedly. so LSU is leading in that department. Um, Makai um, the boss. So Florida State is obviously he's visiting Florida State right now, but they want to um, they want him to commit to an official visit. Um, Ty Haywood is someone to um, take a big swing at and see if he could get um, get him in the mix. But as of right now, they're they're saying that he's got a his frame is an A plus. So that's definitely would be somebody they want in their class, but you know, we'll see if they can get them. Uh, most of these guys ain't you no know, top elite guys, but for Florida State, you know, they'll take what they can get. Yeah, 
there. So basically, they looking for size. They looking for um, you know, they trying to make sure that mommy is not making them look like little kids on the line. Right. Right. Because obviously, you see what Mario and Crystal Ball, Mario Crystal Ball and Maribal doing on the offensive line and defensive line. We get giants and guys that can play. Hey, real love. Real love backwards in the chat says Sarge do all this talking and don't play neither Miami or FSU. Hey, real love backwards. Who was the last team that Georgia played, bro? <laughs> yeah. Oh, fun fact. Um, ain't got nothing to do with Georgia or Florida State. But did you guys know that Florida's on a five game losing streak right now? I did not know that. Yeah, Florida is on a five game losing streak right now. I think Georgia started it too. We probably did, yeah. I know they lost to Georgia, uh, Arkansas, LSU. I forgot the other team in uh, Florida State at the end of the year. Yeah, but I remember you saying, I remember you saying when you went live that they were going to lose their next five games, and that's exactly what happened. Because they were five and two, right? Yep. I would tell them, but they, you know, they don't listen to me. I'm just a troll. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, obviously they they um scrimmage and everything happened. Or they spoke on it. They took their notes and everything. Blah blah blah. So, I mean, all the all the third and fourth string, you know, guys that got beat sixty three to three. Those guys are now starters. So, uh, we'll see what they have. You know, we'll see how their season goes. Yeah, they're saying that basically today's um, scrimmage at Florida State was pretty balanced. They say it was around 115 to 120. So, you know, balance between the offense and the defense. First you got it. You got it. We were able to run it more secretly like a game um, where, where there was a sudden change on uh, flipping the field. All of the different situations were um, reactive. Rather than being um, sequenced or situational, where we put um, put in different places, uh, pretty much. You know what? Let's do it this way. I ain't gonna sit here and um, take all these guys' notes and all that. We're just gonna listen to Norville talk about it. We're just gonna let Norville give us the ones and twos and everything that. Okay, hey, pack them up. Three five two said, drop the link. So we'll 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 let Mike Bill go ahead and, and speak. You know, um, I want to apologize to you guys ahead of time because sometimes you know when he talks, he sounds like Porky Pig. Hey, uh, a real love backwoods said that bowl game wasn't supposed to happen. You're right, it wasn't supposed to happen. But y'all said y'all wanted Georgia for four months, and then y'all got exactly what y'all wanted. Yeah, man. Sometimes you just got to whoop teams into submission. Yeah, sometimes you just got to, you know, give people what they want. That's what they wanted. That's what they got. So let's let's do this. Let's see what I'm going to do. Hold on, Norville. Hold on. Slow down. I'll talk to you. So let me go ahead and shift this right there. White Mike. I thought today was a shout out to Mike, man. Second scrimmage, uh, you know, probably about the same overall number count, you know, roughly, you know, probably 115 plays. So, the run, um, more sequence like a game. Changes. There was uh, flipping the field. You know, all the different situations were, you know, reactive rather than, um, you know, uh, sequence uh, or situational where we put them in in the, the uh, in the different places. So it was good to see guys have to operate, respond. Um, you know, I thought the offense, you know, was good today. I thought they, you know, for a second scrimmage and the response from, you know, the, some of these the last few days where you've seen, uh, you know, kind of the defense, you're taking a step, you know, taking a step ahead and thought the offense had a good response. You know, there were some really good moments defensively. Uh, you know, a couple of big stops, so you know, a couple of, uh, you know, created a, 
I mean, great takeaways. Um, that was uh, impressive to see, but I thought just overall the offense did a nice job and how they executed the quarterback play um, was really good. And I thought that um, you know, DJ had a couple of really long extended drives. You had also had some explosive plays put in there. Uh, you know, Brock, you can see just the comfort in his operation, knowing what to do. Um, you had some had some good plays, good moments. You know, obviously in the crack in the spring, uh, you know, in scrimmages, you know, your quarterbacks are you know, we, we keep them in. In kind of tag mode, uh, sometimes where you know, maybe they'd get out, maybe they wouldn't, but you know, still you know, opportunities to to have to to have to you know, react to whatever the situation calls for. And um, you know, I thought our defensive front was continuing to show uh, the explosiveness, uh, you know, their attack, you know, especially when you get in, get the, in long yard situations. You see when those guys really you know, you know pin their ears back. I mean, there's some there's some some real explosives out of that group. And so um, you know, I'm excited about you know, the, the steps we're seeing. Um, you know, like I said, there's there's some big plays. I thought um, you know, Malik Benson showed up well. You know, Hakeem had some had a couple of really nice plays. Um, you know. You know, really, I, I thought the receivers you know, did a did a good job. You know, there's been it had been some missed opportunities, um, you know, throughout the the week, and I thought they they really rose up. I mean, I thought our running backs did a did a solid job. Uh, some of the defensive backs, you know, saw you know making plays on the ball, uh, which is always encouraging. And uh, you know, like like I mentioned, the, the defensive front was uh, was pretty good. So all in all, good first scrimmage. Uh, you know, uh, had some bumps and bruises. Nothing. I don't think anything you know, too severe. You know, well, I don't mind no real too. Take some time to breathe and just say the word slowly. My goodness, does does Florida State not offer any classes, any speech classes? Can't y'all sign my boy up for some speech classes? Can somebody get Norville signed up for some speech classes? Is there any scholarships up there that Florida State could get my guy? Florida State fan, how do y'all deal with this every week? Hey, get off my boy, man. <laughs> we ain't can do that. My boy sound like he he treats dumb and speaking at the same time. Does we Norville do care that. about recruiting? Does he care about recruiting anymore? Yes or no? Get off my boy. That's crazy. Look at the face that he's making right now. <laughs> <laughs> My boy got that dude look on his face right now. Does he care about recruiting? Yes or no? He don't care about speech. What you mean do you care about recruiting? I'm asking a question. Well, if you if you a coach, you you should. I mean, he ain't get this, he ain't get here not caring about recruiting. Do Florida State fans just give Mike Norvell a, a pass with all this speech? Because if I think if he was losing, y'all would have been on him. If he was losing hey, some games, y'all would have been on him. What has his what has his recruiting rankings been like the last four or five years? What what has recruiting classes been? Sitting outside of the top ten. He do say arm um, too much. It ain't even about the arm. Um. So ever since he's been coaching, he hasn't had a top ten recruiting class. Mike Norvell sound like this. Yeah, I, I mean, no he, he hasn't, but he's still been beating Miami without top ten classes. So why they got top five? I mean, so he's been a coach for for what six years at FSU. See, no. they, what they don't want to tell you is he don't got a top five class in high school, but he'll have a top five class in the transfer portal. That's how oh, okay, okay, in. okay. That's how he's been able to keep his job. Why do y'all hate on him so much in this transfer I'm portal? I don't get it. We not, not we not no, no, him. no. This this transfer portal is all I hear with Mike Novell. Like that's that's they, his heart they, and soul. People, okay, if he good at it, I mean, what? Like, why stop? Just be, you know what I'm saying? Just they, because they, they you know. see what happened when your Listen. when your portal guys decide to quit. Thank you. Miami, Miami takes more portal players than Florida State. They just don't hit on them like we do. We ain't gonna get into that though. We don't give away all the high school um playtime. Oh, look, we don't give Miami, away all the high Miami, Miami, Miami has do. taken more players in the portal than Florida State. We just hit on our guys. They don't. 
That's why it's such I'm a going to the portal and a the big guys, deal. You get out of high school, you don't develop. That's why it's such a big deal. Who, who out of high school have you guys developed? What day did he get hired at Florida State? What day? Tate so will make a big difference. Does I already said Tate would never start here. I said he would never State? start here. I call. I call. Y'all ain't even I call. Um, Tate I call Tate. Played in a couple of games and he still look like a freshman. I call Tate the uh, white um James Blackman. He'll never start. <laughs> Does He'll anybody in the here. chat know what day he got hired as a Florida State coach? It don't matter. He's doing his thing now. I'm just asking a question. I, I don't know, but I'm just saying what I don't, he, he doing his thing now. Man, imagine if, if Memphis beat Florida State this year. You crazy. That'll be crazy. I'm not saying he's not doing his thing. I just want to know what day he got hired. I, I couldn't tell you. What year? We've been there, what? This is going on year My My started the COVID season. Okay, so he got hired the COVID season. No, yeah. I think he was there the year before. Before that, I think. Nah, the year before that, y'all fired really tagged. Oh, don't get me started on that. Y'all fired with a tag. Y'all give my man so year. much grief. He took over for a damn coach that wear a whistle around his neck like this Pop Warner. Hey, man, y'all hired him. Hey, Prime wears a whistle. Coach Prime wear a whistle. A, a gold whistle. A gold plated <laughs> whistle. Not no regular damn $5 whistle from, from Walmart. Damn. That, 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 that those ain't the same type of whistles. That's a that's a gold plated, probably two three hundred thousand dollar uh whistle. I wouldn't say it's that much. Well, however much you want, I don't know fifty thousand, thirty, forty. It ain't five dollars. I tell you that. Okay, I got you. So he's been coaching there for five seasons, and he hasn't had one top ten recruiting class. I mean, he he's still been winning. Been been beating his rival, beating on his rivals. He's been beating his rivals, but what is his record as a coach? Uh, what you mean at Florida State? Yeah, what's his record as a coach at Florida State? Uh, is he he's over five hundred now? After he get, you know he's starting to get his his system in place. Okay. Starting to get his stuff going. Okay. He just had his best high school class this past past uh this past year so yeah y'all was ranked like, like what number 13 right yeah you know we lost some lost some uh some people but that's that's the that's recruiting all right so y'all y'all scrimmage today was very tight um none of y'all insiders ain't really insiders because they ain't got no info they just all saying the same thing dj balled out um um jabril or whatever, Jabril, whatever his name is, um, he had a pick. Jabril Rawls. Marvin Harris was, was productive. He had uh, multiple sacks. Marvin Jones, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah multiple... that's their best play on defense is Marvin Jones. They said DJ was very good today. Um, apparently interesting to see if Norville sees the same way. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much all they got. So, yeah, y'all insiders ain't insider. <laughs> they ain't really got nothing. They they out here scrambling together to try to put some tea together. We just chilling right now. Shout out to things. Marvin Jones Jr., man. Yeah, shout what? out to him. He should he should have came there in the life, first place. Life investment. You should invest in getting um Mike Norvell some speech classes. What's going on with you, my he, guy? He, he should have came to Cali. What's to going on, brother? How you feeling? All right. What you hearing, man? The name, the name of the game. I mean, a lot of people talk about recruiting classes. I get that, but the name of the game is winning. Is to win. That's it. Is win. Hey, hey, That's hey, it. Hey, answer me this. Answer me this. Answer me this. Right. You got you got a a kid in the portal that's been in college for uh for two years, and you got a you got a high school kid. You know, I know exactly what I'm getting with this portal with this portal kid. This high school kid might come in and never pan out. So it's like, I mean, yeah, you can hate on them about the old old high school thing, but that it's not. It's recruiting is is changed. It's not. Oh, you just. 
you gotta have a, a top ten class every year to be winning. No, the portal, the portal has changed that. The portal has changed recruiting. I could go get me somebody that's that's already been playing rather than go get a freshman that's gonna sit for maybe a year or two before hey, they're able a to favorite. contribute to do the team. Do me a favor. Look up the last four <laughs> college football you, national yeah. champions. Look them I up. Bet you won't tell that to the high school kids what you just said though. I mean, if, if you're going to come, you're going to come. If you feel like you can start and play, you're not worried about who they're getting out the transfer portal. If you look up the last four or five national champions, they all had top three recruiting classes. That's why they are national champions now. Yeah, but they, they, this isn't something that they just started doing. They've been having top classes. Yeah, that's why they're national champions. you got to yeah. stack top classes to win a championship. Oh, y'all like portal guys are all just one year players. You can you can stack up portal classes with if you with, start uh, high school four classes, five star you get players a third with four year three years of eligibility left. With proper development, if you stack out of high school, you can get your third and fourth fourth year guys to be elite. Right. But you can do the same with portal players. Obviously, when you're looking at y'all players that come out of high school. They third and fourth year, they still look like they freshmen. Mike, Mike, them Mike they're doing the same thing with portal players, and people don't like it because it's not the traditional way yeah, of how to build a team. Guys, the, the ones you bring in, he just went school, third, he just went, he, he went 13 and 0 doing it his way. He went 13 and 0 doing it his way. Yeah, so obviously, some, you saw what got to be working. Some, some definitely was working when you saw them all, um, them guys sat out. Yeah, so what's going to be his record why, this year? Why would they play? They were just told your season does not matter. You went 13 and 0, won your conference. Who gives a shit? Georgia, who, who cares? Georgia, was, Georgia was just told they're not in the playoffs. Georgia already lost. Georgia lost to Alabama. But not so now you're telling me that uh, all four of those teams were better than Georgia. That's what you're telling me. If, if it's the four best teams, it didn't matter. Georgia was out <laughs> of the playoffs. Y'all See what I mean? Playoffs. See what I mean? But Kirby, Kirby, why can Kirby convince? Why can Kirby convince his guys to play, but Mike can't convince his guys? Because his guys are from the portal. Because his Sorry. guys are from the portal. So, so they so came the here portal. on a mission to use y'all brand to get their stats and to go to the league. It was accomplished. Everybody in college. Unfortunately for y'all, they left y'all to hang out the dry. Y'all got McConkie. Everybody in college is trying to tr trying to go to the league and get paid. Of yeah. course. But but how come Georgia got all these elite guys and convinced them to play in the bowl game? No, because because they, they, they wanted to show. Oh, they they've they, been a dog. They've been a dog their whole career. So winning a, a, a New Year's Six is important to them. It's a legacy they're they, they gonna leave on. Yeah, of course. Kirby, 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 Kirby wanted to Kirby, and they, Kirby they felt like they should have been in it. They look back at their collegiate career in a couple Kirby of years. Kirby didn't force those guys to play, though. Those guys wanted to play. Exactly. Exactly. Those guys wanted to play. They felt like they still had something to prove. Because they got, what did Florida they State feel like they had to prove? They got pride in being a dog. Those what did Florida State feel like they had to prove? What's left to prove after going 13-0 and, and winning a conference? Guys you guys had and had no pride in being a civil. What's left to prove after you go 13 and 0 and win your you conference? You prove that you can beat a team like Georgia. You prove that. Why, why do I have to do that? And I already okay, won my so conference. Georgia, and they did. Georgia is one of the elite teams in the country. You just got left out of the playoff that you think you belong in. So why not beat one of the best? This teams is the first. This is the first undefeated Power Five team that won their conference and got left out of the playoffs. Why because not beat, why not beat a team like Georgia with your best and prove to them that y'all y'all got it wrong? That you belong in the playoffs. Exactly. Why? Why? Why, why do they have to do that? that? They already the won their conference. Way. They did that everything you're supposed to do. To shut up, America. Finish fourteen and zero. They did everything you're supposed to do. No, they didn't. They didn't play in the ball game. They, why? Why? If so, that team so, would have went to that bowl game and beat Georgia, we would have had a conversation. So, okay, yeah. So, so Jared Burst playing the bowl game, tears ACL. They go first round pick. Uh, Keon Coleman go out there, uh, break an arm or something. Like, why risk that injury? Like, y'all, y'all act like this is something you that's, risk that's an injury walking to the grocery store. That's the same Georgia players, the same that, why that, do I this, risk that injury. This is something that's been going on. This is not just something that just happened this year with Florida State. Like I said, Every Florida year, guy. players opt out of the bowl games. Big ask name players guy. opt out. Why go time. out there and risk that injury? The same question you can ask Florida State, you can ask Georgia players too. Why go out there and risk that? Because they got pride in their team. 
I, you could call it whatever you want. You go 13 and 0 and win the conference as a power five school. You, you guys should, are you should be in the playoffs. Keon Coleman, right after the all season is done and over, he's back up at Michigan State supporting them. What's wrong with that? He's not a Seminole. Uh, he he played at both colleges. What's wrong with him going to back a to a college that he played at? He's, he's not, not a Seminole. He's a mercenary. He's exactly. a mercenary. His, right. His allegiance is never just to y'all. He got allegiance everywhere. With Michigan State in, come on, man. Those guys ain't ain't no true Seminoles. Uh, you could call it what you want. They beat Miami. They beat Florida. Well, he would have played in that bowl game. That Orange Bowl would have made. Why? Some. Why risk getting hurt? Even if you Florida already did State everything you're top. supposed to do. Even Florida State on top would have meant something to him. Why risk getting bringing that, y'all he, back, Bringing y'all back into the national light would have meant something to him. You went 13 and no. What more national spotlight when do you beat want? Beat Georgia. Beat an elite team. Beat an elite show, team. For show what? the country that you guys messed up when y'all ain't put us in the playoffs. Yeah, they did. They did. How do you leave out but a show, conference out championship and show them. Uh, team beat that's 13 and no? Beat Georgia or at least compete with Georgia. At least play in the game. They did play. The, the they, third and fourth strings played. They ain't played. No, we talking about your best players. Play against the best to show that you're the best. Why do they need to Why do that when they already the won their conference? You claiming you, claiming you in the playoff. You claiming you one of the best teams in the country. Why not go up against one of the best? It ain't like you uh, were going, well, uh, like going up against according, a squad. According to the playoffs, Georgia was the sixth best team. So why do we have to go out to prove it and beat the sixth best team of in the nation? A lot of them people, Georgia was one of the best teams in the country. Why, why weren't they in the playoffs? Because they lost to Alabama. Okay, so Georgia wasn't one of the top four teams in the nation. So why do we got to so go out and beat So that should be the- even more of an incentive to play. No, no, y'all not. People, Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Y'all there's no, them. there's, there's no logical explanation. You for shouldn't why they got be left worried out. about getting hurt if you playing the number sixteen. The, it, you, you can get hurt at doing anything. So I mean, yeah. So I just, you should just, be worried about uh, you getting hurt and your draft start falling if you're not playing one of the yes, best. Yes, this teams. is this is right before the draft. If if I'm all, if I know I'm a top three uh, round pick and I just went thirteen and zero. Undefeated conference championship, and and I get told, oh, that don't mean Georgia nothing. players went fifteen and zero and won a national championship. They didn't get left out. You know what they you played. You know what your players proved to me. Exactly, they played they because can. they were in the playoffs. No, they <laughs> like, played they before can't go that. Above, they can't go above adversity. That's what they proved to me. Adversity. They won three straight games without their starting quarterback. What are you talking about? <laughs> Any any team in the country lose their starting quarterback. You was put in a situation when everything when you was up against the wall, you quit. Up against the wall and quit. They they could have quit versus Florida when they was down 12 0. They could have quit versus Louisville in the ACC championship. No, you know what the defense did? When Jordan Travis went out, they went 45 straight drives without giving up a touchdown. Why did you all that in? All that ended in Miami, though. You're right. Why, how, you you really expect some third stringers to go out there and compete with Georgia? Why do you say y'all to say that these guys quit on y'all? You really expect third stringers to go out there and compete with Georgia when people's first Bruh, string wasn't beat? Bruh. Georgia didn't play their first string the whole game. The, the whole first half? Yeah, and it was 35-3, to three, right? What was the it, final first, score? Okay, they beat up third stringers. Congratulations. But when Georgia third string played against y'all third string, they scored 28 more points. Oh, so there's but the third string just supposed to pull a comeback versus the third string, right? That's what you're telling it's me. It's even. It's third string against third string. They already down 40 points. They trying to go home. You think you think third stringers are out home. there trying to they play their heart out? Three to three then. Yeah. Okay. You think third stringers out there really playing their heart out in the game? They down 30 to zero, 40 to zero. Come on now. They should. They should. You, get down, on, you, you get down twenty-one. You get hard down. Out. You get down yeah, twenty-one yeah. zero on Madden. You ready to quit? The Georgia the third stringers are playing their hard out. And that you get down, the yeah, because they hard. they want to third string. If I'm a third string and you put me out there, it don't matter what we down by. I'm gonna prove myself. Stop it. Yeah, you, you talk crazy. 
At the end of the day, at the end of the day, they still draw them. If your players now, mentality, if your players mentality in every snap counts, then you got the wrong players. Hey T two Y, hey T two Y, George is putting walk ons out there with no last names on their jersey. Congratulations. <laughs> Woo, y'all beat third string. It's <laughs> like I we can, I can, with third string I I could care less third about third the orange bowl. I could care less. Yeah, because y'all got blown out. If y'all the one, y'all have been in here talking shit. No, I would have been saying we should have been in the playoffs. I don't care if we beat them or not. We should have been in the playoffs. Y'all predicted that y'all was going to win with y'all little third strings. They did. Who, who is they did. A, a drunk ass said that. Whoever said that is an idiot. Oh, damn, no, yeah, damn, a bunch of idiot man. FSU fans. It, nah. it, every, every fan base got idiots. Damn. Every fan base. I'm just saying, when, when, when Georgia first and second string was subbed out. That should have been the end of scoring. That oh, so the, so third string, yeah. At the end of the day, they still Georgia, bro. What are you talking about? They still Georgia. Yeah. So what are we talking about? It that, that, been, I, that, that, that's done and over with, man. I can care less score. about the Orange Bowl, man. I can care less about it. Yeah, you don't care because y'all got destroyed. I wouldn't have cared if they won. That it wouldn't have mattered. Nah, they, come they on, man. Stop it, playoffs. bro. If, if y'all would have won, y'all would have been talking about how y'all beat Georgia ass. Stop, man. They should have been, been in the playoffs. About how much they belong in the playoffs and they got snubbed. Miami would do the same Ooh. thing if they went through. Y'all have been in here. Where's Sarge at? Where's Sarge? We want a piece of Sarge. My uh, Miami would have did the same thing if they went 13 and 0 and got left out. Right. You think you think Cam Kitchens and and uh and uh all the other the top players y'all got uh would have been would have been playing versus Georgia? No. Yep. Exactly. Yep. No. They would have played. That, that would have been. Did, did he play versus? Did, did he play versus? I don't know. Did he play versus? 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 Did he play <laughs> hey, hey, T2Y. Hey, T2Y, look at this, bro. T2Y. Why did he play versus Rutgers? The same reason. Um, no, 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 no. Why didn't he play versus Rutgers? It's a difference between playing against nope. Rutgers. No, nope. it's a bowl game. It's a bowl game. The nope. Six team in the country. Nope. Nope. Hey, T2Y, think he about this, though. As a Georgia player. As a Georgia nope. player, you got two national championship rings. You don't want 29 straight games, yet you still play in the bowl game. Congratulations. That's Georgia. Congratulations. You want a, a, a cookie or glass of warm milk? Oh, no, we don't need nothing. I mean, that's... our players don't quit. Exactly. Bowl win again, third strings and walk ons. Right. Even if they we lost did, Alabama. our guys would have played exactly because they were in the playoffs. What that, that was no, that no, was no, stupid. Why if, would if you, you not put, play if you if put us in, the in FSU, if you put our players in FSU uniforms, they still would have played because Kirby would have been like, Do you want to do you want to audition for the NFL or do you want to just quit? And Georgia players wouldn't have quit. Well, congrats to them. Yes, they didn't go 13 and 0 and get left out. Though. I mean, I don't, I don't get what you're saying, though, bro. I don't get what you're saying. That's two different um. Areas, it ain't bro. two different things. It's just different players. Y'all got a bunch of transfer guys who quit. Georgia don't have a bunch of transfer guys who quit. Georgia players want to play. Congrats. They want to play. Congrats. The players, my friend. We need to quit. That's all it is. The quitters. We're still talking about this game that's done and over with. I mean, that, that game made history, man. It's going to be 20 years from now. People still going to be talking about that game. That's bro. fine. I can I'm about to get that shit made. I'm about to get it made into a That's the biggest blowout in freaking college bowl history. I'm telling you, Sarge. I'm about to get it I can I'm gonna print it out and put it as a poster. It's people that got sixty-three to three tattooed on their skin. <laughs> yeah, well, they're, they're, they're idiots. Yeah. Great 
They're idiots. <laughs> They're going to be like, so wait, how much did they beat y'all by? 60. 60. <laughs> look, look, Mike, dead in his eye. You need to turn in your whistle. And Miami lost to that same team. That's crazy. You need to turn in your whistle. Mm. Nah, nah. It was the third and fourth stringers, remember? Yeah, the third and fourth stringers. They they, they was on the team when they, uh, when they beat Miami. <laughs> they was on the team when they beat Miami. You don't need to turn in your whistle. But yeah, if you put Kirby in that same position that Mike Norvell was cool. in, he would, Georgia players wouldn't have quit. They wouldn't have walked off. They still would have played. I'm glad you know that. Congratulations. <laughs> I'm glad yeah. you know that. Your yeah. players wouldn't quit. Well, I mean, the transfer guys, they just built different, man. Yeah, why if I if I know I'm about to go first second round, why am I going out there about to hurt myself when I just went undefeated and and left out the playoffs? Brock Bowers, no, he about to go first second round. He played. Brock Bowers played in the Orange Bowl. He played. Brock Bowers played in the Orange Bowl. I see him. No, he warmed he did up. Not. He didn't play in the game, but he warmed up. Well, well, Ooh, well, he warmed he up. That's a bad Hell, man. Y'all, y'all transfers wouldn't even put the damn uniform on. Y'all That's guys put the man. That's a bad man. Brock, no, he going in the top in the top round. So guess what? He didn't play because he didn't want. He to played on hurt. one leg against Alabama. He was so hurt against Alabama. So he he still so Brock Bowers quit on Georgia. No, right. he played. No, he didn't play versus Florida State, so he quit on Georgia. He, he was unable play. to play. I, I no, no, no. Keon Coleman didn't he play. Y'all said he quit. Clear, Keon injured. Coleman didn't play. Y'all said he quit. Jared Verse didn't play. Y'all said he quit. So Marius Mims quit on the team. So uh, y'all Bowers quit y'all on the team. That's what you're telling me. They could play. Y'all trainers told him that they could play, right? A Marius Mims and Brock Bowers quit on Georgia. Because their trainers hear. told him they couldn't play. But he was warming up. Why would he be yeah. warming up if he couldn't play? It's a game. It's called a game time decision. Mm, no. No, nah, it was a game that. time decision. No, he said, I'm not yeah, playing. Yeah, I don't want to get it. Florida State, y'all should know a lot about game time decision. I mean, y'all saw Clemson. Now, now, now it's different. Now it's all these game old. Time decision it, it's there. different now. It's different now. That's y'all No, funny, it's, it's the truth. <laughs> it's now the it's truth. game time decisions and all this. If the it's, trainer it's, says that you man, can't out of the bowl game. Hey, Sarge, didn't Clemson show up at Florida State and they made a game time decision not to play him? Yeah, they said because they, of COVID. they flew down. They flew down with uh with with sick players on the plane. Uh, stop it! Listen, I, I would believe y'all if I hadn't watched Miami already beat y'all. Hey, they blame COVID, COVID, man. They blame. They COVID, flew. Man. They flew down there with sick players on the plane. Yeah, right. Oh my God. Blake, 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 Vincent, my homeboy, he played for them that year. He played offensive lineman. They flew down with sick players on the team. And that year, 2020, you could just blame COVID for everything, man. You call it what you want. It don't matter. That's in the past. Tell Mario to learn how to take a knee. So Brock yeah. Bowers and Amaris Mims I quit on, on Florida State. I'm going to remember that. What about Mims? Was Mims a game-time well, decision? Exactly. Wait, was, was Mims a game-time decision? Yes. So they Oh, so they were both game-time decisions. Yes, they warmed up in the, in the trailer. <laughs> well, so they Keon, couldn't play. Keon and Johnny and Jerry, Eric, all them was game time too. They decided not to play. What did y'all trainers tell them? They told them don't play. Uh, you, you've been, nah, you've been banged they up. Told, they told they told their coach. They told y'all coach that they wasn't playing. The same thing Brock Bowers and the Marys no, did. They no, opted out. Can we talk about apples and oranges. They opted out of the bowl game. Brock Bowers didn't tell Kirby he wasn't playing. They opted out of the bowl game. Amaris Mills didn't even go down there, so how is he a game? He time didn't decision? tell Kirby he wasn't playing. Mills didn't even go down there, so how is he a game time? Decision? Mills didn't go down there, but he was a game time decision. Yeah, the trainers no. told the coach that he can't play. I'm glad you know all yeah, this. You must be real. You must be. You must be plugged in in Athens. <laughs> <laughs> you must be plugged in in Athens. No, nah, you part of the coaching staff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, my bad. He, how much they paying you? <laughs> how, how, why you want to know that? <laughs> why you try to count my pockets? You know all this, man. Stop it. Now, now why you trying to it, count my pockets? Hey, hey, it's different. It's different now when they, when they players sat out. It's different. 
man, stop. They it. didn't sit out. They weren't cleared to play. Yeah, they weren't uh, cleared to play. Yo, yo, Brock Trent Bowers sat out because he know he yo, about to be a first round so pick. Don't talk. I ain't playing. Brock sat out because he about to be a first round pick. That's all there is to it. Yo, mercenaries told your coach I ain't playing. That hey, they did what they're supposed to. They went thirty. Ain't nothing, ain't nothing for me to play for, so I ain't playing. You right. You right. Why am I healthy. playing? I'm playing for an orange bowl. I'm hundred percent no. healthy, but I ain't playing. I'm, 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 I'm playing for watch, Orange Bowl when I'm supposed to be playing for a national on, championship. I'm, that game I'm playing for an Orange oh, Bowl when I'm supposed to be playing for a national championship. I know my game. players need me on the field. I don't want to get beat 63 to 3, but I ain't playing. Yeah. Sad. I'm trying to make it out. That shit ain't even funny. I, I don't I could care less about the game. They they find it. They could get their laughs out of it. I don't care about the game. They didn't play. They don't want to get hurt. They went 13 and 0. Should have been in the playoffs. That's I'm it. so scared of Georgia get hurt. I ain't playing. <laughs> Brock Bowers and the Marys Mims quit on Georgia. Damn. <laughs> yep. They quit on Kirby, man. Damn. Yeah. Cam Kitchens quit on Miami. Damn. Yeah. You were scared of Rutgers. Hey, imagine yeah. being the coach and then one of your players coming into your lock into your office and say, Hey coach, F you, I ain't playing. Imagine coming okay, into your, imagine talking to your coach. Hey coach, I know we 13 and 0, and we about to play Georgia in the Orange Bowl, one of the best teams in the country, but I ain't playing. <laughs> but they're gonna compare that to Cam Kitchens, who's about hey, to play hey, Rutgers hey Mario, and we seven hey and five. Hey Mario, I know I know we about to play Rutgers on that baseball oh, field, but I, I'm too scared, Coach. I don't want to play. Yeah, Coach, if, if we win this bowl game or not, my draft it ain't gonna do nothing for my draft. Mario, I don't want to play. But, we about but, to play. But here goes all the play. Florida State guys. Oh, we that got running back is too in the good, country. Coach. We about to go up against some of the best talent in the country. Let me go out coach. there and and, sh and show my skill set against some elite guys. Coach, I can't nah, get coach, ran over by. Coach, I can't get ran over by Rutgers running back. I can't. I can't go out there, Coach. That ain't gonna look good for the coach, scouts. I can't be a part of this sixty-three to three. I can't. <laughs> it, 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 it wouldn't have been that if the, all the starters played. It wouldn't have been that. But guess what? Oh, the world, okay. The world, been, been the world 50, will never know 10. what it'll be like. But 50, the world stop knows. it! Y'all didn't beat nobody fifty-six to ten. We don't know that if it'll be it it been fifty-six to ten. Nah, you know, my nobody even scored it's 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 points it's 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 all year. It's it's I know for a fact 63 to 3 happened. I don't know what if ands and buts was. Yeah, yeah. It would have been 56 to 21. I'll give y'all 21. But, hey, tell me the lotto numbers yeah, so you know what would have happened. Man. Let me know the lotto numbers. I mean, it was so it was 65 to 7 with TCU. Everybody saying it would have been yeah, something. Y'all didn't y'all didn't beat nobody like that all year, but y'all would have beat Florida State like that. We would have beat them. We probably would have beat them. We probably would have Google the Old Miss score. How much did we beat Old Miss by? Old Miss, come on, man. You know, old. You talking about you would have dropped. 50 something on Florida State first team defense. Stop it. Nobody did that all year. They would have. Y'all didn't play nobody all year. You're right. You're right. My bad. <laughs> Y'all almost lost to Miami third string quarterback. <laughs> wait, wait, that's almost, on that third string. Whoa, whoa. whoa, whoa. Y'all almost lost to Florida's third string quarterback. Y'all <laughs> y'all scored oh, uh, Luke touchdown to make oh, the game look close. Right. Hey. Hey. Hey, T2, they go that third there. street. Hey, this is the third Miami, street line Miami right here. Miami was on the drive to tie the game until TVD came in. Don't tell me nothing. He you was know. on the drive. He, he just – it was third down for him to get the – you talking about they was on the drive. Stop it. We was driving until Emory got Driving? Hurt. You was on our side of the field at the 30-yard line. Hey, T2, I'll okay, change your name to T2Y third street. Stop it. <laughs> I'm going to change my name to T2Y 63. <laughs> I it's like a man that, or it's like a man if ain't going off uh, another damn thing. another team here because his team can't get the job done. Listen, man, it ain't my fault. The boy made history against y'all. History, is great. It, his team can't get the job done, so he got to try to take yeah. credit for another team. He's not taking credit. He just taking the fact. Yeah. No, he taking credit. He's taking credit. Man. It's all right. What was hey, the margin you know, of hey, victory? What hey. was the margin of victory for Georgia? Hey, Miami, Miami don't Miami won uh 20 championships in a row. Y'all ain't know that. You know that? Say what? 
Miami, they won 20 championships in a row. <laughs> Off season. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 20 in a row. Florida they State last championship was on Florida VHS State. tape. Florida State been telling me how great they Miami, are, but they still ain't catch up to them five. Miami, Miami, Miami last championship, you got to watch it on VHS tape. Yeah, yeah They State had leather State helmets State. when they when they last won a championship. Yeah, Florida State can't catch up. It was in black and white. Uh, and yet y'all can't yeah. catch up. They last championship was in black and white, showing them dusty-ass rings. Y'all go Stop to McDonald's it. and y'all can't even put catch up on y'all. He's, show, he's showing <laughs> the rings he got from Oregon. Stop. <laughs> we still wait for y'all to catch up. That's fine. Y'all ain't y'all won't get another one no time soon. Living in the past, man. Mario Krista Goat, thank you for the five dollar donation. Um, I think the big thing we're missing is when um Norvell was forced to play players he developed, he lost by 60. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. Man, Dion saw them boys lost by 60 and he changed his mind. A no, my friend. No, 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 no. Actually, do you know where I graduated from? <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> What's it? Do not associate me to that trash. That's probably how Ray Lewis and Ed Reed and all them feel too about Miami. Yeah, the Warren out. Yeah, you see what Warren out. <laughs> no boy said. No what he said. doing up there with Dion? My oh boy said we came here. We 13 and 0. What oh, what Warren Sapp doing in Colorado? What he doing way up there? What Dion doing way up there? He took, he took Travis on Yeah, that's that was what three years ago? He, he took him up there with him though. We still, I mean, we still, we still, we still winning games without him. We took KJ Bolden. Y'all had him first to begin with. No, we did it. Yes, so he wasn't committed to Georgia. Who is he committed to the longest? I, I could care less about who a kid is committed to. That don't mean nothing. That don't mean nothing <laughs> no, until they sign. No, no, no. That don't mean nothing until they sign. And that was trying to sign a part two. Got he. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> that, that was Travis Hunter part two. KJ, KJ Hunter. <laughs> Just like y'all said, it don't matter who a kid is committed to until they sign that paper. Yeah. Oh, okay. Dal Dalvin Cook was committed to uh the Gators and Miami before, before he went to Florida State. Yep. 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 What's your point? Like, <laughs> I don't, my I don't, point is it happened to y'all twice. That's all I'm saying. That that's recruiting. That happens every year. It happened to Miami. They got uh that McClain. Right. Like th this happens every year. This is not just a Florida State exclusive. I, I don't get that. This happened to y'all more more than often. Nah. It's recruiting. So what's gonna be y'all recruiting ranking for uh twenty five? Outside of the top ten. And they'll still beat Miami. That's crazy. The boys gonna be outside the top ten again. You have been losing to outside top ten, Mike. They gonna That's be screaming. They gonna be screaming, Mike, Mike. All, all them top five classes, you still been losing to Mike. Damn. You That's gonna hear crazy. on the hey? You gonna like you in school? You That's know they crazy. Come over the jumbo why, why you got nothing to say about that? You know, you know they come over to speak at school. They are gonna be like, Mike, report to the transfer portal, please. <laughs> it ain't got nothing to say about that. <laughs> you still been losing the mic with them with them top five classes. Them top, top, top you beat them, you beat them yet. Man, they just they just here for laughs, man. They just need some laughs. We're gonna handle business on the field, man. That's that's what it is. Miami here for laughs. My, Miami window dressing, man, they look good. That's all. Every time, every time y'all look at recruits, I go to window shopping. <laughs> Miami dressing it up just just to lose. <laughs> we go shoppers. Georgia Tech yeah, yeah, rambling red. <laughs> 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 and then you got this, you got hey. him egging them on. Hey, them right. boys go and pick up the Coca Cola, and then the recruits look at him like, What? Let me go put that back and get that chick sold. <laughs> you ain't getting that five star, you getting that three star. 
Why why hasn't Mario been beating Mike with these top five classes? Pay attention this year. Miami by 30. Great question. Oh, stop it. They they go. I got y'all losing to the uh to to the uh you, you game. Must have forgot. I know Vale ain't did what he's special at this year. He's going to portal and get a hundred. I got y'all losing to the Gators in Gainesville. Bet you do. And I, I, I got money on it. If anybody wanna bet. Bet you do. All bullshit all bullshit aside. I got y'all losing to do. I bet y'all do. Oh, that's that's gonna be Manny uh championship right there. Manny gonna prove a point. That Manny, game. Manny gonna be like Manny gonna be like it wasn't me. It wasn't yep. me. Manny gonna prove a point that game. Y'all, any of y'all wanna bet on Manny? Manny, go. Right. any of y'all wanna bet on Manny? Manny yep. Manny is, Manny is gonna be like it. Hold on, hold on. Who can bet on Manny? Hold on, hold on, hold on. No hold on. three five two. How much you wanna bet on Manny? We can lock in fifty right now. Let's make it a hundred. We can lock it in. Right. Oh wow! What, what today date? Um, full. Let me write. Put it. Down. Put it in your notes. I'll four, put it in my six, notes. Four, I six, got a hundred. I got hundred on Mario. You got a hundred on Manny. Boom. I'll put it in my notes right now. Four six twenty four. Uh, one. Oh, two. Two minutes and two. Two hours into the live. Put it in your notes. Manny Diaz gonna be like it wasn't me. That, that's, gonna be, that's gonna be uh uh Duke uh Super Bowl. What? This, this is gonna be this y'all got faith y'all got faith in Manny Diaz. He gonna he gonna, gonna be that Super Bowl. Yeah, against them. Of course I do. It's Miami we talking about, to. man. Right. Do you forget we talking about Miami? Faith. Man, we got hey, faith in no, 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 no three five two. Are you familiar with a guy named Vibes Cartel? Mm, I heard you talk about him. That's it. All right, so he got this song called Wounded Dog. So when Miami beat Manny, all I'm gonna tell you is don't run, Baba boy, don't run. Make sure you show up. I'll be here. Yeah. I'm still. Don't be like Florida Trucker and disappear. Man, he still owe me a hundred. <laughs> He made an appearance on. He owed me fifty from, oh, you from Utah, from Utah and Florida, and Florida State LSU. We bet fifty on both games. We ain't seen um, since week one. He made an appearance the other day on on you heard. He was on you heard channel. I don't, who is that? I have to look him up. <laughs> man, shout out, out to Florida Trucker, man. Shout out to Florida Trucker. He was on their show. He was in. He was on their show. They um they asked him about it in the comment section. He's like, he, he, ain't, even, he ain't even trying to pay you. The Florida trucker, man. You the new he who did the man. He if, hey. if he would have won, oh he'd have been here. Hey, but it'd be like that, it finna come I, up. I must make 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 it be known that he's a gator fan and not a hurricane. Yeah, yeah, he a gator fan. He thought he thought at worst he was gonna break even. That's why he was betting on everybody on the gator and the, in that Florida State game versus LSU week one. He thought he's gonna break even at worst. That boy Florida Trucker dipped out. Now, if he if he won, oh man, he would have been here. Now, let, let me ask a real question because Miami can't even be compared to y'all in recruit no more. Um, who gonna finish with a better class, Florida or Florida State? Florida State. Considering the fact that Florida is about to get their ass tore up all year long, yeah, yeah, and their coach State. about to get fired, I got I got us having a better class than them. They, I, don't that, normally, that, I don't normally agree with y'all, but I might have to agree with y'all. Billy, 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 Billy won't make it past November. I thought my fan base was toxic, boy. Them Florida Gators, boy. Them just extra toxic. See, this is why I go at Florida fans as much as that. Florida State fans as much as that. Look at this motherfucker. Look at this motherfucker. from Florida. It's talking about some on my way. Talking about basically, you know, they, they talking about how small he is and blah blah blah. I was gonna be too heavy for the season. So here go this Florida Florida State fan one say, I hope so. Need y'all to take care of business week one. Salute one hundred. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nut hugging, nut hugging at its finest. Yeah, yeah. This ain't got nothing to do with Miami. Ain't got nothing to do with Florida State. <laughs> about Miami. He begging Florida to take care of business in week one. Man. That's what happens, man. Man. But I'll be here. 
You do. You do, hey. You do. You do. A little bit. Just a little bit. No, oh, man. Not too, not too much. Just a little bit. No, man. I'm going to call you on your shit. I'm going to call you. I mean, I ain't going to lie. If I went 13 and 0 in the playoff committee, show me we were trash. I'd probably be hating too. Them boys gave y'all, them boys mugged y'all. Y'all, y'all were running up in that bit like, oh, we for the up in this bit. Nah, back up, bitch. They got done dirty, man. But that's no excuse to just not play in the bowl game. I'm sorry. I mean, why? I mean, why not? Them boys said, nope, not today. Got penalized for having a hurt quarterback. That's crazy. Some boy told me they had an elite team, they had an elite defense, and then playoff committee saying, I don't know where they see it at. No, first they told you they wanted Georgia. That's the first thing they said. Yep. I remember that. We want Georgia. Man, well, then when, the, when the regular season was over, then yeah, then they got screwed up. The first thing they said was they wanted Georgia. You know what's crazy? They wanted Georgia, but now they will never forget when they had Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody will forget. <laughs> that shit is cemented in history. <laughs> I mean, I thought after we killed TCU, I thought that was going to be the biggest blowout, you know? It, the crazy part is they was on um Twitter fighting with TCU fans about who got beat the worst. <laughs> Y'all still going on about this orange bowl? <laughs> you make a laugh out of it. That's, that's <laughs> you know, Miami I'm can't handle saying. business on their own. They got you got, you got what you asked for, man. Sometimes in life you get exactly what you asked for. Miami got to ride the coattails of uh, other teams. They, they, say, hey, they can't handle know. business. Hey, we might we might get a rematch in the playoffs though. If y'all make the playoffs, we might get a rematch. If playoffs, if playoffs, yeah. If y'all make the playoffs, playoffs. It's twelve teams. We, we, we won't be we won't be ranked number thirteen. I tell you that. So you guarantee in the playoffs spot right now? Guarantee. Top 12. We in the <laughs> hey, hey, record this T2I. Playoffs. Why? What the hell is so funny? I don't get it. I don't know either. I don't I do not know. That's wild. <laughs> I got I got Florida. Well, State. Enough, like we the game of Miami. I got <laughs> I have Florida State at 11 and 1 with a loss to Notre Dame. Playoffs. Okay, okay. Eleven and one with a loss to Notre Dame with DJU as your quarterback. All right, I got you, bro. You got like Don. He was so he was trash last year. No. I didn't say that. You put words about uh, how you how you wording it. How you know you what you're doing. How you wording it? Yeah, he like he, he know. He Listen, know. let me give y'all a dose of what y'all could have had at Florida State. We don't want that. What does it mean to the fact that we we're not only a football Ooh, team, but we trying to prepare you. For life. We're good on that. We're trying to get you ready to live Beyond in that land right after this. Let's check this out. This semester has been extremely challenging for me as a professor. I have never felt so disrespected in my 10 years of teaching. Class. Students do not follow sure even minimally, that. and it slows down my class so much. They make it clear that they don't want to be here, and they have very little personal responsibility making me responsible for their grades. For the students that do want to learn, it has been a bad experience as well. Since they have to work on breakout rooms and the distracted students not bring anything, anything, anything to the table. You just got to eat. You got nothing to the table. For nine forks and spoons. I often have to repeat the same three and four times because student athletes are present but not really in class. You present, but you ain't really there. You on the field, but you ain't doing nothing. You in a relationship, but you ain't got no love. You at the mall, but you ain't got no money. What do we want? Got a lot of what, ability, what, what but no darn talent. Hey, that because you hit. don't think. That last one, when you say you at the mall and they got no money, that one hit Florida State hard. 
What do we want from you? Now, what bothers me? <laughs> want to make a laugh. Severely is all the guys that we're about to see. Where's Corey? You in? Let me know if they have a draft grade. Let's roll. When he does, he is respectful. He's a good kid. I, I want to commend to that. And kind, but a lot of the times he has no idea of what is going on. He has missed way over three classes, so his final grade will drop. Any draft grades? Okay. When he is asked to participate, sometimes I need to repeat what we're doing because he is not Following the strike. Any draft grades? Nope. Joined the class a lot of the time. I was not able to see his face after having a conversation with him. So that means you want to talk to him about this. And he's not visible on the camera. Next one. Any draft grade? Nope. Next one. Guys, you're going to get something out of this. You're going to be a man or you're going to be a great football player. Since you choose not to be a great football player, we got to make you a man. We good with that? Carry on. Let's have a break. Tell me a little frustrated. I'm a little angry right now because we in this new collective and NIL state of mind, we got youngsters that's all in on one side of the game. 90% or 95% of your roster ain't going pro. So coaches, we got to emphasize education. We got to emphasize life. We got to emphasize the next step, the next elevation if it don't work. Mike could never. In the game. Come in. So Mike's had the highest academic rating. Today. <laughs> Bro, this, this, was this is not. But I'd be darned if I allow these kids to get out of here without something. Without something. Amen. Because this life they getting ready to live. Hallelujah. You got to win with your mind. Not your <laughs> athleticism. Student, athlete, athlete, student. I don't care how you say it. You're going to get something before you leave here. Oh, speak it to him. Mike could never. Mike could never. What? He he getting mad about his student, his athletes acting up in class? He should sure get mad. I'm pretty sure every coach does, but Mike just had the highest uh, academic rating at Florida State. Man, with, with Mike his, can't uh, talk with them kids like that. Mike wouldn't have been able to read that thing. With his athletes. They, I mean, they must Mike, be doing something. They would have been up there stuttering. The, 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 the student, uh, um, the, 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 the. some some kind of point getting across if he just had the highest academic uh, rating with 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 the uh, football team. <laughs> something got to be. I, don't, I mean, <laughs> I don't know what kind of yeah, joke he's trying to get out, out of that. Dion, man, the one that Florida State missed out on. Shout out to Dion, who just was getting blown out by every good team he played. Yeah, shout out to Dion. Hey, they beat TCU, man. That's cool. They lost 50 players. They they beat TCU. They beat uh, Colorado State. Oh boy, that's mm, they that's beat uh one. they beat Arizona State. Oh man, damn. Who else did they beat? Those oh, teams, nice. those, those, oh. those teams are, are great. It seemed that the Gators on um, scrimmage has concluded too. Those teams are great, you just named. What was what was their records? What was those teams' records that they beat? What was the records of the teams y'all beat? I don't know. We beat them. Exactly. I'm saying the same thing. <clears throat> Dion going to burn Colorado when his, when his kid's gone. Man, that man that made that program millions of dollars, man. Let me see. Millions of dollars with a losing season. I mean. They don't care about that, man. They were 1-11, in 11, man. They don't care about that. You're right. He's going to burn That's when he leaves. When, when his kids leave, he's gone. All Colorado care about is the money, bro. When his kids leave, he's gone. Yeah, but they, they don't already made the money. I guess. They don't they care if they're going to leave. They got money. Yeah, they, they didn't have it before. They got it now. I'm not sure about that. He brought them more money. Bro, he brought Colorado them like ten broke. times. He brought them like ten times more money than what they Colorado had. Colorado wasn't broke, there. man. Man, Dion paid for himself. That first year, shoot, not even three games in, they had already made ninety million. Yeah, exactly. Already his whole, his whole contract. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. 
Dion, if Dion leave Colorado or not, he left them better than, than they was before he came there. From a money standpoint. From a from a money standpoint, they, they he probably made them ten times his contract. I mean, if they happy with making money and and still having losing seasons, they go ahead. Bro, anything right is better than job. one and eleven, bro. Anything is better than one eleven. They won they four right games. Man. Everybody was saying he was only going to win three, so he went above expectation. <laughs> the over and under for Colorado was on um, three and a half. He won four right. Games. Right. Congratulations, prime time. That man walks on water out there. Yeah. All the boosters he brought in, celebrities, clout, all that social media he presence. All the people out there and lost that game. That is that is shameful. I mean, what you, what game are you talking about? That game had all them players, all them people on the sideline. But there was that every home game. <laughs> it wasn't just yeah, one game. They, they was losing. Yeah, they didn't care as long that as they on the sideline. Like damn, the shit looked like a damn BT awards out there. You think you think the boosters care if they yeah, lose or not? They, they they ain't about to tolerate that shit, bro. The the NI they just signed another uh, NIL deal for all the Colorado athletics, bro. They got two collectives. They about to be like Georgia. They about to have two collectives now. That's cool. Like I say, if they they content with just making money and losing, they got yeah. the right hand for the job. The, the, the players is coming to Colorado to get the money and to be coached by Prime. They got the right man for the job. His kids gone. He's leaving. Now he'll stay there. He'll stay there a couple more years. I thought that at first too, but I think he'll stay a couple more years. Mm -hmm. He'll uh he'll start campaigning for an NFL job, and he'll stay there. Like I thought at first he was gonna leave when Shador and Charlotte graduated, but I'm thinking he's Florida, looking Florida, to be an NFL coach. Florida, too. Florida, about to go get him after they fire Billy. No, he would never go. <laughs> Lord is gonna go get him after they fire Billy. The next step for him is an NFL job, so that's why I think he'll stay in Colorado maybe two or three more years to try to to try to get an NFL coaching gig. Mm, we'll see. Mm. Man, it's gonna be real uh, interesting week one when when that man right there beat Miami. <laughs> hey, T two R. It's gonna be real interesting. Y'all can believe that if you want to. <laughs> it's gonna be real interesting. Let me hear what Billy had to say about this scrimmage. Good weeks of uh, work here. Important. Uh, we're working really into that. And I'm gonna tell you, I thought our team got better. You know, I thought we continued to improve. We got good competitive work Tuesday, Thursday, uh, and today was um, competitive. Man, it was physical. I thought the players played fast. Um, so ultimately, we're trying to create momentum. You know, I think we're one week away from the orange and blue game. Uh, we've got a great weekend planned. You know, I think there's like 10 home sporting events, um, one o'clock kickoff, free admission. And uh, I think there's a unique opportunity uh, for an exclusive meet and greet with the players uh, partnering with Florida Victorious next week after the spring game on the field. So we're excited about that. Um, you know, I thought today, you know, just in short, the defense started extremely fast. Uh, and then I thought the offense responded in the back half of the game. So um, really competitive back and forth. Um, one thing we did, we brought in an SEC crew. Yesterday we did kind of a rules education um, deal with the players. We had a team meeting. Um, we had breakout sessions with the position groups. They worked our situational walkthrough yesterday, and they helped us and, and called the scrimmage today. So that was beneficial for the players. Um, that's something that we do annually, and I thought it was um, well done. So we're, we're thankful for David Smith and his crew for doing that. So overall, this week's about momentum, and uh, we need to take advantage 
of each day here as we prep for the orange and blue game and try to finish this thing the right way. So um, what do we got here? Yeah, we really, what we do is we, we divide the players up um, to try to make the game as competitive as possible uh, based off of who's available. And then we allow kind of the veteran players on each team to draft all parts of the organization, right? So we divide the entire organization in half uh, and we give them a little bit of ownership in terms of, okay, hey, I want this guy to be my OC. I want this guy to be my DC. He's going to be the assistant head coach. They pick their strength staff. They pick their every part of the building that is broken in half. And then we give the players some just to make it competitive. And then you're you're the winner. You lose, right? So, uh, and I think it's healthy and it, and it certainly makes it fun. No, no. Friday, I think we yeah we'll meet with the. The veteran players, I think, at some point Thursday before practice, and then we announce the, you know, the teams post practice, and then they have their own Friday prep independent of each other. So we try to simulate a Friday and then get them ready for the game. So. Yeah. Yeah, no, well, I think, first of all, Pup is, um, Pup's an incredible young man, right? I mean, he's extremely bright. Uh, he's got character. Um, he's smart. He can communicate. He's, he's really done a nice job of picking up the system. Uh, at that position, it's not, you got to communicate and you got to do that with confidence, you know, and I think you got to be decisive. I think he's done a good job of doing that. Now, he's got height and length. Uh, he certainly looks the part. He's still somewhat an inexperienced player, but I do think he's a mature young man, good family, um, and he's taking advantage of the reps. You know, I mean, I think with Shamar and uh, Wingo out, and then that room's been banged up at times. Um, so, yeah, he's done a good job. I think the other players around him benefit from his communication. You know, and he has he last week he had some production in the scrimmage. So. It's been a good spring, good off season for him. Yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a good way to put it. I think, uh, you know, ultimately we were just a new staff, right? We were behind in the relationship part upon arrival. You know, I think that, um, and he's the type of kid where I think that's important to him, right? There's a loyalty component there, and I think ultimately um, he Florida kid, you know, and I think he had, there was a special place, you know, I think he had, he, he liked the University of Florida, and I think it just ultimately came down to the relationship piece. And then sometimes things don't go the way you thought they were going to go, right? So uh, when he did enter the portal, there, we certainly had a great respect for him. You know, we evaluated him as a player, and um, he's back, right? So I, I think that ultimately it's a, it's a good thing. And I think he's had a good experience, and we're excited about him for sure. I think that um, I'd like to think that, you know, I think today um, we're evaluating one day at a time. But I, I think what you're saying is accurate, right? We're, we've been intentional about adding speed to the roster, especially at receiver. There's no question we needed to pass protect better. If you, anybody, even my wife would say that uh, we could pass protect better last year. But, um, you know, I think 
ultimately we added two portal tackles. We have some players coming back at that position, and then we've got two really good uh, freshmen. You know, so we feel better about that depth. Um, and even with two guys out, we're able to, you know, field two pretty good offensive units. But there's no doubt the pocket's been cleaner. Now, I'm just, it's hard for me to get beyond today, right? Like I thought we were a little lackluster early, you know, throwing and catching. We were a little bit asleep from the jump, seven on seven, first part of the scrimmage. Uh, you know, so I think we, we need to start faster from that standpoint. But I do think in the second half of the scrimmage, we uh, protected better, threw and caught the ball better. The defense contributes to that, right? So, but overall, you're exactly spot on. I mean, I think we need to protect better, and I think the personnel we've added will allow us to, um, you know, hold the ball a little bit, you know, and that will allow us to throw it down the field a little bit more often. Yeah. Is that, is that allowing, is that allowing the potential Yeah, 100%. And I, and I think that um, I felt that way about our team. Once Austin got hurt last year, I kind of felt that way about our team the back half of the year. You know, we were kind of calling the game with one hand, fighting with one hand in our pocket, if that makes sense. And I think um, – yeah, we immediately went to work in the portal to try to answer that, and then also the freshman players that we've added. So um, I think 15, when he has time, can be extremely effective, right? And he's proven that. Yeah, I wish – I don't necessarily think that we started the way I would want us to today. Um, but I do think we responded in the back half. You know, I mean, I think – the defense contributes to that, right? I think the, I would compliment the defense today. I thought that we tackled it extremely well. I thought the coverage was tighter. I thought the rush was effective. Um, and I, I think that affected the quarterback play. We did. We had, we had tip balls. Um, but overall, uh, I would say that quarterback play, I've said this to you many times, you got to play good around the quarterback. You know, and I think that we had some situations today uh, where all, all the players on offense contributed to that. But the, the positive thing here is I think at the halfway point, we kind of regrouped and made some plays in the back half of the scrimmage. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, no, I think you're you're thinking the right way. I mean, I think ultimately for me, we've got a format that we use, um, and we're going to continue to do that. It's worked for us in the past. I do think that the uh, we're, we're deeper, you know, and I think in particular at some positions that contribute to the things that you're talking about, right? So um, I think that hopefully will allow us Man, to make me sleepy. in it to be – more competitive and more productive, you know, but overall, we, we really have a philosophy. Yeah, Coach, you mentioned that you guys have some guys that are going to be starting this year. Um, that man ain't saying nothing. He ain't, he ain't giving, giving no kind of help. Yeah, we um sound like that damn, what's that droopy dog? Uh, ain't that dog named Droopy or something like that with the long face? He just finding all kind of different ways to say that we ain't do shit today. <laughs> Tell them the different ways how they suck. Yeah, he getting Tell fired this year, man. He getting fired this year. Miami by thirty. You know what's what's crazy? I was at the barbershop like two weeks ago. We Gator fans in there. This man, I, I, and I swear he being for real. This is on everything I love. He said, "I guess I guess he think uh with this twelve team format that that like making the playoffs is is gonna be like the NFL or something." He said, "Oh yeah, Florida, yeah, we can lose six games and still make the playoffs." I said, "What?" <laughs> it on everything I love. No, like 
you lose six games, you're not even ranked, and you talk about making the playoffs. I said, bro, you know this is not the NFL, right? You, you can't lose six, seven, eight, nine games and still be in the playoffs. That's not how this works. Man, I said lose six. That's not games how this works. So he bet me. I got two bets with two Gator fans in my notes. I I screenshot and send it to you. I made this bet in January. I got the date in my notes. Oh. Uh, he bet I got one that bet me fifty that they'll make the playoffs, and another one bet me a hundred that they'll make the playoffs. I said, "Bro, have you seen your schedule?" Like, say, that. let me get this straight. Gator fans say with six losses they'll still make the playoffs. That's what he said, and then we just bet. I just alone. You haven't. So he he need to leave that dope alone. And, and then I locked in the bet with two of them. They both bet me that they'll make the playoffs this year. One bet 100, one bet 50. The Florida Gators sucked water through a garden hose. Yeah, he's, uh, Billy getting fired, man. I'll be surprised if he coached the Florida State game. I'll be surprised. Man, you, you, you never know what you'll get from the Gator fans. Yeah, that. Gator, Gator fans are dumb as a box of rocks. I got to figure Six, out how that is. Six losses, and you're still making the playoff. Dumb as a box of rocks. Easy money. How do you on? Um, how do you DM on uh, on Twitter? Let's go to the profile and look at the top. It should be a message box. Uh, I'm about I'm about to go screenshot it and send it to you. Hold on. That's crazy. You mind if I post it? Oh yeah, I, yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna have some fun with that. That's crazy. That's Hillbillyville for you. That's Hillbillyville for you. <clears throat> I don't know you. Eh, eh. Come to think about it, Gator fans ain't the two smartest. They ain't that smart on Twitter either. Because some of the comments that I be reading from some of them don't be making no sense. Hold on, let me see what, what, what happened at the spring game for Clemson. I think that the game in the season and wait for Kay to magically turn it around like he did last year. Like we you know, or, or we're gonna be looking at another eight and fourth season, you know, when, when everything's all said and done. Yeah, Georgia, man. I Georgia think, is Georgia, but I think that App State game is going to be very telling of how things need to go because App State is one of those teams where, yeah, you know, it's a team that we should beat, but they're going to challenge us. They're not. It's not going to be you know the Citadel or 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 Furman where we just go in there and just or or Charleston Southern where we just go in there and just smack them around the whole game. Like that's going to be somewhat of a challenging game, and I think. That could really be a game where we assess and see what we have, and um, you know, make a make a decision. Is that when we uh hold on? Who do we play after that? Is yeah, that, Clemson um, scared this We year? got a bye week Stanford? after that, I think. Oh, yeah. And then we play NC State. Is it NC State or when do we play? Um, when do we play Stanford? Don't we? Doesn't Stanford come to Stanford is week five? Hold on, let me pull our schedule up. Damn, Clemson fans are scared this year. I think we play. I think we play Georgia. Yeah, we play Georgia. We play Georgia, App State, NC State, right, and State then State. um, and then Stanford. Okay. Yeah. So we after App State, we have a bye. Then we play NC State, which I'm gonna be absolutely scared about, even though it's a home game. Damn. We, we you always scared of NC State of too. Well, except the bowl game bye, I guess. But hey, you sick. know. And then we got Stanford after that. Then Florida State, then Wake Forest, um, and then you hearing this, man? Virginia. Then we got Louisville coming off a of bye, and then Tech, Pitt, and Citadel. And then of course, you know, we end the season with. So the Clemson with, fans uh, are real superstitious over there in Columbia. So, yeah, man. How many games y'all getting, Cade? I'm giving them two. Like I said, if, I mean Georgia. Georgia, they're probably gonna try not to lean on him too too much. 
you know, they're they're probably going to try to really play a comprehensive game. But I think if he comes out App State game and he looks like shit or, you know, or we end up dropping North Carolina State, God forbid, because of how Man, he DJ plays, gonna whoop I think Dallas. that'll be a telltale yes. that we need to start. You got us, move on. Well, you said DJ going to whoop Dallas? Whoop his ass when they come to tally. <laughs> Flag on the play. <sighs> Cap. <laughs> they, they ain't coming to tally doing anything, man. Yeah. I, we're sw- we got to switch quarterbacks. I mean, just try. Like, I just don't understand. Like, what? Like, what? like is he really that much worse at backups? Yeah, them boys really concerned so. about eighteen. I don't think so. Eight and four, well, I'm, especially Pyramid. Pyramid can process the game fast. It, it looks like he could read the field. The like, case problem is he can't read the fucking. Yeah. Field. Oh, they had their spring game already. Our defense is going to be elite, man. They're going to have Carson Beck in hell game, but I ain't going to lie. I won't. I won't say all that. We ain't going to need two pick sixes. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We going defense going to have to win that Georgia game for sure. Yeah, they they definitely going to have to come. Dude, I, I honestly think there's a world where our defense has uh, a touchdown and then a return like to the red zone and we still lose. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, 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 I honestly, that's legit, and that's legit. I see us losing like 10 to 20. Yeah, or something like that. Yeah, I could see it being just like the last time we played Georgia, where they score maybe yeah. 10 for it, or they score maybe 14, 17 points. Man, that's sad. All right, they already played their spring game? Today, yeah. They played at one. Oh. Sure, I'm going to have to watch that when I go to work tonight. I have to watch that work. Bro, them boys scared they're gonna have another. Hey, I sent I sent that to you. I sent it. I bet. <laughs> Is yeah, yeah, Gator fans wild here in uh, in Ocala, man. You know they're so close to games, bro. I guess that's why. Okay, got him. He's crazy. Hey, why you at it? I need an address. Nobody want to see you something? I will. Don't uh, worry about it. I'm going to send you the address now. Don't worry about it. it it'll be in the mail. <laughs> it takes me your size and all that. I'm about to big, big game James might forget, but I ain't going to forget. Yeah, I'm going to hold you down. That boy got the links and everything. I'm going to hold you down. That boy got the bits and everything. I don't know. I got you. Let me shoot you the address right now. Three eggs. All right. Yeah, man. These Gator fans off the chain. And I know they're gonna pay because we done we done had multiple bets last year, so I know they're good for it. Like they real deal, like serious about this bet. This ain't no troll. I done bet them a couple times last year. Sure, I just sent you the address. Gotcha. I'll see you the uh, tracking stuff when I when I send it out. All right, bet. Hold on, I got another request from a Seminole. Oh, okay. Yeah, you see the date on that. It say January. That was made all the way back in January. The 28th, I think it said. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy as hell. I wouldn't. Well, you don't like your mustache? I would never, never make a bet. I would never make a bet like that. Well, that is. Oh, thank you. Thanks. I ain't tested yet. They mad at me on Twitter, but um, they just put out a prediction for Vern, um, Vernell Brown to go to Wyoming State. We all saw that coming. 
he's supposed to be a Gator alumni, um, a legacy. That's supposed to be a Gator legacy. That's tough. Hmm. Billy can't even get the legacy players to stay home. And when he do get them to stay home, he got a trick. That, that legacy Ingram you was talking about, that boy a hooper in basketball. Yeah, but he but they recruiting him for football. Yeah. Basketball, he a dog. That, that's why I asked the question. When is it not okay to accept a, a legacy kid? At some hey, point, you gotta have some kind of standards. I was gonna say if I'm a, if I'm a coach, I mean hey, your daddy might have ball here, but that was your daddy. <laughs> Like, like, like this high school year, I'm gonna follow the kids in um in Palm Beach County. We got like nine recruits. I'm gonna follow this year. I'm gonna go to some of the games, you know, get some film, get some um intake, mm -hmm. some exclusive stuff. I'm gonna, I'm gonna drop a few um a few recruiting stuff this year but for the kids in Palm Beach County. Y'all, y'all got my boy from Ocala down there, uh, uh, Tommy, Bruno. Uh, what school he go to? That he at Miami, Kinsler, offensive line. Oh, oh, okay, okay. You talking about Kinsler? Yeah, he. he, he from I thought Palm you were talking County. about. I thought you were talking about somebody from Palm Beach County. Oh no, no. Yeah, no, old got, Kinsler. Yeah, he I got a list of them. I got a list of them. I got to follow this year. Mm -hmm. Palm Beach County. I could, you know, I can go to their games. Not to get some footage, all that. That joke a bit, man. He got a brother that that just uh he moved he went up to uh New Jersey, I think, for high school. His brother about as big as him. He played uh DN and tight end. Okay. He like the number one, he like the number one ranked um uh, I forgot what it is in uh New Jersey. Yeah, see I got like a good I want to say 11 players. I got 11 players I'm following this year from Palm Beach County. So I'm going to do some, um, you know, some breakdowns, try to get some exclusive interviews from them. These are guys that's um, basically being recruited by either Miami or Florida State. And um, they're also top, top, um, top 200 in um, the state of Florida. Man, the who who's like the biggest person that that came out of your your uh city? Out of my high school? Or yeah, like surrounding area. Who like the biggest person? Um, well, I can't really say that, but I could say from my year, from my school year, I graduated in 07. Um, I went to Glade Central High School. That that year when I graduated, Deontay Thompson, he went to Florida. Uh, the year before that um uh, randy phillips went to miami year after i left um travis benjamin went to miami travis um, benjamin the year i graduated damon berry went to miami um, our biggest my our biggest player from ocala um is um dante uh cold pepper he went to uh, vanguard yes yeah, i mean there's plenty of players that um, came out of um Belgrade, like um fred taylor Mm -hmm. You know, Pahokee got Anquan both. We don't have we don't have um Freddie Swain from Ocala, PJ Williams, uh Nicosi Perry, he from Ocala. He went to Vanguard, he went to the same school as Dante Culpepper. Um uh, who else, man? Cornelius Ingram, that dude, the dude's son that you was that you was dogging. <laughs> Man, that's tough. That's tough. At some point, you got to say, hey, man, alumni or not, alumni or not, we got to have a standards of recruiting. Y'all, you know? um, Miami Titans, because was my high school you know Let me do this. Let me pull up this guy. Uh, let me see if he's improved since we since the last time I talked about it. Is, uh, is Coach Fields still y'all tight ends coach? Nah. No? Nah. He's still on the staff or he gone? I think he gone. <laughs> oh, well, yeah, that, that was my high school. Coach. I think he, um, I think that was, that was, uh, in a minute. That was my high school coach. Wow. Mm -hmm. 
Let me look up this data guy. Let me see if they still talking about them. Because the Gator fans, they 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 don't even want to admit that they don't really feel they ain't feeling that one. Mm hmm. He a baller in basketball now. I give him that. I ain't really seen him play football too much. So this is what we talking about right here. Yeah. So we're talking about he dropped Mr. 41 on my high school. Basketball, right? Mm-hmm. So he's a composite three star. Um he's um listed as an athlete, six four, one um six four and a half, one ninety-five. He's like the hundred and sixth player in the state of Florida, seven hundred and six sixty in the whole state. He's um a Florida. They're, they're basically saying he's going to Florida. Now, when you look at his list of um, offers, this is an alumni kid. Now, don't get me wrong. So, Florida, they warm, but you got App State fam, Jacksonville State, um, Massachusetts, UMass, basically, yeah. Arkansas, Bethune Cookman, Campbell, Charlotte, East Carolina, well, East Carolina. Um, it looked like a bunch of Reggie. Florida, um, Atlantic, Jackson, Jackson State, Marshall, Tennessee Tech, Troy, USC, and Western Kentucky. Outside of Florida, where are the um, B1 offers? A bunch of Reggie. So this is what I'm saying. Is this guy, are they going to bring him on just because he's an alumni or – is there something that they see that we don't see? Because obviously, to me, he's just an alumni kid, and that's why he, he, he'll they'll accept it. Mm -hmm. you know, from looking at his offer, he's not a D1 kid. Looking at, looking at the offers, come on, man. You know what? I'm going to find, see if I can find his tape. Let's see. Let's see if we can find this kid's highlight. Watch highlights. Let's see. All right. Let's do this. Hopefully, it's not a basketball highlight. <laughs> So he's supposed to be playing quarterback. From what I'm hearing, they're not even recruiting him as a quarterback. So he ain't playing against nobody, obviously. They beating these guys like, damn, 20, 20 something or nothing. I see that. Nice pass. Unfortunately, they're not recruiting him as a quarterback. There you go again. So we're watching a bunch of quarterback highlights, and they're not even recruiting him as a quarterback. Playing against nobodies. What are we watching? Look at that. Playing against nobodies. Wide open passes all day. All right. Run the ball. Look at this. Just <laughs> man playing against a bunch of Timmies, man. <laughs> yeah. Now I understand. Look, every pass he's made is a wide open pass. No, there's nothing to contest. Look at that. <laughs> Come on, man. Come on, man. Do they think... There 
thing. Do they play any competition? Any competition? All right, it's stayed. That was the first actual contested pass that he threw. Wide open pass, nobody. Defense looked late. <clears throat> Second contested pass that he threw. And it wasn't even all that contested, to be honest. So they're not – this is what don't make sense to me. You're not recruiting him as a quarterback. But all his highlight playing football is a quarterback. What sense does that make? And look how, yeah. look how long that ball was in the air. If you played against a good team – come on, hold on. Run that back. Run that back. Time out. Run that back. Look at this shit. I want you to look at this shit. The team's so trash. Look how long that ball was in the air. I can't take That's why I can't take this man serious. Yeah, he getting the benefits of being a legacy kid. Let me put the legacy kids on there that they can't get, <laughs> that they really want. Ernell Brown. That's who they want, but he's going to Ohio State. Man, man, Ohio State predicted to get a receiver is damn near locked in, man. Brian Hartline is is he getting them boys. Jeremiah Smith look like he's gonna be a dog. He look like he's gonna be a dog. Man, so that, that, that women basketball, that college women basketball, the ratings been going up like crazy. So for Iowa State, not Iowa, Iowa State, not Iowa State, Iowa, Iowa about to go to the championship. They had like yeah, they got to play uh, South 14, Carolina. They had fourteen point two million people watching. The the audience peaked at seventeen million. I ain't gonna lie, I know more women's name this year than, than than men's in basketball. It's crazy. Yeah, I will watch the um a little clip from Paul Pierce and um Yeah, yeah. Yep, I seen that same thing. No boys had me dying, bro. I seen the same thing. That man they said, had the little, pod, the little podcast they got. He said I might as well go into my name in the draft. I might be a first round pick. <laughs> yeah. I might go first overall. Because let's be honest, outside of the Bronny James story, who have you heard of in basketball in this year? Yeah, I don't I'm really. I mean, I'm shout, really out to, me. shout out to Miami's um, North Chad O'Neill. But let's be honest, man. Who the hell has a 6'5 center? <laughs> yeah. What are we doing? We're playing small ball. What are we yeah. doing? We got P.J. Tucker at center. Yeah, that's that's six five at center. That's crazy. They say Harbaugh ain't turn and um ain't turn one once he got up there. Wait, we Duh, about- I didn't say that. I said he's gun. I said he's gonna be a dog like this season. What the heck? So Harbaugh ain't made no dogs. I mean, not not hardball. Um, Ryan Hardline. I said, yeah, he looked like he' gonna be a dog. Ryan Hardline. Yeah. I'm talking. We're talking about Hardline. Yeah, yeah. Has he turned anybody at Ohio State? Really? That wasn't already talented. I mean, yeah, he getting the talent. I mean, yeah, it's, it's not like he he getting elite level wide receivers. But, I mean, outside of elite level wide receivers, has he turned anybody that was like a three-star or somebody oh, from Syria oh. and he just turned them up to the max? Has he done that yet? Uh, shoot, I don't really think he – is he even taking three-stars, Messi? Like, he getting all the top-rated receivers. 
That's what I'm saying. It's hard to judge this level of coaching. We ain't never seen them too. You really got it. Like, like, how much coaching do you think Jeremiah Smith need? Ex- exactly. So that's what I'm saying. Like if Jeremiah come in, ball out, and go to the league. Are we really gonna say Harbaugh did all that? I mean, Harline did all that. Yeah, it's like that. That man, he he ready to go right now. I mean, it, you got to give him some. I, I wouldn't be surprised. How, how much credit would he get? Top uh, receiver this year. I wouldn't be surprised. I've been seeing the little clips, man. He looked he looked like he'd been in college for two, three years already. Yeah, he's gonna be a dog. Man, my boy got hurt in practice, man. Destin Hill. That's another one y'all been hyping up for some years now. He gonna be out for the spring, man. Yeah. That, that ain't too good. But I, I've been hearing, I've been hearing this. I don't know how true it is, but some, I've been seeing some people say it's supposedly an ACL, which I, I hope that's not the case. I hope not. But man, he was missing for two years. Yeah, y'all actually waited on two years for that dude. Yeah, Mike, Mike waited for him. I don't know what. I, I still don't know what happened with that. Probably never will know. <laughs> But man, I, being out of football for two years and then coming back trying to get right, man, he been he got a little banged up last year and now this year, uh, he messed himself up a couple of days ago. Man. Hopefully it ain't an ACL like I see people saying. I hope not. Yeah, that's crazy. That boy's missing in action, and then he finally, you know, get a chance. Yeah, but man, I, I got I think Florida State is gonna be like a lot of their position groups are gonna be by by committee this year. It's not like no top, you know, top uh top heavy, you know, like superstar names. It's gonna be by committee this year. Shit, that's one hundred right there. Um Grandma, that's one hundred. If Cam would have brought his ass home, Jeremiah would have been in Miami. Cam would have told him he was coming from day from the from the moment they was talking. You would have been down here in Miami. Probably. Nah, you know, probably he would have. He would have. He would have knew he had a quarterback. Yeah, y'all, y'all quarterback situation was looking a little. We all got Reese's Puff at quarterback. I said, what the hell are they doing? No, but we got Reese Puff. <laughs> Reese Puff. We got uh, Reese, Reese. Poffenberger, whatever. <laughs> y'all got Bar- Reese. Y'all got Reese Hamburger Helper at quarterback. <laughs> Reese Poffenberger. <laughs> y'all got Hamburger Helper at quarterback. <laughs> man, when I seen that, I said, man, this, that that's a damn one of them uh, – uh, generated names, damn Poffenberger. What the hell? I ain't that's never one, heard of. Them. <laughs> that's one of them. Uh, the next year of um, NCAA college football. Where you yeah. Got yeah. yeah hey, hey, man. Well, you you get that, man? You should live stream. Uh, like playing playing against uh people. Yeah, I'm gonna we be can, playing. We can match up. We can live stream and play play on I'm the play field. against. I'm gonna play against Davis and Seminoles. Because if, if, if a Miami fan think they coming in here and playing with Miami and I'm not playing with Miami, you got another thing coming. That's dead. That's dead. That's dead. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'll be playing Florida State. Yeah, I, mean, I, really, I wasn't even playing Mad Man when NCAA used to be out way back 10 years ago. Yeah, Madden was irrelevant when NCAA – well, to yeah. me, I'm a – I'm a college fan more than that. I should get on NCAA. I didn't even need to play online. I got on that road to glory, and I was straight. I was see. good. Let me see what Mario dished out today. It's finally coming back. I think they're supposed to be dropping a trailer in May, and then the game drop in July. I'm just waiting for that thing to hit so I can hit download on that PS5. Yeah. Yeah, I see they got it up, but it don't say uh, available for pre-order yet. You can pre-order it at at a at a store though, like at GameStop. You can pre-order it. 
I don't need the CD. I just need that bit to be downloaded forever. Yeah, I feel you. Man, I got the disc version. I ain't put a disc in my PS5 yet. I got I'm, scared. I'm scared to use it. <laughs> I got the disc version, and I still ain't use it. I haven't, I haven't put a disc in there yet. I'm scared to use it. My, my shit might blow up. I don't know what the hell going on. <laughs> my shit. I done had mine for like four years now. My shit don't even know what a CD is. Exactly. I got it, though. I ain't used it yet. I'm gonna be honest, they're they starting to get away from the disc, man. Everything gonna be digital. GameStop finna close up. Oh, nobody going to GameStop no more. But I can sit right here in my room and get the game. Yeah, when, once everything go digital, certain places you don't even need them. Yeah. Like, I mean, they used to do the midnight releases and stuff, they don't even do that anymore. Like with GameStop, if you, if you got stocks in GameStop, the way you see the games and everything, man, going GameStop on, is a ripoff, man. You might as well start selling. GameStop is a ripoff. You could buy a game brand new, take it back the same day to try to trade it in. You bought the game for sixty, they they're gonna offer you twenty five dollars. Yeah, that's how it goes. Yeah, that, that's that's crazy. That's crazy. I can't wait for that to drop. I can't wait. That's crazy as hell. Gators got whooped today in baseball. Missouri beat them two to one. Mm. I think y'all playing too. Hold on, hold on. Let me see if y'all got whooped too. I know we're playing Duke right now up in um, North Carolina. <laughs> he said North, Northville is definitely a dumbo of college football. Yeah. yeah, I wonder who his coach is. I'll tell you one thing, boy. We beat y'all and Mario take that knee. Boy, boy, boy. <laughs> boy, I tell you. Y'all and them Gators. Oh, we take a knee on both of y'all. I promise he, you. He, he could take a knee versus the Gators. I, I don't. I promise I can't, you. I can't agree with you on Florida State. A, I'm gonna make a YouTube short with Mario taking knees on both of y'all, and I'm gonna put it regular version. I'm gonna put it in slow mo. Slow mo. <laughs> he could do it versus the Gators. I don't know about Florida State. Mm-hmm. Tell me, a lot of a lot of their position is gonna be by committee this year. It's not just gonna be. Top, top name players. It's gonna be by committee. Receivers, we got like damn ten receivers. I'm waiting on somebody to to step up and take take that top spot. Running backs, we got Tor Philly, Kaziah Holmes, uh, Cam Davis, the dude from Bama, uh, Roy Dell Williams. It'll be all right. Yeah, right now for Miami, it's the end of the six. We got 42 at Duke. That's baseball. Let me see what y'all doing. They did that for you win or not. I don't, I don't really follow baseball like that. Shit, I try to follow all these major sports. Oh, yeah, I got whooped. Boston College beat y'all 76. <laughs> hey, get, and get, guess what? Guess what? Uh, guess what game that was? Take a wild guess. What, the red bandana? Yep. They had a red bandana game today? Yep. For, for, for uh, Boston College. I seen something about that. They're having red bandana game versus Florida State. Yeah, they, got on, they got on American Green. With American flags on their numbers. <laughs> no boys doing their thing. Red bandana game. Yeah. Young Seminole in the building. Young Seminole, I hate you, bro. I hate you. Young Seminole, what it do? We we still waiting to get paid from Florida Trucker. Young Seminole. We Sem- both better. 
Young Seminole got me some gear in the mail right now. Well, yeah, I'm sending some too. I need to see what he what he got. We going so we can I can get what he didn't get. He sent me a, get bas he sent me a basketball jersey. Basketball jersey. All right. If y'all send me anything, I prefer sleeveless because it's hot as hell in Florida. Yeah. <laughs> Be burning up down there. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so whenever whenever that stuff arrives in the mail, I'll drop a video and I'll update the people on Twitter so they can stop crying. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, you said you was going to wear the stuff? Oh, man, now nah, you trying to chicken out. I'm like, y'all don't even know the stipulations. <laughs> Y'all exactly. just saw that. He definitely said if they send it. He definitely said if we send it. He definitely said that. Nah, but they, they didn't hear that part. Yeah. They, they just heard the part where, oh, we got to wear um, FSU to the Miami games. Yeah. I'm going nice to make shit. that same bet. As a matter of fact, what time is it? It's three, minute, it's three hours and uh, five minutes into this live. Florida Gator fans, I'm going to make the same bet with y'all. If Miami lose to Florida this year, next year, I'm going to wear Florida gear to all the Miami home games. We ain't losing. We're not losing to Florida. If Miami lose to Florida, I will wear Florida gear to Miami home games next year. Young Seminole, join up, man. Hey, 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 hold on. Only if Florida fans... Send me the gear. Let me make that clear. Only if Florida fans send me the gear. All right. There it is. Any, any, join up. Any Florida fans want to take that bet? Send me the gear. If but y'all ain't gonna win anyway, so it is what it is. Now, if y'all lose. Your cash app is at the bottom. Y'all gotta send me send me ten dollars. I don't I don't even want much from y'all. Cause I I'm, I know for a fact we're gonna beat y'all. They said send you some spandex draws. <laughs> <laughs> uh, man, I'm not going to the I'm not going to the beach. <laughs> they said that's the Hawthorne QB. You from the area? You know about Hawthorne? Hawthorne's small, man. You must be from the area. Young Seminole. What it is, y'all? Man, let's go fly. Uh, let's go uh, find Florida Trucker. They said he been showing his face. Yes. Uh, I can't remember who said it. Who who it was? But they said they found him over there in like a Utah channel or something like that. Yeah, we need to go collect our bread, man. He owe me a hundred. He owe me a hundred too. But I ain't. I know, I know. I ain't never gonna see it. But it's all right. I know how them Florida fans be. Yeah, man. That boy went missing like a fart in the wind. See, that's different with TTY. At least he hold up his, his end of the bet. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about to send him some stuff in the mail, too. I've been trying to send him, but it wouldn't let me send it to him until uh, he followed me back on Twitter. So now I, I got the address. So I, sent a, I sent him a basketball jersey the other day. Yeah, I, got, I, got, I just got the address, too, myself. Good luck with finding the 3X, man. There's a lot of stuff. It's hard to find a sleeve of stains 3X. Yeah, the, it, it, all the damn sites be 2X. They, like, they always go up to just 2X. For real? I feel bad for you, yeah. T, man. That shit, that shit hard to find, man. Yeah, don't feel bad for me. I got a closet full of shit. <laughs> Is it easier to find a whole bunch of Miami stuff with it? Of course. Well, yeah, because, you know, I mean, he down there, they probably, they probably Ooh, Miami stuff you, everywhere. You got to understand, we're a bigger and better brand than y'all. Uh, uh, they, they, make, they make our stuff in all sizes and all shapes and everything. Why are you lying to yourself already this morning? Or this afternoon? Uh, what you watching, cartoons? Man, I got the kids in the car, man. The wife shopping in Marshalls right now. <laughs> they got the phones and the iPads out and everything. Yeah. Where, you, uh, where you from, <laughs> Seminole? You in Florida? Man, I'm from Vero Beach, but I live in Tennessee. Oh, Tennessee. Oh, so you up there by ain't Coach Coop up that way? 
Yeah, he live in West uh, East Tennessee. I live uh, like north towards Nashville. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, yeah, I'm right here in Ocala. If y'all know where that's at. Yeah, yeah. I remember when you was on here before when we was talking uh, during the start of the season, whatever last year. Yeah. Three, five, two. What you hearing coming out of that that spring today? That um. That little scrimmage y'all had today. Hey, they, I didn't they, even know we had another scrimmage today. I, I got a whole bunch of positive reports on it. We'll see what they else they say about it tonight. But from Mike Norvell, they said it was looking pretty clean today. Who who showed up? How did they uh, Malik Benson was really going on it. Um, Hakeem Williams. Uh, there's there's several players that's gonna be playing that that will be starters or in the second rotation, but they, they ain't they out there in the spring right now. Some on the offensive line. Toa Philly's been chill, uh, ain't been doing much because he's been re- relaxing. Uh, you hear Hill, about probably, Hill? Yeah, I was about to say, Destin Hill, he he come probably be. Now, might, I've seen people say he might be done for the ACL. season. Yeah, some ACL or MCL, something like that. Man, I hope that ain't true, man. That's terrible for that man, too, man, because, you know. Yeah. Work all that time to get up and get, get, get back up in, in here, and now he got a. Busted up leg now. Yeah, I, I hope that ain't true. I hope not. I hope he. I hope he comes what back. You, uh, what you? What you think about season. this next portal window that's about to open up? What you think we need to grab? I don't know, man. I know we got to lose quite a bit still. So like, I don't know how much we yeah. can actually take. There's a lot that we got to drop off. There's gonna be. So T, you gonna be having some good shorts to make, man, because there, there'll be gonna be a mass exodus probably. Oh yeah, he gonna title it. Florida State. How many, how many players players? Get I think it's like between like five and eight. We got to get rid of. Oh, yeah. Five or eight of y'all best players. Yeah, best player. Yeah. Yeah. Best players. <laughs> I, can, I can see I can see like a like a like a Darion Williamson leaving because I mean that 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 receiver room. Yeah. It's gonna be, it's big, big I would name. say I would say the receiver room. <laughs> some on the offensive line. What? Probably like right there because that's the two deepest positions, offensive line yeah, and, and uh-huh. receiver. But we'll see. They might take somebody a, a, a couple key pieces in the transfer portal. You know Mike the King in the transfer portal. Yeah, yeah they God. hate on him so bad for that, man. Let him hate. You know, that all it does is fuel the wins. That's fine. Let him hate. All right. Find the meaning. They, they, they hate on Mike so bad for that portal. Y'all definitely gonna take about five hundred players from the border. <laughs> they hate they <laughs> hate him for that because he he gotta hit get with that. His players. Gotta, his players see hit. that? Hey, he said that too. <laughs> he said it. He said all the other teams be getting mad because they as good as the, the other players that we pick and they up. they taking more players than Florida State. That's what Mike said. <laughs> like it's crazy. <laughs> he was talking about Chris Ball down there. He said y'all be taking all these players, but y'all ain't hitting on them. <laughs> they, they just they just see some names that go crazy. No man, Mike going he gonna do his research. Yeah, Mike also gonna give up all the snaps too. Ain't none of them high school players gonna touch the field. Hey, you know what? You you was talking about that a few weeks back. Hold on, no, I got some. <laughs> Like I told him, why, why, why not take a proven commodity over a high school kid that you don't know is gonna is gonna pan out? When I could get somebody that I know what they're capable of doing, I've seen them play at the college level. Well, it's not even that though. They be saying that the high school players don't play, but that's a straight lie though. It just so happens that there's some there's transfers that come in that are better than the, the, the exactly. three I mean, stars Farmer, that they got early. Farmer been playing. Shaheen Brown. Uh, Pat Patrick, Patrick Payton, Payton, like, like, and these boys Conrad is, is, is these King boys Williams, is about to get paid. Farmer and Payton about to get paid. Yeah, they not hey. know these like these some all ACC conference players like they hey, and, and, yeah, them the uh, same thing uh, that held y'all hostage for more uh, NIL money. Well, oh, it's no they? different. It's no different that Paris when they left y'all. If y'all would have paid him. Why? Why not? Why not? Why Paris leave y'all? Why Paris leave y'all? Paris ain't left for no nil money. He want to be. He want to be the number one guy. He, he was, was the number one guy over the last two seasons. He was number one guy over the last two. Seasons. Look at but the he stats. Wanna, he don't want to share the ball as much as he did. So 
So no, y'all got a culture no, problem. No, so y'all got a culture problem. Y'all got a culture problem. Y'all got a culture problem. Y'all let TV hold y'all hostage. Y'all got a culture problem. Hey, they let TV hold them hostage. the best running back room. They sure did. They they got a culture problem and they get hot get, get held hostage by their players. By by trash quarterback, they got held hostage by TVD. Hey, no, no. Remember what they said at the beginning of the year? The Heisman Trophy caliber quarterback. <laughs> what they said? And that what they said? Man, that man fell off the face of the earth. Uh, y'all also told me that uh, road yes, making was the state, he said, and hey, first three, four, first four weeks of the, of the, of the hey, year, hey, he road, said best quarterback. I don't in care state. how bad road maker looked, he did enough to win the game. That's all it takes. I told me road maker was gonna be this and that. I call Rotomaker the you white told James me Black. He was gonna be this and that. Y'all too. told me Rotomaker was gonna be this and that. He wasn't even that and this. I call him the white TV James Black. gonna be this and that. I call Rotomaker the white James Blackman. <laughs> that that's a that's that's something right there for you. Yeah, uh, speaking of James you. Blackman, um, but that's what Mike do though. That's how he, that's how Mike developed quarterbacks. I said he would never start. He would never start at Florida State. Not a full time starter anyway. Hey, Mike got the quarterback room looking good. We got Chroma Hawk, Brock Glenn, DJ. You gon' go on. Y'all gonna get another transfer quarterback next year? What? Nah, we won't need one. No, nah, Brock Glenn don't be playing next year. Once, once DJ gone, y'all gonna need another one. Bro, I don't man. understand all this hate on bro, DJ. Man, what, 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 what y'all going to what y'all going to do after uh after your transfer quarterback leaves? What y'all going to do? Y'all going to go with Puffenberger, your other transfer quarterback? Uh, nah, Reese's Puff. They going to go with Reese's Puff. That's his name. He, they got two transfer quarterbacks on 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 the team. They going to talk about us. Look. Facts. Why, why Mario? Why Mario can't develop a quarterback? He been there three years now. <laughs> it's it, it's always it's different when it's why Florida State. You heard me. It's always different when it, when it comes to Florida State. It's all these all is everything else. But when it comes yeah, to Miami, I'm, I'm, I'm just they got this is his third year. Why he can't develop a quarterback? When it comes why, to Florida why, State, why why Emory Williams? <laughs> We got we got to die by the sword when it comes to Mike in Florida State, but with Mario, it's all these they give oh, us all these reasons yeah. why they can't do this, why they can't do that. Oh, Mario, no. Mario better get ten wins this year. He oh, better oh, get ten oh, wins pardon, this year. Pardon, pardon, pardon the interruption. Holy shit! Drake just responded to Kendrick Lamar. That's for real. Yeah. Can you play it? Nah, can't. Not online. Get you on. Uh, what's the name of the song? Um, hold on, let me see. see if I can find that. But he responded. So you know, J Cole responded yesterday. Yeah. Put the uh, put the lyrics up on the on the screen, TGY. You can, can do that at least. Can. The verse. Uh, if I do it, somebody got a super chat because they're gonna take all my money. Not from not from posting lyrics. There's no lyrics. No, you should be able to find lyrics on Google then. I ain't even gonna go Google this. This just dropped right now. It ain't gonna be on Google. <laughs> it just dropped right now. Man, fuck it. I'm gonna do it. <laughs> right. Hold on. Let me don't see. worry about it. I'll check it out later. Y'all can't say I don't like y'all. Let me do it. Are we still wearing the crown? And I am not handing it down. Six need an exorcist. That little nigga don't know a bitch stepping this. Him out the shadows to prove that he relevant. See me and Poe running shit like a fellow. Just try ain't enough to be stepping to me. That name dropping shit ain't impressive to me. You pussy, it took you a decade to speak. The K got a dot, knock your head off your shoulders, man. Fuck all them Grammys, I'm best in the league. Now y'all can debate about the two or the three. That shot value verse ain't gonna do it for me. I've been in the field while you sit on the bleachers. I gave you your start, you was crying with me. You pump out his chest trying to prove he elite. My punchlines will knock out that little boy's teeth. Candy man, candy man, candy man. Bought you a step up, but I got you. Looking real sweet. I like this. I have shut your ass up. <laughs> like off brand, too short. <laughs> See, that's just a snippet, though. I want to Damn. Hear so Drake went into the studio. 
Nah. It was expected. You knew it was coming. Nah, I, I thought he would. I, I ain't thought he would have answered. I thought he would have played the I'm on the top of the mountain. If I look, if I answer, I'm just looking down on you. I'm just. It's more beneficial for you than it is for me. Yeah, because that's that's like the same argument with uh, Eminem and MGK. Like you know, like why would he have responded to MGK? It's the same thing. I think MGK is better than Eminem. <laughs> who, who y'all taking though? If, if this whole thing goes down, y'all taking Drake or y'all taking Kendrick or Ari? Kendrick? Kendrick. Yeah. I'm gonna take Drake because that's my cousin. Yeah, right. <laughs> we got the same last name. <laughs> Ken, Kendrick Future and Metro. Remember, remember back in the day where you thought everybody was your cousin because you got the same last name? Mm-hmm. Drake, my cousin, goddammit. No, Lord. He, he a gram just like I am, so we could. No, Lord. Damn gram crackers. <laughs> Aubrey Graham. They got Graham cracking in Gainesville. They said, man, he trash. Damn check down king. Nah, nah. His name is Graham Mertz. He's a Mertz. He's not a Graham, so we don't count him. <laughs> we don't we don't own Oh, that. no, no. My bad. They, really was calling him, they, they was calling him Murder Mertz. My bad. Murder, murder. Oh yeah, that's what they said before he played us. He was five and two. They thought they was gonna upset us. Imagine calling, imagine calling somebody murder Mertz and then you lose five straight games to end the season. Yeah, you know what's imagine crazy? Imagine up hey, seven hey, to zero and then crazy? Imagine losing to Arkansas in the daytime in black jerseys. Listen, T two I that screenshot that I sent morning. you, that screenshot I sent you, that name Mike on there. I bet him. I bet him that they would lose their last five. Damn. I'm just saying they was up seven to zero, but they was going crazy. The next thing you know, it's forty two seven. I bet him that they would lose their last five in a row. And lo and behold, what they do? If they start off like zero and three, zero and four, Billy's done, bro. Don't no, he's getting fired. The only thing Florida really have is just the SEC brand. That's it. They got basketball. They got a good basketball team. They ain't elite. They won the SEC this year, I think. No, they didn't. Auburn did. Auburn won the SEC championship? Yeah. Oh, hell no. Nah. I, thought, I thought Florida they played, they played them. They played Florida in the um, SEC championship and beat the breaks off them. Man, no. Florida is a soccer school, man. Oh, well, well, let's go with baseball. We'll give them baseball. No, Florida's a hockey school. <laughs> Since they were talking all that trash when I was they, talking they, about they, hockey. water polo. Yeah, we'll give them water polo. There you go. They're water polo school, man. Or um, tennis. FSU. Something like that. Now, nah, FSU, they're a softball school. Stop it. <laughs> they're a softball school. Stop it. How y'all get, how y'all get left out of the football playoffs and get left out of the tournament? The basketball team been iffy all year, man. They're killing it in baseball this year, though. Didn't they? Don't they have like two seven footers on their basketball team? Hey, just because you tall don't mean you're good. Or oh, y'all can't develop it. Just because you tall don't mean you're good. The baseball team started out like eighteen and zero, I think. Man, Sarge, I ain't, I ain't tell you that. Uh, young Seminole about to make a man out of me. Oh really? Yeah, you don't send me that down Florida State gear. No, oh, wow. So now I gotta wear that bullshit. He bought it and sent it to you. Yeah. Damn That's right. dedication right there, man. Don't worry. Hey, I'm sending yeah. some too. I just got the address. Don't worry about it. That's dedication right there, man. Don't worry about it. So, uh, when I get to the games, I'm gonna um, make videos so y'all just y'all can see it. Definitely. I just, I ain't learning. I want to see the reaction of the people when I finally get to the game. I want to see the reaction. For those they who know, go ahead in your comments. For those who know the bit, they'll know what it is. But the ones that don't, it's going to be good to see their reaction. I'm going to make sure I get it all on camera. Because I remember when you put the, you put the damn, uh, the, the Indian on your forehead that one time. People went crazy. Because I got, um, I got my glasses, which are camera. I got some shades, they cameras. So this year I'm gonna use them instead of my phone. I'm gonna just use it and because they record for like two hours. 
The dude says stop the cap. What best thing about? too is you talking about when best I say thing that, is, can get several say Florida, years of use out of this out of this too. When I say Florida State is a softball school, he said to stop the cap. <laughs> Y'all know I might have to come down there, T2I, so we can kind commentate some games, man. Yeah, man. I got the, um, I'm gonna have my phone and I'm gonna have my um, my glasses, but I'm on my glasses this time. Can't have the phone in my hand because some of these fans crazy. I might have to throw hands with somebody. Yeah, you're gonna have to. People get that liquid courage, man, especially at the Braves games. Oh, my goodness, bro. Yeah, mistake me for a Florida State fan and try to fight. Yeah. <laughs> be like these new content creators. It's a prank. It's a prank. It's a prank. They be about to get beat uh, down. It's a prank. It's a prank. They're going to look. They're going to just bypass the big ass tattoo on my hand and say, oh, what you doing here, Seminole? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, but so young Seminole, man, you know, guys said, um you guys will go for eleven and one and make the playoffs. What do you say? We just lost young Seminole. Oh, okay, my bad. But that eleven and one in playoffs, man, that's I think that's a little too far fetched, man. Why you there say you that? Go. There you go. Y'all lost a lot of talent, bro. Like I told T two I it's gonna be it's gonna be uh by by uh committee this year. I don't got I say more like star names, but I say like more like nine and three, not eleven and one. Nine and three. So, so you must have us losing to to Miami, Clemson, and Notre Dame. I got you losing Clemson, Notre Dame, and maybe one more upset. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't trust DJU as your so, quarterback. So we man. beat I'm Clemson sorry. on the road last year. Now they're gonna come to tally and they they crying about their quarterback. They don't like their quarterback, man. I don't, man. DJ gonna. That's probably be DJ best game all year versus Clemson. Really? He gonna want to show out versus Dabo. The the players who practice against him every day. You think he gonna have his best game against them? Yeah, that that's two years ago he was at Clemson. Yeah, they know his tendencies. Um, hey, like I said, that's gonna be his best. That'll probably be his best game of the year. I think that might be his worst. Hey, I, heck no. Just think, how long was he at Clemson? Two years, right? So, yeah, two, yeah. So somebody you practice against two, uh, t- every day for two years? That that that's that's irrelevant. That's an edge, bro. Nah, that's a huge edge. They gonna know what what throws he like to make. What throws? Uh, he like hold to make. up, wait a minute. We got common of the day. Comment of the day is FSU winning the net. No oh, Lord. Well, yep. Let's go ahead and screenshot that. FSU is winning the net. We got comment of the day. I can't I make it. Y'all, y'all, y'all take stuff like that serious. Come on. Guys. Said, it's your fan base. Don't get mad at us. Y'all take stuff like that serious. It's your fan base, bro. They didn't take me serious when I said 15 and 0. They y'all take that serious. Teach why did they take me serious when I, I said think you, I don't think you would have said it if you didn't mean it. Yeah. Stop <laughs> it. As soon as our schedule dropped, I said 15 and 0. That, oh, and people well, said, it it people you, got, you got reason to feel like that. Y'all y'all just won the championship. You got reason to feel like that. Yeah, but there was like, ain't no way y'all going 15 and 0. Y'all ain't won nothing in 40 years. You need to learn how to celebrate. Y'all need y'all need some humble pie and all this other good stuff. So it's FSU for the natty. That's crazy. Hey, Seminole. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. That's tough, right? Hey, I got us at eleven and one I'm with a loss to Notre Dame. I'm trying to personalize. But they tell me I'll be making stuff up now. FSU for the natty. That's crazy. Eleven and one. Come on, man. With with a loss to Notre Dame. Eleven and one. Mm hmm. I mean, I could, I could, I could see that. I got DJ U as your quarterback. You day. know he's gonna have a couple bad games, bro. Honestly, I'm being real with you. I think DJ U has his best college career this year. A new, a new, new office coordinator, new playbook. Come on, man. You know he's gonna have. A he, he had, he did every, he did that at Oregon State last year. He had a. Good year. But that's the Pac-12. I said what bro. I said. 
He had a good year last year, I too. I don't know I why people act like he played trash What was last Oregon year? State record last year? I don't know. I know he had a good year. How do you know he had a good year? You don't even know Oregon I State look up his, you, It's easy to look up passing stats and touchdowns. You don't even know that record. How you going to say he had a good year? You don't even know what their wins and losses. Oh, hold up. Wait a minute. We got a TVD spot. Somebody in the comments, find find Oregon State's record last year. TVD spot, y'all. Hold on. Wait a minute. Let's see what my boy had to say. Obviously, you want to look at the talent around you to see if it's a, a good fit for you. And um, when you look at guys like Will Paul and Weston Green, uh, Ches Malusi, um, the entire line, um, you know, those guys are really good players. Uh, I mean, Will. Came out at the end of the season last year. I had a really good year, and um, you know that kind of you know, brought me. Oh wow, they do got some guys up there. Uh, Bryson made some great catches too. Um, you know, I expect him to have an even better season than he had last year, and he probably knows that too. So, um, yeah, an offensive line, uh, really solid, experienced guys, and huge. Um, I don't think I've had tackles six eight and six nine before, so I'm excited for that. Let's see. Cap. Did this man really just say that after he just had all that at Miami this past year? <laughs> Hold on. I, I don't think I heard it right. Experienced guys and huge. Um, I don't think I've had tackles 6, 8, and 6, 9 before, so I'm excited for that. Obviously. Cap. <laughs> Flag on the play. <laughs> Cap. Why, boy, boy, I tell you, if, if a lion man was a person, yeah, yeah, you know what? Let's move. Let's keep it moving. Lion man TVD. That man had 30 Five. minutes to throw the ball last year. He was on picks. That old line gave him 30 minutes every play to throw the ball, and he was throwing picks. They were eight and five. Okay, they were eight and five, and they lost to Notre Dame 40 to eight. I can't believe that man said that. Eight and five. They lost to Notre Dame 40 to eight. And you, you said he did it. Why? I can't believe I, Hold on. I got to save that. What'd you say? You're telling me they lost to Notre Dame. Why? 40 to 8. I'm saying, why are you telling me that? I didn't say why. I said they lost to Notre Dame 40 to 8. That's relevant to what? And you said he had a good good year last year. So because they lost to Notre Dame, that means he didn't have a good year? They were 8 and 5. Is that a good year? Eight and five. Oh, okay, so Cam, Cam Ward went five and seven. Does that mean he's sorry? I'm not talking about him. I'm not talking about him. Does that mean he's sorry since they had a losing no, season? No, I'm not talking about him. All I'm right. talking about DJU. All right. Why are you trying to move the goalpost? No, I'm I'm comparing to what you're talking about. I'm not comparing nothing. I'm talking about DJU. I am. You you're said not, he I had am. a good year last year. You're not. They were eight and five. They got blew out by 32 points. So eight and five is a good year. All right. Shout out to DJU, man. Y'all hear that FSU fans? Eight and five and getting blown out by 32 points. That's having a good season. Man, why you got your foot on the They played he didn't even play uh in that game, so that's irrelevant. Oh, okay. They were eight and four. He lost. He lost to Cam Ward too. He lost to Cam Ward, <laughs> <laughs> and Cam Ward still had a losing season. So that makes him <laughs> trash, right? That makes him sorry. The one that makes you. Did you what? Yeah, throw that in there, huh? <laughs> who who had the winning? Who had the winning season? Listen, man, uh, man. Evidence online, y'all wanted Cam Ward over him, so don't even do that. Who had the winning season? 
Oh, all right. When they went head to head, what happened? Who had the winning season? Who won? Who had the winning season? Who won in the head to head? Who I don't care what he did at Oregon State. He's not there no more. He at Florida State. No, you just said he had a good season last year. So you obviously care what he did. He himself passing, yes, he had a good year. You're talking about so, records. So you can't say you can't say I don't care what they did. I don't care what they did. Cam Ward had a good year last year and they had a losing record. You keep stepping, you keep stepping on your own foot, man. First you say, first you How? say he had a good year last year, and then you say I don't care what Oregon State did last year. I, I could care less how many games they won. I'm talking about him as an individual. You're talking about the record. I'm not talking about a record. Cam Ward, so they went. What was his oh, stats? What was his stats? From Washington last year? State. Washington State had a losing record, so that means Cam Ward didn't have a good year. I'm pretty sure he did. If your team has a losing record, you don't have a good year. So you, so you telling me Cam Ward didn't have a good year because they had a losing record? Yeah, yeah, that that's that's how it works, bro. No, no. So if y'all go five and seven this year, are you gonna say DJ you had a good year? If he just threw for three thousand, four thousand yards, so that's not having a good year. That don't make no sense. You could. He obviously couldn't do what he needs to do to win the game. An individual can have a good year by himself. Not if you lose. Not if you five and seven, man. Come on, man. That does not make so. Hey, so Cam Ward didn't have a good year last year because they lost. No, because his team was five and seven. They had a losing season. He. What was uh DJU's numbers, man? That's what I want to know. You hear that? Y'all hear that, was, Miami fan? What was DJU's numbers? Our Touchdowns, interceptions, yards, rushing yards. I mean, they got to be astronomical because nobody plays defense in the Pac-12. Why didn't he play against Notre Dame? No idea. Twenty six hundred yards, twenty one oh. touchdowns, seven picks. And hey, that's all you gotta say, man. Twenty six hundred yards. <laughs> How many touchdowns? How many touchdowns, man? In, in 12 games, he had 2,600 yards. That's what, like 200 a game? Mic check, mic check. <laughs> mic check, mic check. Man, I still can't believe it. Hey, you hear me, T2I? Yeah, I hear you. All right, so he said 2,600 yards in 12 games. How many touchdowns, how many interceptions? <laughs> I'm talking about um your boy DJU. Um, how many how many interceptions did he throw last year? Well, I, I don't know. I'm asking. Was it eight or nine? I don't know. Hold on, we're gonna find out. 
Hey, young Seminole say Sarge, y'all know he's a secret Miami fan. No, I'm a secret FSU fan, man. I'm a fan of y'all, man. Y'all help me make history, bro. <laughs> Y'all, y'all help my team cement that name for like all the next hundred years, man. I'm a secret FSU fan, man. I'm a, I'm a fan of FSU, man. Every time I see y'all, man, if I'm having a crappy day, I just look at that y'all colors and that 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 uh, that that warrior, you know, that logo. I just feel better, man. Y'all brighten my day, man. Shout out to FSU, man. TV beat, boy, I tell you. TV beat. That man said, he ain't never had no six, seven, six, eight tackles. Of course, man. He get up there and start lying. Like, we ain't watch you get, like, 30 minutes to throw the ball and then through picks. You had 30 minutes to throw the ball against Florida State, and you threw a pick to end the game. How many picks will this man throw? Y'all let me know, man. How many picks? Y'all let me know in the chat. How many picks is um DJ gonna throw this year? I need the, I need these stats, man. I'm looking for them right now. Y'all think Brock? Y'all think Brock Glenn gonna take over that job? <laughs> You think Brock Lane gonna take DJ job by the by the middle of the year? Oh, 21 touchdowns, seven interceptions. So in 12 games, he threw 21 touchdowns. <laughs> nah, the guy that can't the guy that can't help him. They spoke, he spoke today. Talking about Mr. Mr. Trav. Oh my goodness. He spoke about his little interview thing and thing. Oh, no, nah, they want to play highlights. They ain't trying to see no highlights. There's no music. Let me kill the music. All right, so 21 touchdowns, seven interceptions in 12 games. Nobody do not want to see y'all highlights against teams that ain't do nothing. That's all it is. Highlights. I thought it was gonna talk. I thought he was gonna say something. Young Seminole, man. Why are you in the comments, dog? You shouldn't be allowed to speak to me, dog. I'm a Georgia fan, bro. When you when you see me in your presence, bro, you should bow. You should fall on your hands and knees and put your face to the ground, bro. Man, that's tough. If we walking on the same sidewalk, man, you should you should step aside and let me finish walking, man. Then get back on the sidewalk. See, Gator, see, um, Seminole fans. That's what happened when you lose sixty-three to three. <laughs> they get to talk to y'all like y'all some peasants. Seriously, man. <laughs> if I'm about to step in the puddle, man, you should take your jacket off and throw your jacket over the puddle, <laughs> bro. So I don't get my jays dirty, <laughs> bro. Gotti, <laughs> Gotti. <laughs> That's crazy. I mean, this is ridiculous, bro. Y'all think y'all talk about DJ? You go make y'all go eleven and what? That's crazy. In the conference with the worst defenses, this dude threw tw for twenty six hundred yards with twenty one touchdowns and seven interceptions. And this is the conference where don't nobody play defense. In 12 games. And then he didn't play in the bowl game against Notre Dame. I wonder why. I wonder why he didn't play T2R. Sure. Florida State fans. <laughs> they still won't admit. Them boys quit on them. Maybe, maybe he just a transfer. He don't care. They still won't admit. Them boys quit on them. What kind of what kind of ride in Norville get DJU? I know he got him something nice. Probably not a Lambo, but I know he got him something nice. Probably got like a, a nice Range Rover. 
maybe a um maybe a Hellcat, maybe a um what's it oh, a track hawk, maybe a track hawk. He, he probably got him a track hawk because he like 250, man. He gonna need an SUV. <laughs> If you're 250, man, you can't fit no Lambo. <laughs> DJ went to Florida State and couldn't find shit to do but eat. He couldn't find nothing to do but eat. <laughs> man, that's tough. <laughs> hey, young Seminole, man, when y'all gonna want when y'all gonna want Brock Glenn, man? Probably like game five. Y'all gonna want y'all gonna want to bench DJ you and put Brock Glenn in there, man. <laughs> man, that's crazy. But I give him credit, man. He scored three points on us. Brock Glenn, man. Shout out to Brock Glenn, man. You you scored three, bro. In the first quarter. <laughs> the, boys, the boys thought it was gonna be a competitive game. <laughs> yeah, man. Young Seminole, since you in the comments, man, didn't you predict y'all to beat us? I, I need to go back to that live and double check, but one of y'all, one of y'all FSU fans that was in the in the chat predicted FSU to beat us. But as soon as I, I found out all the transfers are sitting out, I was like, oh, it's about to get ugly. The whole team was made up of transfers. Wait, do, we, do Florida got a double hitter? They got two spring games? No, nah, no, nah, I'm talking about baseball. Is it a double hitter? No, nah, I don't know. Because I know they lost two to one. Hey, look, 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 young Seminole say, uh, much love for the true freshman. Uh, Jake Fromm was a true freshman when he took Georgia to the national championship. Ain't nobody going to talk about that, though, huh, T2I? Yeah, Jake. Um, yeah, let's not. He's talk, a true, let's not he's a true about, freshman. He's a true freshman quarterback. Let's not talk about that failure. Hey, Fromm did all right, man. He made it to the league. Yeah, he also was up what twenty five points. <laughs> nah, it was it was it was fourteen points. <laughs> Seventeen to three. Seventeen to three. Y'all found a way to lose that bit. <laughs> Hey man, well you gotta take from a true freshman, you know, he got us there. Don't you know about them Bama boys? <laughs> hey, but you know, Stetson, Stetson, Stetson shut all that noise up though. Y'all was singing, y'all was singing, celebrating too early. We are the champion peons. Mm -hmm. What? <laughs> we are the champions. We're the back to back champions. Nah, I'm talking about in 2017. Oh, yeah. Y'all was, yeah. was, was already singing. We are the champions. Nah, we wasn't singing that. Before y'all can get the word champions on, uh, at the end of the game, y'all were the champions. Nah, we, we Georgia fans. We, we wasn't expecting to be up like that at halftime. Man, I'm telling you, at the end of the game, y'all went from champions to champions. <laughs> That boy Nick Saban <laughs> looked over at Kirby and said, "What up, son?" <laughs> hey, we lost the overtime, man. It'd be like that sometimes, bro. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, y'all. We did, we did, we did block a point. We did block a punt in the fourth quarter that would have iced the game. But you know, they said he was offsides when he wasn't offsides. Then they admitted two years later, no, he he really wasn't offsides. Man. Jeremiah Smith out there making Ohio State look. Damn, that's crazy. That one hand catch in the end zone. That dude is a freak athlete. Yeah, but he got locked up by our cornerback, Ellis Robinson, when they played against each other. Our cornerback, number one cornerback in the nation, that dude is a, locked him up. That dude is a freak of nature, my guy. Oh, it's man. on YouTube, ladies and gentlemen. Just um, look up Ellis Robinson, Jeremiah Smith. You, you can see the highlights. Check this out. Hold on, man. Let me get the Florida um, Jordan faces off the screen real quick. Ah, right, so check this. Oh, I could put it back on. It ain't blocking, man. Put them Florida faces back on there. 
All right. Antoine Stone, man, you don't want to talk about somebody's name. Oh! 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 Look at that Damn. Man. Back to talk about interception throwing on um, DJ. <laughs> who who gonna start a quarterback for Ohio State, man? I don't know. I know it ain't gonna be here nor they're gonna go with the transfer or they're gonna go with they the other one. Did they get a they quarterback transfer? Will Howard. Will Howard. They got Will Howard from uh, Kansas State. Yeah, that's right. Because I know um, the other guy transferred. Yeah, yeah, the one they had. He, he transferred to uh, Penn State, yeah, I think. Was that McCall or something like that? Yeah, yeah, he transferred out of there because they blamed the loss to Michigan on him. Oh, snap. Today we got another practice warrior. Another practice warrior at Florida State. You got an uh, interception in the scrimmage. So I wonder who threw the pick. Probably with DJ. No, I don't think it was DJ. But, uh, hold on, Florida State fans. I'm need some answers. Who threw the pick? They say I don't DJ. think it was DJ. They say DJ had a phenomenal day, so I don't think it was DJ. Who threw the pick? Yeah, I don't think it was DJ. FSU fans, which, which one of y'all players? Which one of y'all players threw the pick? Was it DJ? Was it um Brock Glenn? Who was the other quarterback? Was it that Carl guy? That who, who threw the pick? Luke, Luke, Luke. If he had a phenomenal day, that mean they ain't got no DBs. I'm sorry. Was it Luke? Who threw the pick? Yeah, we already know DJ. They say DJ had a good um practice, <laughs> good scrimmage. So if it wasn't him that threw the pick, who threw the pick? So if DJ had a good scrimmage and Cam Ward beat DJ, what's going to happen before y'all play to him? Man, we're going to be great softball. Miami about to Miami. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to tell you now, when we get done with Florida State, this is what y'all going to call them. Oh, wow. That is what y'all going to call them. When we get done with Florida State. All right. Back to the schedule programming. <laughs> you had whatever to the stash, huh? <laughs> no, I was just strolling. I saw that one. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> but damn. Damn, Florida. Oh, State. yeah. I forgot they got Charles Lester. That's right. You got Charles Lester at cornerback. They thought they were going to lose in the Auburn. They were scared they were going to lose in the Auburn. Mike basically begged him to stay. Okay, I got you. I still man, want to wild, man. Ain't no FSU fan gonna tell me who threw the pick. All right, let me go do my own research. Let me go do my own research. But I honestly thought – I thought – I mean, they said, well, DJ had a good year last year. So I thought, you know, he threw for like over 3,000 for like 35 touchdowns, maybe like five or six interceptions, you know. All right. So word on the street, DJ put together his best practice um, camp during the second. The quarterback transferred high praise from Norvell. Um, I thought today was um, his best day, Norvell said, after the scrimmage. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, Norvell noted, uh, put together a strong link to drive. Multiple sources indicated that um, DJU managed the offense very well while um, sprinkling a few big throws down the field as well as creating with his feet. No uh, sacks? He didn't get sacked in the time? Hold on. I'm, I'm still trying to get through the rest of it. So, okay. Yeah, you um, only uh, – only eight practicing that FSU tenure, um from Oregon or blah, 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 previously Clemson, um, where he put together the Beaver throwing 21 for seven interception. Um, <laughs> he threw four-star transfer portal, blah, blah, blah. Um, his starting spot over redshirt freshman Brock Glenn. Um, Norvell stated um, recently that it's hard to compare the progress of both um, callers. Uh, blah, 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 giving the starting line. Uh, see, he ain't trying to say nothing. 
the coach also praised Glenn on the day as well as um, freshman quarterback Luke. Um, FSU is unlikely to name a starter exiting the spring. So, damn, DJ, you ain't even got the job yet. Uh, so, they haven't named him as a starter yet. He's trending in a positive direction. He's um, picking up a new system. So, he ain't really saying shit. <laughs> They ain't really saying nothing. They don't want to address who threw that pick. Who threw the pick, God dang it? I'm not going to say T2I. You got to let that go, man. What's the name? Um, Ja'Cory Brown threw a pick six today. Oh, he threw a pick six? Yeah. Maybe that's good for y'all defense, man. I mean, he, as of right now, he's like the fourth string guy. Yeah. Yeah, he going into the portal, bro. Florida State fans, I just traded some information with y'all. Now y'all tell me who y'all be. Charles is a hundred percent no, a real stand-up guy, not like that Mickey Mouse Bolden kid. That's hilarious, man. Or or the Mickey Mouse Travis Hunter kid that's gonna be a top ten pick. You saying the same thing about him? I can't take Ed D serious. He said Florida State went in Natty this year. Oh, that's the guy, Ed D. Yeah. Ed D. D is in delusional. <laughs> <laughs> I can't take it serious. Hold on. Okay. Oh, man. They talking about Charleston. Waiting for y'all to put on the board attack the polls, blah, blah, blah. Man, ain't nobody going to say who threw the pick, though. Nah, nobody's going to say. Nobody's going to say. Side Bates, that's another one they praising. So they just going to, this man just going to bring out the turnover backpack and nobody's going to say who threw it to him. <laughs> Not a purse, the purse. It's a man purse. It's a purse. <laughs> T2Y, you going on vacation, man? Your kids on spring break? Nah. Spring nah. break? Spring break been over with. Oh, y'all do it early down there in Florida, huh? Well, y'all ain't went on spring break yet? Nah, they they, they just finished up. Oh, I thought y'all about to go on spring break now. Nah, this past week was spring break. Yeah, ours was the week before. Yeah. Nah, man. So y'all, y'all made it through spring break, and only one player got arrested. Y'all doing good. Yeah, but that that see that's the thing though. The more people get in trouble, the better we do. Man, that's a dog mentality right there. But that's how it is though. It's the truth. I hate to say it, but it's the truth, man. Now that we got somebody in trouble, we definitely win in championship. Now well, you already know them Florida Gator fans celebrated when when the. Um, when Trevor, when Trevor um ETN got arrested, you know they. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! I know they celebrate. I know they was happy. They would celebrate. You saw I the know, picture, bro. You saw the picture I sent you with that um liquor bottle in his hand. Hey man, keep 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 doing what y'all doing down there, man. As long as we win, I don't really care. I don't care what you do off the field. As long as we win, twenty nine straight. That's crazy. Let me see what what else these Seminoles talking about. And then you talk about KJ's tuxedo when you don't even have a tuxedo. Guaranteed, you got to go somewhere and rent a tuxedo. Damn, they hating on Florida and um, on their boards talking about Florida is the number four team in the country in baseball <laughs> just because they beat them that one time. Yeah, make them a baseball school, man. <laughs> I predict I predict ETN to have three touchdowns on them. Against Florida? Yeah. Oh, I don't doubt it. I don't even doubt it. You know what's gonna be funny? Is when ETN score like three, four touchdowns. And Montreal throw probably don't even get one. <laughs> now he'll get one. He'll get one in the end. When we when we up by like twenty five and we start subbing people out, he'll get one. Billy will make sure he get one. Man, that's tough. 
When it's when it's forty two to seven, he'll get one. Just like he kept Mertz in. He kept Mertz in when it was like forty two to seven, forty two to ten. <laughs> he let Mertz play the whole game. <laughs> yeah, so they really trying to do a poll on um, Solomon Thomas. Mike Norville see all that buzz going on. Yeah. My boy say definitely win my options with the recruiting process. It's just, um, but it just feels great to be back home. <laughs> oh boy, I hear Wade his option. That's the same dude that told them he didn't care about recruit. We had a uh tight end from Stanford transfer to us, six five, two forty. So we got six five tight end, six four Kobe Young. It's gonna be a problem, bro. It's definitely gonna be a problem. Yeah. Oh, Ed D said he threw the pick. <laughs> he said, uh, "FSU had no problem with me visiting Florida." Thomas explained, um, "They know they they have to, um, what they have to offer." And they know the relationship between me and them. So it, it was never, a, you can't go there or anything like that. It was just. Yeah, they didn't pull a dabbo. So you can't visit. It was just have fun. The recruiting process is um, only happening once in a lifetime. So take advantage of it. That's what they told me. That's why they always lose recruit. Lying to these kids. Tell them kids that got down true. Hell no, nah, you can't go there. Don't go there. Just like a, Florida, Florida State recruiting is just like a woman. Go on here and have fun with your friends. What they really want to tell you is, no, I want you to go. <laughs> well, that's how that's how women work, though. The more you don't want them to do something, the more they want to do it. But but then when he end up in mommy class, they're gonna be like, man, I see you. I told you that kid weren't serious. Like if you told a chick. I hate when you do this. You gonna want to do it even more. Like, I hate when you clean up. I hate when you cook for me. And that's, that that means that make, that's gonna make her want to do it more. So regarding his visits, um, he shared um three official visits set. The includes trip to LSU on May thirty first, Florida on Jan on June seventh. Florida, they, Florida shouldn't they they shouldn't worry about Florida, but he's setting up multiple visits. <laughs> And FSU on the thirty uh, on the twenty first, which is the final recruiting week um, before the um, summer period ends. Georgia and Miami are two other notable programs battling for Thomas Tyler. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> but hey, man, it be like that. Uh oh. It be like that. Florida State fans, y'all can be delusional if you want to. I mean, y'all better not let them come to Athens. Y'all better, oh, yeah, y'all can't get on y'all that bullshit because y'all ain't got that kind of power. Carson pick him up from Hartsville in the Lambo. Don't let him do it. Don't let him fly in here and Carson pick him up in the Lambo. Man. Okay, we got a real quick scoop. Scrimmage scoop. Let's see what they're talking about by their scrimmage. See what they saying about the scrimmage. Since nobody in Florida State really got no scoop. Since nobody can't really tell me who throw the pick. Uh oh, DJU is giving me Cam Cam Newton vibes. Minus borrowing borrowing someone's laptop. Wow. <laughs> wow. Cam Newton vibes. <laughs> wow. Here goes another one. I think the same. Uh, Hold on, wait. People are asking questions, but nobody has no answers. I hope it's not Cam Newton vibes. Yeah. How did the D tackles play? Nobody has answers. Nobody ain't answering nothing, but none of them don't know that. You get more information. You get more information as the week goes through. You know what I mean? Might, I might have to go check out all the insiders on Twitter. Nah, you'll get you'll get more information coming out. If they just finish the scrimmage today, you'll get more info between tomorrow and like Thursday, you know? Oh, oh, oh we got a comment here. 
DJ U Hosman coming. <laughs> As a matter of fact, let me go ahead and share that so y'all don't think I'm full of shit and I'm making it up. Oh yeah, let me move the um let me move the, the crying seminole out the way real quick so y'all can see it. Look right there, DJ U Hosman coming. Man, that's hilarious, man. I ain't making it up, guys. I promise you, I'm not making this up. Florida State fans be calling me delusional. <laughs> they be calling me delusional. That's crazy. I mean, they said he might win the Heisman if they go 11 to 1 and make the playoffs. That's that's what I'm hearing. Uh oh. Rivals going to be in shambles when DJ throw for 30 plus touchdowns and run for five more next season. Man. Okay. T2, why are you doing this on purpose, man? Man, that's tough. That's tough. Thanks for bringing the water toy, boy, for T, Brandon. Yeah, he ain't bring no damn information. They say, I love where DJ is sitting right now. He seems low on most um, rankings, no respect. Clemson fans think he's the worst. He got the best physical um, tools in the nation. I hope he just tear everyone apart. <laughs> the best <laughs> physical tools in the nation. <laughs> <laughs> they, they confident with their receivers. They confident with their old line now. Keep that same energy. Keep that That's energy. funny, man. We're going to come back in the season, and they're going to tell me all this stuff. I'm making it up. Remember what they were saying in spring now, DJ Bowling. DJ got all the weapons. For Heisman. DJ <laughs> oh, man. Somebody, oh, man. whoever FJJ is, um, playing his potential with Pat um, Farmer and Jackson is potentially scary good. Um, I'm hooked. Championship. <laughs> They call it championship already. Oh, 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 Sarge, they don't outdid you. They don't what? outdid you. They don't outdid you, Sarge. You ain't never said this. 16 and 0. Oh, there we go. 16 and 0. Florida State fans say they going 16 and 0. There we go. I can't make this shit up. I can't make this shit up. 16 and 0. The man threw 21 touchdowns in 12 games. 21. 16 and 0. 16 and 0. 16 and 0. I'm going to say they're going 16 and 0. Oh, my God. It happens, T2I. Amazing. If you're listening in the chat, man, you can't be like me. You can't call 15 and 0 in, in March and April, and then it actually happened. Not a lot of people can do that. I'm the only one that can do that. 16 and 0. Florida State say they're going 16 and 0. Yeah, they trying to bite my swag, bro. I can't make this shit up. Give me my swag back, man. I can't make this shit up. As soon as the schedule drop, I said 15 and 0. And it happened. That's crazy. Man, that's crazy. 16 and 0. What what's your record prediction, T2I? For Florida State? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nine and three. That's what I said. Nine and three. Lost to Miami, lost to Notre Dame, and they're gonna lose to somebody else. There's nothing wrong with going nine and three. They're gonna lose the clips. Nine and three might still get you in the playoffs. <laughs> they gonna lose the clips. Hey, Ed D said somebody sent T to uh, DJ U jersey. <laughs> Man, that's tough. That's tough. Sixteen and 0, 16 and zero. Who does uh, FSU have a receiver? Now that Coleman and the other guy was gone. 
Who do they have at tight end? So they got another guy, um, um, Brady Hart. He's a legacy kid for Florida. He was at Miami. <laughs> He's, he was at Miami. <laughs> so there's two legacy Florida guys, huh? Yeah, that's tough. Man. I say nine and three, maybe eight and four. Like uh, DJ, you might get hurt. Hold on, I got a classic one for y'all. Bam. That's a damn shame. Imagine being clowned by Missouri. Yeah. Damn. Georgia, you know how that feel? Nope. That's a Florida thing. Nope, not at all. I think the last time Missouri beat us was like 2013, 2015. It's been a while. Man. But I heard I heard they're the team to watch this year. You know, they, they got all this talent coming back and they got the quarterback coming back. So they're, the, they're like the sleeper uh, SEC team this year. The Mizzou Tigers. Man. That's some elite recruiting today, you know. Florida don't know nothing about that. Florida State don't know nothing about that. They don't know nothing about that. <laughs> 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 Come boys, hey looking. man! Hey, according to these people on on social media, now we don't we don't give a f about no high school kids. <laughs> 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 Screw the high school kids. We want people out the portal. See if that Michael Redding might transfer, but it don't look like it. Look like he might, he might stay. I think Carmine is gonna transfer. He might have said that. He might have said that on social media, but I think he's gonna transfer. I know Miami don't want him. I mean, he's not playing spring ball at all. No pads, nothing. He's not even with the team, bro. Be like that sometimes. He probably that player Dion was talking about. Yeah, maybe, yeah. That was acting the fool. Dion probably said, Look, you done for spring. Come back, come back when spring is over. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh man. So we started we starting to see all this the photos and everything coming out of Miami camp. Uh, basically all the recruits and stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, Kirby been taking pictures too. Jumping in the helicopter, you know, landing in, landing at high schools. Talking to the high school coaches, you know. Doing them helicopter visits. Does Norvell have his own helicopter? Anybody know? Norvell yeah, was a private jet. Oh, he got a jet? Yeah, but it's so small. I don't even think it's anything private about it. Well, it is private because he don't want it to fit it. But you can't land a jet, you know, on a baseball field. You know what I mean? Yeah. Got him a small little jet. Kirby landed a helicopter, like, right behind the school and walk into the school, you know? I don't know who's out there that was, but I think it's a good thing. Anybody got an ON3 account? They saying they got all the scoop on the Gators Intel from the from the scrimmage on there. I got the R3 app. I don't have an account though.
Hey, crack that head, the crackhead said uh Florida 48, Miami 24. <laughs> yeah. I didn't know he was a gator fan. Where you at? Somewhere small. Right? <laughs> it makes sense though. Yeah, where you at? Crack that head. Where you at? Somewhere small can crack. <laughs> I got beans and bologna. Hey, cr crack the head. Do you eat beans and bologna? Hey, AC, what's going on? My check, my check. Yeah, you probably, you probably, you probably, there you go, there you go. Nah, AC, nah, AC, you echo, bro. You there? You there? Yeah, you ready? You want to come on? Can you still hear the echo? No, I, can't. I had to kick him. I'm oh, okay. Link. I'll put the link in the chat, though. Well, there you go again. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Jay Smith said that's going to be a dirty game between y'all and uh, Florida. It ain't going to be dirty. We're just going to beat them. It ain't going to be dirty. It's going to be clean. Gonna it's going to be clean, clean old-fashioned hate. Man, we about to blow them boys out. In the swamp? In the swamp. What? Yep. Florida fans, are y'all listening? Now look at TJ with that bullshit. Florida trucker, are you listening? Look at TJ with that bullshit. Talking about some point at the best quarterback in the state. That's funny, man. <laughs> I ain't telling DJ you. You say DJ, you the best quarterback in the state. That's tough. What's Boy, all this hype for DJ U for? He ain't played it down for y'all yet. This man ain't. <laughs> oh, God. You got to love Florida State fans. Boy, I tell you. He ain't played one game for y'all yet, and y'all say he about to win the Heisman. But they say we the all-season champs. Yeah, the man ain't even win the job yet, but they declared him the best quarterback in the state. Yeah, they haven't even named him the starter yet. <laughs> oh God, you gotta love Florida fans and Florida State fans. Does he even know the playbook? I don't even think he know the team logo yet. Oh man, that's amazing. Is AC back? The AC join? Who? AC Count C. He said I'm about to join. Yeah, he popped on, but he popped off again. Oh, uh, he got that rental center. <laughs> Man, Florida State most delusional fan has joined the chat. Jay Smith. Jay Smith. <laughs> yeah. He said the Gators gonna score 48 points. They're smoking that. Wacky back giving some up. Yeah. Say so who the heck talk talk shit? The Gators gonna score 48 points. Yeah, that's what I was reading. Back, give me some. <laughs> what the hell? I bet you won't put a hundred dollars on the Gators. I'm taking bets right now. Anybody wanna put a hundred dollars on the Gators? Since oh wow. Hey, hey, Jay Smith, you want to put a hundred dollars on them Gators? Uh, he gonna be like Florida Trucker, man. Does anybody want to put a hundred dollars on them Gators? He gonna be Florida Trucker Part Two. I already got no three three five two saying that uh, Manny gonna beat um, Mario for a hundred. Anybody else want to bet on the Gators too? I don't think so. Jay Smith, speak loud forever. All your peace. Since you're so confident that they're gonna score 48 points on us, Jay Smith, where you at? So on it right now. Any anybody, any Florida fan that think that y'all gonna beat us, y'all gonna put up a hundred on it. Put a hundred, put a hundred in the chat right now. <laughs> Florida trucker, where you at? Let's where you at? 
So we're smoking crack. <laughs> Jay Smith, where you at, man? Yep. In the trap. Smoking crack. <laughs> uh, <laughs> On another note, my boy Zayden, Zayden and Walker. One of the best linebackers in the country right now out of high school. Bulldog. Yeah, the you. Could have been Schumann. anywhere in the country today, but he chose Schumann. to be Yep, Schumann. Schumann already got a hold of him, T2. I don't worry about him, bro. AC, how you on here twice? AC, you jumped in twice, bro. You cut yourself in half. And you ain't speaking on neither one of them. AC must, don't don't know how to work the uh, stream yard. Yeah, he must he must got one of them first time um them first time androids. Yeah, well he got that peanut renaissance phone. I see Jay Smith don't want to bet nothing now. Nah. Talking about the Gators gonna drop forty eight. You don't want to put no money on. No, nah, of course not. You know damn well. <laughs> I'm just trying to see how how if you got DJU as your quarterback, you say you're gonna go eleven and one and make the playoffs. Hey, see you there. My check, my check, AC. Yo, what's good, y'all boys? <coughs> what's up, man? You finally came man. through, man. Bro, man, my AirPods acting up, bro. I'm trying to hit up TTY all week. That man been trolling them Seminoles all week, bro. Yeah, man, we've been talking about y'all, man. Do you think y'all gonna go 11 and one and make the playoffs? Ah. Oh, hold on. So that's two interceptions that was thrown today. Who threw them interceptions? Talking about uh, DJ. Talking about Florida State had two interceptions. Yeah, I had. Two At the scrimmage, it was two interceptions thrown. Two that. <laughs> Two that Brock we know of. Two of them that we know of. So basically, hold on, let me share it. So your guy, um, Jabril Rose, Rose or whatever his name is, he had a pick too. Interception, fourth down stop. You got a pick. That's in the That's screen. screen. This is this report. report. Um, no, no, you got to go. You got to go. You got to go. All right, eight. AC, whatever you did when you first came in, leave it like that. Cause right now you're hearing echoes. Where, 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 where? Yeah, I don't know what's up. My AirPods it ain't connecting, but uh, so he caught one. Who else? Who else caught one? Charles Lester. Oh, Charles the beast, man. Say so, hey, that. That look like to me two interceptions. That's a pretty good day. Well, who threw him though? Y'all did DJ you throw the interceptions? Probably. They said DJ had a good day. I'm, I'll put my money on probably. That's what I'm saying. Probably. Luke probably threw one. And they say he had a good day, so I don't think he the one that threw them two picks. So who threw them picks? Well, maybe only two picks is a good day. And that's only two that we know of. Right, like, right. Like some more because the, the news is coming out. Like maybe if he usually throw like four or five, only two interceptions, that's a good day. Hey, man, all I know, they said offense took a big step forward today. They said offense had a good day. <laughs> Receiver stepped up today. Who y'all got a wide receiver? Uh, we got a lot of people. We got uh, we got Hakeem Porter, uh, Williams. Uh, who else? What about Taylor. tight ends? Y'all got any tight ends? Uh, more lot that transfer, and then we got Brian Courtney. That's the that's the thin part. You're gonna have a lot of youngins that's gonna have to step up this year. Try to prove we got themselves. You. We got oh, you. Five stars, Zayden on uh, linebacker Zayden Walker calls Miami. Interest a nine point five out of ten after Saturday's visit. Yeah, but when it's time for him to sign T two Y, you know he's gonna be running that red Georgia hat. Georgia, Georgia. Hey T T Y, how many people y'all had at y'all uh visit today? How many people was on y'all camp today? About ten, maybe. Nah, hell no. Nah. I seen that earlier today. <laughs> about, I want to say about forty something, fifty. What? About forty something, fifty. How many y'all gonna get? How many y'all sign? It's, it's like that question they asked back in the day. How many licks does it take to get to the center of a Tootsie Pop? The world may never know. Uh, man, I ain't about to. We'll see. They're going to they gonna have to listen to that record this year. Y'all boys go seven and five, seven, 
We ain't doing that. We're not. What do you think? What do you think, uh, AC? What do you think y'all record gonna be? Uh, that's tough, bro. Because you know we could lose that. Honestly, we could lose that SMU game. Could lose the clean. <laughs> oh, if y'all lose that. Oh, SMU. Hold on, Sarge. Hold on. Let this man cook. Let him cook. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, you gotta be honest, bro. I, ain't gonna, I think we beat SMU, but honestly, Clemson gonna be tough. I think we lose two games. I think I think we either lose two to, two or one games. But honestly, hey, hey, look, T two, while we have a non delusional FSU fans. Hold on, hold on, he's not delusional because he said only two. Yeah, I say two, bro. I think I think we I think we get it done in Texas. I think it's either gonna be Notre Dame or Clemson. Y'all gotta play be, Texas. No, I said Notre Dame or Clemson. Okay, no, yeah, we play SMU. Uh, Talking about beating SMU in you know um, Texas, but they in Texas. Yeah, that's gonna be cause, you know, hey, that's probably gonna be their Super Bowl when they play us, man. You know, SMU ain't no joke. So you scared of SMU? You scared of Red Lashley and them boys? Hey, bro, SMU got so I saw the team. Hey, I want to see what y'all going to do. Yeah, they got a whole bunch of hurricanes on that. I know why you scared. Hey, before you talk, big, y'all got to take care of Georgia Tech now. I want to see. I know why you scared. You saw that. You saw that lined up and said, "Damn, they got a lot of hurricanes on their team." Nah, I ain't even got nothing to do with that. Who plays Georgia Tech in Ireland? Y'all play Georgia Tech in Ireland, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a dub. We take care. You saying that's a dub? That's a dub. What? That's a dub, bro. I can't even troll. I think they'll beat them too. You think y'all don't think George Tech will beat y'all? Nah, nah, man. We 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 got way I more security. Ain't, ain't we gonna troll. Florida State gonna have the business in that one. All right, let me get a score prediction. So we probably gonna 20, be first game of the season. Twenty-eight to twenty-seven. 24-13. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, AC, I'm let, the let me get a score prediction, T2. I, I mean, AC. Yeah, Florida State told me a win's a win, man. Let me get a score 20, prediction, AC. 24-13, bro. 24-13 over Ireland. Mm-hmm. Well, that's what I say, bro. 24-13. Yeah, uh, no interceptions from DJ. Uh, I don't know. I gotta see how I gotta see how Georgia Tech defense. All y'all way back to America, y'all could put out the excuse that them boys ain't never been on a plane before. <laughs> <laughs> but we ain't gonna we ain't got no excuses, bro. We ain't gonna make no excuses like y'all did, man. We ain't, okay, we, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you what Georgia Tech is doing right now, right? You know what they're doing? They're watching that that game when when DJ you played Georgia and we sacked him seven times. And he never knew what coverage we was in. That's what Georgia Tech's doing right now. They watching that film. Man, they can't do that. That's an old. That's the old film, man. They they got to look at. You got to mix that with Mike Novell offense. No, Mike you're gonna watch the team that shut him down. That he didn't score a touchdown against. You're gonna do exactly the same thing that they did. I don't know. I think Mike. I think you ain't gonna stop Mike offense. It's gonna be whether the defense gonna step up. I think Mike okay. offense gonna be straight. Okay, crack that head. Let me screenshot this. He said 42 to 27 FSU over Georgia Tech. Who said that? I ain't that confident. I, I said 20. Crack. I said, no, no, I said, 20. I said that's 24. Not, that's not out of the range, though. That might happen. Bro, you think DJ you go score 42 points in his first game? Bro, we got we, – I don't it, know, bro. Our receiving – we got a lot of running backs and a lot of receivers. This like, is Georgia Tech talking about. They we are deep at receiver. This is first game of the year against another team in a new offense, new offensive coordinator. And you y'all think he go drop forty two points? I think I said twenty four. I ain't said no forty. I, okay, I don't very think, good. I don't think right. we yeah, get twenty four. Sounds more reasonable. I said twenty four thirteen. That's what I said. That, that's my. I, I'll take that. I'll take that to Vegas. Damn, Missouri just dropped Floyd on their head again. They had a double double hitter today, double game today. So Missouri beat them twice. Missouri beat them twice. Dropped them on their head twice. That's that's for baseball for y'all. Yeah, I should be watching this final four. I think DJU. Who y'all play after Georgia Tech? I don't even know. I think we play a a trash team. I think. I think we got like a, a easy game after that. Okay. Okay, if we if we beat Georgia Tech, I think we should be good. I, I forgot. I think we should be good for our first four games if we beat Georgia Tech. I think I think Georgia Tech beats y'all, and then y'all gonna want y'all gonna be calling for the other backup, the redshirt freshman. Yeah, 
Talking about Luke? Nah, man, Luke got to try and get trained up, man. He he looked good, but Brock gonna play. I think game. I think Georgia Tech beats y'all that first game. Man, Georgia Tech got the athletes. Bro, they got plenty of athletes. They got one of the best receivers in the nation, and their quarterback come back. Yeah, you think they, Florida State that trash? Bro, I think I think Georgia Tech beats them that first game. Man, you don't we've been stacking recruiting classes, bro. We so we got Georgia Tech. No, no, nowhere near how they supposed to be. Nowhere near to beat Florida State. Georgia State Georgia Tech is still at that bottom half of the ACC. They ain't got they still munching on three stars around there, man. They ain't got what they need. They trenches is not even where it's supposed to be. They have a good defensive line. That big, one, one of their probably their best linemen is going to be probably a transfer that didn't play for us. That's probably going to be one of their top uh, D line. I think they got possible. one of the fastest receivers in the nation. I mean, we got DBs. I ain't worried about defensive backs. That, that, that ain't what we worried about. It's their coach's second year in, with the team. I mean, he, he pretty much turned the program around his first year. Now, this is his second year. I will say he's a good coach, but he ain't got the dogs. Dang, I hope buddy blows me. I don't know, man. I think that's a close game. I think it comes down to like maybe a late score or a late last second field goal. I don't know. I think our offense is better than that, man. We we But do you know who your quarterback is? Yeah, DJU. We but you got faith in this you got faith in this guy? Yeah, bro. I, oh, I got faith in Mark Novell. Mark Novell is a, a quarterback. Oh, okay. So you got faith in Mike, but not DJU. Well, I got I got faith that Mike gonna set DJ up to do what he's supposed to do. That's what I got faith. If he can turn Jordan Travis and the way he turned Jordan Travis into, I'm confident that he can do what he need to do with, with, with DJU. You know he was eight and four as a starter last year, right? At Oregon State. Yeah, that's Oregon State though. We got twenty one touch. 21 touchdowns, seven interceptions. Oh, we could do we can we could do that. We, we can work we can work with that. What like 2,600 yards passing? Bro, we can work with that. We got better receivers, better running backs. Okay. So 21 touchdowns in 12 games. Sarge, I know you see it, Sarge. Zayden yeah, Walker. I'm looking at it. I'm looking Zayden at Walker it. Who is that? Zayden Walker said it. Everything you need is here. TT, I want to see what I want to see that Miami versus Florida game. That's gonna be. The... Hey, crack that headset. I see Clemson upset in Georgia by two. Any game Miami play, in the world gonna want to see it. But you know we got crack that head. Crack that head. I guarantee you won't put a rusty nickel on that game. I'm talking about Clemson versus uh Georgia, that first yeah, you know, game. You know I'm be rooting for Clemson. Uh, yeah, of course you go root for Clemson, right, but you hey, know what's gonna happen to him. I don't. I, I clearly, Dabble, let me see what that boy do. I just hope he keep it close. I think he'll yeah. keep it close. Kirby, Kirby will make sure he keep it close. Cause we'll sub our guys out. Now, our first you game see, of the season, y'all gonna want to get established. You see Everybody. what happened to Oregon? You see what happened to Oregon that first game of the season? The same thing will happen to Clemson. <laughs> I trust. I, I trust Clemson more defensively, bro. Georgia Georgia might have their best offense in school history this year. You think I have your best offense? We might have the best offense in school history. Who who, who, who catching the ball for y'all this year? They, so they got it set up now where it's going to be what? North Car- South Carolina versus Iowa? For the yeah, league. South Carolina versus Iowa for the championship. We got league. Arian Smith who runs a 10.1400 meter, bro. He, he, we still got put, Dominic. We still got Dominic Lovett. We still got Rara Ra Thomas. We still got Kobe Young. We still got the best receiver from Vandy Humphreys. He runs like a ten point five hundred meter. Bro, we might have this. Might be the best offense we ever seen, bro. I don't know, man. Georgia is always defense. That's what make y'all great, bro. Y'all, y'all, we y'all, averaged y'all. forty points a game last year. Forty. Yeah. Man, I don't know. I, I, I don't know if it's gonna be y'all best offense. I think y'all gonna be right around the same. Y'all might no. take a step. I think y'all might. Step, I think y'all might take a step back. Think about it though. Brock and Lad was hurt almost all season, bro. Right. And our offense didn't fall off from twenty two to twenty three. It didn't fall off at all. I think y'all good for taking a step back though. I don't know why. 
But that's what I heard. That's what I heard last year, though. We went 13 and 1. Oh, no. I already knew y'all going to be straight. I, I, fit, I thought last year was going to be our best offense because. I think you projected right now. Okay, you know, Florida State going to take a step back. So you projected. Right <laughs> oh, we straight. I think Florida State is going to take a. I think Florida State. We're going to probably take a small step bro, back. I, I think DJU is going to be our worst nightmare, bro. <laughs> But man, he ain't, we ain't got a problem pulling him. We got two options sitting on that bench. Two two. I remember when Sylvester Stallone was like, "I'm your worst nightmare." <laughs> I think y'all gonna have y'all gonna have nightmares of DJ. You throwing interceptions, bro. Don't say it. I thought they said he do a good job of not turning the ball over. That's what I heard. He had seven picks in twelve games. He could he could have had ten to twelve. I mean, how many Cam through last year? I didn't look up Cam stats. I'm talking about DJU. He had seven picks in twelve games. I could do with seven picks. That's less than that's less than a pick. What the fuck? What like point three, point five? I, I could do I could do seven picks. Twelve. He games. played in the Pac-12 when nobody plays defense. Hey man, some somebody there playing defense. I could do seven picks. That's still that's still decent. Seven picks. If you telling me all you gonna do is throw, you gotta think. Jameis Winston was good for a pick a game when he played with us, and he was he won the Heisman. We can deal with seven picks. Hey, Jay Smith said y'all won't average forty. Y'all won't average forty points against Florida State this year. <laughs> yeah, we averaged sixty three points. Against y'all. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we had thirty five at halftime. Hey Jay Swift, man, you should be able to. Hey, you matter of fact, just take take the G or just pick up your keyboard, and take the G off the keyboard, man. Just remove the G key, dog. Damn. As a matter of fact, don't even mention nothing about the dogs. Who exactly, man. Don't even say Don't even <laughs> who let the dogs out. Yeah, man. <laughs> just take your whole wardrobe, right? Just lay it out. Everything that's red and black, just throw it away, man. Ridiculous, man. Y'all won't average 40 points. Yeah, we average 63, bro. Can't speak for next year. I think we was fully healthy, but I can't speak for next year. I'm just saying, man. If DJ used your quarterback, bro, I feel for y'all, man. Y'all hyping this dude up. Y'all hyping this dude up. He ain't played a game yet, man. I ain't hyping him. I just think he's gonna be solid. I think he. I just think we just need somebody to drive the boat. We don't need nobody. Was you Was you here in the in the in the uh, chat when uh, the guy on the message board said he's gonna win the Heisman? Oh no, I ain't saying all that. See, I ain't gonna lie. No Florida State fan saying all that. Uh, that. That's one of them. That's one of them extreme fans. I'm a realist. I promise you, ain't nobody on no Florida State message board saying DJ gonna win no Heisman. We just think he's gonna be solid. There's a guy in the chat right now that that would say that y'all win the net. Yeah, yeah, he said y'all winning the net. He said y'all going seventeen and zero or sixteen and zero winning the netty. I gotta see. I gotta see the team on paper. I gotta see the first game first before I, before I give it. Now. Yeah, that's why I gotta see DJU play first before I say all this stuff about DJU. Y'all gonna go eleven and one and make the playoffs. I, I do what I schedule. I think we can go eleven and one. I think we could drop one game because of that Clemson and Notre Dame game. But uh, I mean, we definitely can get to the playoffs. But like I said, I need to see. The, I need to see that first game first to see how all this offense do. If y'all lose to SMU, y'all not making the playoffs. I just want to let you know. Oh, right, that's our only loss. That's not going to be our only loss if y'all lose to them. <laughs> I mean, you can everybody can drop a game, but shoot, it's twelve spots this year. They probably gonna let two teams in the ACC. They probably gonna let two teams in the ACC slide in, depending oh, on. Jay Smith said, "A thousand percent make the playoffs." That's a gimme. Jay, Jay Smith Ward had game. nine interceptions last year. Yeah, he had nine. nine interceptions. How many touchdowns? What I see. I didn't look at that part. Oh, so you just look at the bad. <laughs> Hey, we asked about interception. We asked about how many touchdowns did he throw against um, DJU? Like four. How many touchdowns did he have? You gotta you gotta count touchdowns and interceptions. You can't just look at the interceptions and oh, 
He had nine interceptions last year. You got to look at touchdowns, too. Oh, he had four. Hey, famous squad said, I want y'all to know that uh, Jeremiah Smith is him. Too bad it's not for y'all. Shout out to Jeremiah Smith, man. You made you made a one hand catch, man, in practice. Congratulations. <laughs> nah, that boy is looking nasty, yo. Yeah, but he got locked up by Ellis Robinson, though. Oh, oh for real, man. man. You know, they, bro, you know, Ohio State fan pages, they, they pumping, they, they boosting him up right now. Yeah, but just, just go on YouTube. Type in Ellis Robinson versus Jeremiah Smith. He got locked down. Like recently or just in high school? In high school. Oh, nah, man. It ain't gonna lie. We, I'm, I'm talking about now. Now, that boy looks... Well, it's like, look, it was like five months ago. Okay, five months ago. Hey, five months ago, I'm just... Well, but based off that practice film, they boosted him right now. He looked... I, I, that two-hand grab he had between what, Josh Downs in the other corner, he looked like he's getting started reps. <laughs> Oh, okay. Makati Kane said FSU will lose at least three games. Trust me. Ask him what's the three years. What's, what's the three games? Miami. No. Notre Dame. I ain't gonna lie. Y'all, y'all, y'all host, y'all host season TTY gonna go based off that first game in Florida. Y'all dropped that first game. If that's the case, I can win. say the same thing about Georgia Tech. If that's the case, we win in all the games. Yeah, I can say lose, the same thing about Georgia Tech. No, nah, Mike, no, nah, Mike, too good of a coach to let one game and find the whole season. That's funny, man. He, he too good of a coach to let one game. Well, his good. his coaching his his coaching performance the last time we seen him was not not a happy sight, bro. Man, we ain't, we ain't getting into the details. You know, details whether you want to look at them or not. Everybody know the details of that. But based off that whole season, Mike's coaching. Solid. He he's not gonna let one damn destroy the season. All right. When he was in Miami, though. Oh, time out, time out. Flag on the play. So Mike ain't gonna let one game ruin the season. No, that's right. The last game I saw Mike, that one game ruined the season. That was one. That was the last game of the season. Yeah, it ruined the season. No, no, no. But you know, T2Y, we break a lot of teams. A lot of teams not the same after they play us. That's a contradiction right there. Because last time I saw Mike play, that last game ruined that season. Man, that last game ruined a lot of stuff. That last game ruined recruiting. 13 and 0 before that last game. It definitely I I think 13 and 0 is 13 and 1 is a successful season. But, you know, that's just me. But that one though, that one though, hey, hey, that one, hey, that one, one was the one. <laughs> Think about it. How many people in this chat can say their team only had one loss? I can't. That one loss though. <laughs> one loss. You're right. On, on, on hey, so, you you had one loss last year. What was that one loss? What was the score? Uh, twenty-seven, twenty-four. Hey, Florida State fan, what was y'all one loss? What was the score? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, 20, it was 24 to 21. My bad. 24 to 21. Love pulling up that 63 to 3 with all them backups. That's what I'm saying. That one game. That's all it took. Hey, man. Like I said, I would have loved to see what it would look like with the starters, but we ain't get it. So I, I, I done moved on now. 2024, what you got for? I try to tell y'all, man. Y'all starters. I'm just saying, after we, after we play teams, a lot of teams aren't the same after they play Georgia. They're uh, just not. I didn't hear good motivation. I, I, I feel I feel confident they'll be straight. I, I mean, I'm confident in the rest of y'all roster, but I'm just not confident in DJU, man. I'm sorry. They they was listening to um Drake after um Florida State got they worked got with the Drake. Nothing was the same. After that game, nothing was the same. Young Seminole, you talking about Sarge had a loss, bro? Are you are you are you really talking about a loss? Y'all had the most epic loss in bowl history. How long have bowls been around? Like a hundred some years? What are you talking about, Young Seminole? Oh, speaking of a hundred and some years, I got a fun fact for y'all. Florida been playing football for one hundred and thirteen years, and they ain't never went undefeated. Yes, that's, that's true. 
They got three chips. Never went undefeated. That's tough. They never gone undefeated. That's true. Hey man, you, you tell me. Imagine, well, imagine that for 113 years, you at least caught a loss every year. Hey man, you tell me I get an after championship out of it. I'm straight. You think Patrick Mahomes complaining? Man, that's NFL. I'm talking hey, about man, college. that's what it, that's what it's basically going to. You you about to get in the playoffs and have multiple I mean, losses. How many teams do you know got three championships and all of them came with a L? Most championship teams are undefeated now. Right. Well, <laughs> don't you got a championship. Them boys don't call an L in every championship. <laughs> Hey, an after championship though, you you, you tell. I, I mean, I'll yeah, take in twenty one, we had a loss, and we still won it all. No, I said I did. I did. You, you gonna devalue that championship? Oh, wait a minute. What is going on in Miami right now? Hold on. What is going on in Miami right now? I might have transferred out. What is going on in Miami right now? Who is that? That's the problem. That's the prostitute. Wait a minute. Uh, T2Y, be careful. You don't want Miss T2Y to see this. Hold up. Wait a minute now. That's the recruiting coordinator. Yeah, Seminole, you said don't nobody care about how we beat y'all. The, the history books care. Oh, we made oh. history. What? It is etched in stone for forever. Florida Gators could never. Florida State could never. They ain't got nothing like that in their gyms. <laughs> yeah, I need to find out who that was, man. They ain't got none of that in their gyms. I need to. I need the Instagram. All the, all the girls at Florida State eat toothpicks. <laughs> <laughs> Hold up, wait a minute. God damn. So you think you think y'all gonna get that linebacker T2I? You don't think he's gonna be in Athens? No, nah, I'm gonna say I'm gonna watch the recruit play out. You'll never yeah. know. You never know. It's kind of early think. right now. It's kind of early right now, but I think if he I think if he come in and, and get with Schumann, man, I think I say 50 50, man. I give yeah. it a 50, 50 chance. He's, got, he's visited the Miami, but he got plenty of visits to go through. So yeah, yeah. I I practice what I preach. Recruiting is a marathon. I mean, we are deep at linebacker, especially middle linebacker. So Kirby's not going to tell him he's going to come in to play right away. You know what I'm saying? See, I learned my lesson last year. We got Armando Blunt to commit to us. Then he flipped to Florida State. And then Florida State fans thought they had him, and then he signed with Miami. It happens, man. It happens. Too early. All the Florida State fans thought they were going to get KJ. You know, you know which fan base don't never learn? They like a box of rocks, the Florida Gators. They never learn that recruiting is a marathon. Every time they get a visit, oh, we got him. He's a Gator lock. <laughs> Oh, he, he put on our jersey. He's coming here. <laughs> See, you ain't got to worry about that in recruiting with Florida State because they ain't, they ain't no high school recruiting team. They have more of a Porter guy. I recruit straight. If you see something jump in the Porter, first place you got to look at is Florida State. They fans will go crazy. I wonder why. <laughs> Florida State fans, were y'all happy when DJU transferred to y'all? I mean, when, he got, when he got on campus, were y'all happy? Yeah, it was straight. It was solid. I ain't got a lot to you tell me to tell you we ain't want Cam Ward, but we also want the person that want to be in the program. Did y'all want Cam Ward or did y'all want DJU? Just be honest. We wanted Cam. Everybody tell you that we wanted Cam. But well, why is Cam, Cam the problem now that he's at Miami? Why yeah, does all no the problem? Cam was the month. Cam was chasing. Why does all the interceptions and the fumbles matter now? Because if y'all wanted him clearly. It wouldn't have been an issue, but since he's at Miami, it's an issue. Well, we was realistic. We said that when we said that even when we wanted Cam, we we they, they, every page told you about the fumbles that he's going, that the problems he's going to come with. We said both quarterbacks weren't perfect, but we we were both honest about what their flaws was. 
But y'all would have accepted Cam if he wanted to go to FSU, right? Yeah, for sure. We would have took Cam. Yeah. Okay, I got you. Yeah, ain't nobody, ain't, ain't nobody gonna tell you. Everybody knew everybody would shoot for Cam, but honestly, the way Mark run the program, he also won players that wanted to be there. DJ wanted to be there. He looked like he came in, he's ready to work. So he took DJ. He took DJ. Cause Mike, he cared about his locker room more than winning. Well, nah, not about the even, but he cared about that locker room chemistry. That's one thing all the Alabama guys said. They said they love the locker room. They're enjoying it more than Alabama right now. Man, tell, tell me, what is going on at Florida State like right now? Who is this? Who is this? This is one of y'all quarterback targets. This can't be real. Who is that? Brandy. It's a high. It's definitely a high school kid. Brady. Brady. Some single or whatever the name is. I think that's that kid we looking at. But we already got a high school commit um, for the quarterback. His name right there, Brady. This can't. This, it can't be real. This can't be real. This can't. Hold on. This can't be real. This can't be y'all quarterback. Talking about a bad picture. And y'all guys really posted it, too. Y'all don't care he's about it. He's just a normal high school kid. Man, y'all don't care about that kid, man. Why would he probably, y'all, why would y'all he's probably 16, 17 years old. He's just a kid. Man. The guy had to be going through his camera roll and say, let me not do this kid like this. Ain't no way in hell I would post that picture of that kid like that. What the hell? <laughs> My boy look like you. You know what? Let's move on. Let's keep it. Let's keep it moving. Let's keep it moving. <laughs> why, why, why y'all doing kids like that, man? Why why post that picture? Of all the photos y'all got of him, why that one? They just caught him at a bad moment, T2. I caught him at a but, bad but moment. But still though, you gotta anything I post, I look at it before I post it. I'm sorry, but the kids look, look like the R word right there. Like Why won't he name uh, DJU as a starter, T2I? They did. They didn't. No, they didn't. Bro, it ain't no battle. It is a battle. Man, it's a battle. With they said it clearly earlier. I was reading all this stuff. Mike it's, a, it's a battle, but it man, ain't. Go back and listen to Mike Norvell, man. Coach said it's a battle. It's a battle. Man, we all know it ain't no battle. It's DJU, and yeah, he don't get I, right. We right. all don't know nothing, because I heard out of Mike Norvell's mouth that it's a battle. That's what he so posted. If said. Mike Norvell says it's a battle, I'm going to take his word over yours, man. I mean, that's what you supposed to say. That's the coach. That's the that's, the, that's coach speak. Okay. That's coach speak. That's what you're supposed to say. Listen, man. That man threw them three picks in the first game in, in um, Ireland, and y'all put it in the back. I'm going to believe Mike Norvell, man. You think he's gonna throw three picks against Georgia Tech? I mean, you said Georgia Tech gonna win, so I gotta run with something. Yeah, but I don't think he's gonna throw three picks, bro. <laughs> you gonna do something? I might give him one, but not three, man. That man listen, that man told me that DJ is gonna lose the game against Georgia Tech. Yeah, I think they're gonna lose. Only way I can see it happen if he throw like three picks. No, nah, I think he loses. I think Tech scores or they kick a game winning field goal or something. But I, th- I think it's gonna be a battle. True. You also, you also got Mike Norville telling me that it's a quarterback battle still going on, and DJ only had eight practices so far. So, it's, hey, I'm gonna go with what the coach said. We'll see, man. I think Georgia Tech gonna shock them though. It's gonna it's gonna take one game for them to recover after what we did to. Them. Hold on, hold on. Hey, babe, babe, what? Come here. 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 Let me show you something. What's up? If you sound all that noise. 
No, 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 no. no. Look, look, look at that. Look. Yeah, I see that shit before. You can do that. <laughs> Man, hold on. I, I don't know if I can show y'all this, but I'm gonna show it to y'all real quick. Check this out. Check this out. You see that, Sarge? Yeah, I saw that, man. All right, that's enough. Let me stop. That's motivation right there, man. Yeah. That's crazy. Oh, we lost, we lost AC. Man, y'all told that man they were gonna lose in, lose in Ireland. And we lost. <laughs> hey, hey, Jay Smith is confident, man. He said, put your money where your mouth is. Uh, Georgia Tech gonna beat Florida State. <laughs> You gonna bet him? Hey, yeah, man. I'm gonna bet you. No, no, no. Don't bet him yet. Don't bet him, Sarge. If whatever you bet, Sarge, you gotta match it against Miami versus Florida. All right. Because if you want to take the bet that y'all gonna beat Georgia Tech and you gonna come on here and tell me we're gonna lose to Florida and they're gonna score 48 on us, you gotta put that in the bet too. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Yeah, Jay Smith, man, he's been top, typing a bunch of hot garbage in the comments. <laughs> That's all he do when we talk, talking that crazy mess. Yeah, man. <laughs> he burning leaves in the comments. <laughs> he said he got a bad shirt coming from me. Go on, go on my Twitter, and I'll send you the address. Go on my Twitter, I'll send you the address. Hey, Jay Smith, do you think y'all going to win the national championship? <laughs> With DJU. <laughs> any any of y'all Florida State fans that want to send gear, hit me up on Twitter and I'll send you um the address. Oh, you say you're gonna send me a DJU jersey? That's tough. But um, as you can see on the screen, my Twitter is right there, man. Just go on my Twitter and send me a shoot me a message. I'll send you guys the address. We definitely need a um orange bowl uh champion shirt or hoodie or t-shirt with 63 yeah, three that way, that way all them florida um the florida state fans on twitter talking about something you ain't gonna do it i got the um the gear coming the fans are sending the gear so shut your mouth talk to hey, hey jay smith on on this uh georgia tech florida state game i bet you 63 dollars and 36 <laughs> Oh, Lord, Florida State got a space going on right now. Let's see what they talking about. Oh, I should go in here anonymous. I got a $63.30 bet on that. Let me go in here anonymous. I don't want them to know why that I'm in the chat because they might try to kick me. Of course, bro. So I heard he had a day, man. What the fuck, y'all? Yeah, buddy, I, that's what they saying. Yeah, they, they eating pepperoni. And milk. They say they had a fumble recovery too. Yeah, I say because look at the, the the picture they the, the picture the the, the, page. the picture he holding the ball yeah. though without yeah. the face. Book was giving play by play. He didn't say much about Colin. He just seen him. Nah, because they talking about more than just a lot of points. They talking about the whole man. You forgot they do goal line. They do third line. There's a lot going on. Man, I yeah, he implement. He implement. Yeah, yeah. Like, he spent some time with me. Hey, he, he, he got to get this road, you know. Man, they ain't talk about that. No <laughs> they came down here. I thought they were talking about. They, they ain't talking about no sports. Oh well. Yes. So why I say, oh, we say Florida State is listening. Oh, that's why. Oh, man. So Miami Benz, if they got the best team in the state right now. Uh, I mean, we'll, we'll find out. I mean, we're definitely going to find out. I think you got the best quarterback. But team-wise, I don't know for sure. But we'll definitely find out. Got a better old line than Florida State and Florida too. Billy said, Billy said the old line. Florida, Florida only got one wide receiver right now, and that's um, Trey Wilson, um, Eugene Wilson. Yeah, Eugene Wilson. Yeah, that's the only guy they really have right now. All yeah. the other guys they've been naming, none of them ain't really sparking nothing. 
No, no, man, got no kind of acting. Mm -hmm. You're telling me about Ed the Gene. And the Gene been hurt his whole career at Florida. That man came and caught like one pass, and on his next play, he got injured or something like that. Right, right. So I can't take Florida fans serious when they tell me about their receivers. They ain't did nothing. They be trying to crack jokes on Restrepo, but Restrepo, hey, he's a consistent guy. Restrepo shows you he's reliable. He shows you he'll make the hard catches. He shows you he'll he'll go uh, the distance. All the Gainesville geckos just disappeared. After we beat them down, man, they just disappeared, bro. I honestly think y'all really broke them boys. Because they really yeah. they, they lost four straight after they lost the y'all. Yeah, what if that happens? What if that happens to Florida State? <laughs> what, if, what if Florida State start off 0 and 4? <laughs> I don't really see it happening, but it would be funny. <laughs> after, after you after you lose to us, do you lose four now straight the, games after that? The real the real thing is, will Florida lose to both Miami, Florida State, and UCF? Oh wow! Because I I don't, I don't know too much about UCF, but Florida ain't that. Florida ain't good. We're just gonna say it. Florida ain't, ain't they ain't good. So if they lose to UCF, I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah, yeah. But if they if they lose to uh, Georgia Tech, then I don't I don't know what time it'll be stateside. You know what I'm saying? But I definitely need you to go live if they lose to Georgia Tech. So I can hear all the excuses, you know. That's crazy as hell, though. I don't think we'll ever find out who threw the picks today. Who's going to win the SEC? Uh, not us. We're not going to win. Like, Y'all, y'all conference is loaded this year. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll be between Texas and Missouri. Damn, boy. This is exactly what's going to happen um, when Miami beat Florida. This is exactly what's going to happen. What's going to happen? Hold on. Let me show you. This, this is like a metaphor right here. I can't believe this is perfect. All the Gator fans going to be in spaces just turning on each other. This is exactly. They're going to be eating each other. Oh. It's going to be Gator on Gator crime. Gate on get a crown, huh? How they gonna let Miami come into the swamp and beat us by 30? I told y'all Billy ain't it, and then the other guy's gonna be like Billy were out there doing the one missing all them tackles. Billy right. that dick was dropping the ball. Right. The ones that not making the tackles and they catch the ball. They're gonna be cussing each other out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Somebody's gonna get laid up in them spaces. They're gonna be I mean, in as soon as they see a profile that ain't a gator boy, you getting kicked out. <laughs> if, if Florida State loses to Georgia Tech, then I'm gonna be here to to hear all the excuses. I don't think that's happening. I feel like it's gonna happen, man. Don't get me wrong, I would love to see it, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Because think about it, all them third and fourth stringers that supposedly played against us. They they're they're first and second string now. I still the SEC this year, man. It's, it's so much expectations in there, though. Yeah, but we all got to play. Y'all did away with the East and West and all that stuff, right? Yeah, it's over with. So, 
based on schedule, who got the best chance to make it? That's the thing. Like, we all play each other now, so you really can't tell. I mean, we have one of the toughest schedules in the nation. We have to go to Texas. We have to go to Ole Miss. We have to go to Alabama. You know what I'm saying? So I'm saying outside of y'all, who got the best, the next best chance? Texas. If y'all let Texas come in here and win the SEC on the first try, that's going to be crazy. Nick they Saban, might, man. Nick they Saban might. Welcome out of retirement. They might, man. They got a, they got a lot of talent, man. And then we have to we have to go all the way over there to play them. You know what I'm saying? But the only thing about us is we got we got championship on the mind. Like we don't care about a SEC title. You know what I'm saying? Like we don't care who wins the SEC. As long as we get into the playoffs, we could care less about a SEC championship. Man, the luxury, y'all, y'all, y'all are so spoiled. Y'all get the luxury to say that. It's the truth, though. Like, who cares if you can have a thousand? You have a thousand SEC titles, but if you don't win a natty, it doesn't matter. Yeah, man. I know teams that win their conference thirteen and zero and can't even get in the playoffs. (laughs) And y'all talking about y'all don't even need to win the conference. That's tough. Yeah. That's tough, right there. Yeah. Ah, damn. Them boys can't even. Them boys can't even get in with a conference title undefeated. Yeah. And my boys said they don't even care about the um a SEC championship. Man, that's tough. <laughs> we don't. Like it's good to win it. You know, it's a confidence booster. But which one would you would you would you rather win the SEC and then lose in the Natty, or win the win the Natty and lose in the SEC? You see what I'm saying? And we've done both. We won. We won the SEC, and then lost in the Natty, and then we lost the SEC and won in the Natty. Man. Man. So I would rather have a national championship. I don't give a crap about my SEC championship. Yeah, that's crazy. Would you rather have a uh, freaking eighty-seven Corvette or a freaking twenty-four Lambo? You know what I'm saying? I don't care about no SEC championship. Man, like I said, you got the luxury to say that because you won without it. Yeah, I mean, we think about it, man. We won back to back titles, but that's 20 years of celebrating, bro. Shit, 40 years of misery. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 40 years of misery, but now. Now we got we, we popping champagne until 2041, bro. We got 20 years of celebration left. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's tough to be up there in Tallahassee hearing stuff like this. I mean, a lot of people don't understand. What, what you think Missouri gonna do this year? They got a squad. They got a good defense. The quarterback's coming back. Um, they lost straight or running back, but they still got, you know, good receivers. They got a bunch of guys in the portal that came over there, too. So they're going to be a problem, man. They're definitely going to be a problem. Damn. Hey, Island Boy, how, how, how has Georgia taken a step back if we're 42 and 2? In 44 games, we haven't lost a regular season game since 2020. Let that sink in. Oh, that boy got a fully automatic Beretta. I mean, all you need is a switch, man. You can make any weapon fully automatic. You just need a switch. Look at that. Look at that. Hold on. My boy said, done. Yeah. All you need is a switch, man. A Glock with a switch, you can make any any, any weapon fully automatic.
crazy. Yeah. Get you a thirty mag. Get you a thirty mag and a switch. You got a machine gun in your hand, pretty much. Crazy as hell. Yep, thirty rounds in your hand, T two Y, and it's coming out fully automatic. Yeah, man. Well, I've been on this thing almost all day. Yeah, man. Just hit me up, man. I'm still trying to hold on. Let me double check for some some of this info on the Florida State because nobody still ain't told me who threw that goddamn pick. We're not gonna find out, T2I man. Yeah, your, your you're ice skating uphill. Somebody gotta tell me something, man. Somebody ain't trying to lose their access to practice. <laughs> They ain't trying to break DJ's confidence. That boy like a five-year senior, <laughs> and he ain't got no starting position. Yeah, he still he still hasn't been named a starter yet. Five-year senior, man. He still ain't solidified his spot as the quarterback. It be like that, D2I. But I'm the one that's supposed to believe that he's the number one quarterback in Florida. No, uh, we're supposed to believe that he's supposed to win the Heisman. Let me see if they're going to give me any information on Billy Napier and them boys. See if they're going to tell me, tell me the truth about they script. <laughs> They're not going to tell you the truth, bro. Yeah. Oh, inside notes. Um, Okay, we got some inside notes. Here. Finally popped up. Let's see what they're talking about. But ho hopefully it's not just, um, um, you know, some talks. Because that, that ought to be some, some talks. Um... That's from Napier. Napier, I don't want to hear nothing about what Napier is saying. So they did it. The first couple of things in the article is just breaking down shit. Um, Lagway um, experienced some growth pains. So he's, Lagway's still out there looking terrible. Yeah, he's a freshman, man. Yeah, he's, he's, they say he's got some growing pains. <laughs> Yeah, man, he was uh, responsible for several times. The lag out here throwing picks, but Florida fans told me he was the second coming of Jesus. He was the savior. He got cut some slack, teacher. Why he a freshman, man? He a freshman. They say on Saturday he was responsible for several turnovers. According to of course, he's a freshman. Signal caller fumbled on a handoff and has seven. Intercepted three times. Intercepted three times. He a freshman, T2I. Oh, hold on. Wait a minute now. Hold on. They didn't care that he was a freshman. Florida fans told me he was a second coming to Jesus. Hold on. Wait a minute. Hold on. Wait a minute. Three interceptions? Bruh. Blackway also threw what sources um, describe as a very good touchdown. <laughs> so three picks and a touchdown, boy. That's a crazy race right there. For every three picks he throw, he go he, and a fumble. I'm sorry, I'll go for the fumble. Three picks and a fumble. Lagwell throws touchdown. Um, hold on, what else he got? <laughs> I'll talk. Um, thought it lost um, Trevor Etienne to the NCAA transfer portal this season. Florida has expressed it plenty of confidence in the running back room. The return of starter Montreal Johnson was, um, of course, viewed as a significant <laughs> department. Um, yep, I'm sorry. Um, to include um, Webb, 
this other dude they got, Jaden. And um, Daniels, the other guy, whatever. Okay, we know who y'all got, but what did they do? Um, Blackway gonna be all right. Jaden was uh, extremely productive with three scores, while Montreal was effective through the through the air, all in the hand, handful of passes. So Montreal done went from being a running back to a, a basically a screen catcher, you might as well say. Maybe a couple curl routes. But Jaden, the one that's scoring all the points, I guess. Well, maybe they don't want Montreal to take no hits, you know what I'm saying? Freshman tied in. Um, I'm sorry. Um, sophomore tied in. Um, Bordenham suffered a minor upper body ligament alignment. Damn. So he's out of the scrimmage and they expect to have a long term impact, according to sources. So they just lost their tight end, their sophomore tight end. Bordenham. So Bordenham was the dude that BB was um was had high hopes on. Oh, bit mommy by 30. Man. Uh, one source described Saturday's scrimmage as another defensive win. While there was a handful of um, strong plays from the offensive um, players, multiple sources says its defensive unit um, won more reps than they lost with several turnovers generated throughout the day, um, both in terms of interception and fumbles. I told him, DJ, man. I told him, DJ Lagway did not play nobody in high school. I told him. I tried to tell him. I tried to tell him. I'm just a hater. I'm just a hater. Sarge, I'm just a hater, bro. Bro, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna find out, bro. One of um Douglas picks was um uh, made possible because of the uh, a tip pass from sophomore defensive lineman um TJ Cersei, uh, who battled a pass in the air. Um Cersei also recorded a sack. Where well, sure they might be they might be a defensive team this year. You know, Where they sure might be better on defense this year than last year. They say red shirt freshman edge um, defender Cam James was responsible for a sack. Um, Florida head coach Billy Napier praised Eugene Wilson for his play on Saturday, saying that sophomore wideout was ultra productive and uh, made a ton of um, plays out there. Sources says um, Wilson made a hand handful of catches and was utilized out of the number um, of, out of a number of different um, alignments including out of the backfield, uh, which in, enabled sources for um, success for him um, last season as a freshman. Uh, Florida, had, Florida has made it clear on several occasions that Wilson needs to be a point, a focus point, basically, in their offense. Right, right. All I'm getting is they ain't got no quarterback. Lagway. <laughs> Lagway. Lagway is not ready. Lagway is layaway. Lagway is layaway. Just put him on layaway. I got to send out some tweets. Because some lies have been told to me. There's a lot of lies been told to me. It's Florida fans. What you expect, T2I? Florida fans lie to me all the time. They, they treat me like I'm one of their girls or something. They just lie to me. But tell me all kind of lies. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Oh, man. Tweet of the day. DJ Lagway, a.k.a. Turnover Machine. Hey, Ed D said uh, every, th every quarterback throws picks. Yeah, I bet. Every every quarterback throws three picks in practice. I bet they do. I bet they do. <laughs> I bet they do. How many picks did uh they brought about? Not brought about. Um, what's his name? Carson Beck. Carson Beck. Yeah. How many picks did he throw? He hasn't thrown any picks. <laughs> but everybody throw picks, right? <laughs> but everybody throw picks. No, he's, he's been sacked a few times, but he hasn't thrown any picks. Man, you sure about that? Because I was just told that everybody throws picks. 
this is scrimmage. This is a controlled environment. Mm -hmm. You know, if you're a freshman, of course you're gonna throw some picks. If you're a freshman, give him, give him at least a year or two. T two R. Then you can judge him. I hear you loud and clear, but the troll if he ain't trying to hear. Like I said, put him on layaway, man. Oh, man, you just don't understand. Florida fans been te been telling me about this guy all year long. All year long. All year long. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> so you just don't understand. I've been having to hear about I've even heard BB ask me who y'all got y'all. Y'all ain't got no quarterback better than uh, DJ Lagway. Just for my boy, that's about here be a turnover machine. Transformers, DJ in disguise. Ed D, you right, man. Carson ha does have two bricks. He dropped two bricks on y'all head. Well, talk to your There it is right there. They about to go nuts on that tweet. They about to go nuts on that tweet, Sarge. <laughs> you posted the T2I? <laughs> yep. Uh, DJ Lagway, a.k.a. turnover machine. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo. DJ, DJ takeaway. All he do, all he do is take away the ball from the offense. DJ with the turnover. Somebody get DJ Lagway the turnover chain. Take away, give away, take away. DJ give away. Like he put it on layaway, then he give it away. You win some and you lose some. But if you DJ Lagway, you always lose some. Man, that's tough. Oh boy, see, see, I gotta go do my own investigation because none of them Gator fans are gonna tell me how bad of a day he had. <clears throat> nah, they're not gonna tell you, bro. You know, you know, your boy Billy not gonna say nothing. They came in and told me how uh, they gonna beat us on day one. Hey, Florida State fans in the chat that was on um Florida's nuts earlier talking about they gonna beat us. <laughs> Y'all still confident? They out there throwing throwing all kind of picks and interceptions and all kind of <laughs> all kind of fumbles and they quarterback they they save you. <laughs> <laughs> they got a DJ just like y'all got a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, you gotta love it. You just got. I love call it. him I call him DJ Pineapple. Though. I don't call him DJ Ungo Ungo. <laughs> <laughs> You just gotta love it, man. Damn, I was up. All right. <laughs> but now, nah, man, I, I think he'll be all right. You gotta give him a year, T2I. Yeah, man. DJ Lagway was the truth, the five star quarterback. He's gonna be doing this. He's gonna be doing that. Of course, they're gonna say that to you, right? He's gonna do this and he's gonna do that. Man. That's the same thing they. That's the same thing Florida State fans say about DJU. Man. Hey, my boy said he could have been a day one star. He had a good year at Oregon State. He was eight and four. He uh, threw I'm 21 touchdowns in 12 games. I'm talking about DJ Lagway. Florida fans told me he could have been a day one star. What? They said he could have came in and be a day one starter. I was listening. Shout out to um, Twitter for having Anonymous. <laughs> I was listening. Oh, you was eavesdropping. I was, I was hearing all that stuff. I was like, I'll be there. Yeah, somebody lied to you, T2Y. I'll be there. That's how I be sometimes. That's how I be sometimes. Honestly, I, I do feel bad for Florida, man. I, I feel bad for Florida, though. I told you what it was. They just needed something to believe in. I mean, they, they had their heyday, but I feel bad for them now, man. 
It's just, just a toxic program, man. They just needed something to believe in. That's it. That's all. My goodness. Three interceptions. Mm -mm -mm. Shout out to all the Florida State fans that told me today that Florida gonna beat us. Shout out to all y'all. Jay, Jay Smith, you should be glad you didn't lock your bed in. Yeah, you don't want to do that, Jay Smith. That would have been easy. Yeah, you don't you don't want to just flush your money down the drain like that. You don't want to do that. Hold on, let me double check on Florida State again. See if they told them the truth about their scrimmage. I doubt it, man. <laughs> you're not gonna it. find out who threw the pick. I know you want to find out who threw the picks, but you're not. They're oh, not. I'm about to get off this live, and I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make some phone calls. Oh, okay. I'm gonna make some phone calls. I'm gonna find out who threw them damn picks. Yeah, you got the sources. They gonna tell me who threw the picks. <laughs> let me get off this thing, man. Um, All right, bro. Listen, man. Appreciate everybody for coming through, clicking the like button on, um, you know, YouTube. Appreciate everybody tuning in on Twitter, Facebook, wherever you tuned in on. Yeah, but I'm about to end this thing. Y'all have a good day. You know, DJ Lagway is not the savior of Florida. They lied to you just like they lied to me.